Ooh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Fam Jam here on Loading Ready Run. Or if you're watching on the YouTube, on LRRMTG. It's me, Graham, with Nelson. Hi, I'm here. And Corey. Hello. And Paul on tech. Hello. And today, Murders at Karlov Manor has just landed, like just landed, on Arena this morning. Boy, are its arms tired. Huh. And we're going to play Magic all day. Yay. Yeah, we're starting the three of us. Uh, originally, there was going to be some more folks. Some folks weren't able to make it. Uh, it's the three of us for now, for the next, you got us for the next several hours. And then, uh, as you can see, uh, later today, uh, Wheeler and Kathleen and Cameron will be uh, swapping in and out variously. Uh, and they'll be playing for another several hours. And it'll be great. Who's actually done the murder? Well, uh, hopefully I, one of us is about to against our opponents on the internet. Yeah. Hey, uh, this show and everything that we do here at Loading Ready Run is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun or uh, by subscribing here on Twitch for those watching live or by becoming a YouTube member if you're watching on the YouTube. And uh, yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Um, let's go. All right, before we start drafting, yeah. I had a Skyclave aerialist clone of a Lazartep convert in my, in my March of the Machines quick draft game I was, I was doing before we, we got ready. But my opponent scooped before I could click to, to transform it, and I have just no idea what happened. So if you're a judge or just great at rules, tell me what happens if you have Invasion of Amonkhet, and then you flip it, and then now that you've flipped it, it becomes a creature with a transform ability, and then you activate that transform ability. I have just no idea. Does it turn into a battle? Does, does that battle have the loyalty counters or whatever they're called? You know what I mean? Oh, Graham's drafting. Yep. Oh. Quick, switch to Graham. Yeah. I'm waiting on an eighth person. All right, this Hooray. just fired. Uh, the rare is a mythic, Atrata Deadly Fugitive. I have not played with this card. I haven't played with most of these cards. We only did one round of the Fam Jam, or in the at the, at the PPR. Uh, one blue black, one four vampire assassin with death touch. Face down creatures you control have, you can turn it up for four mana if you can't. Exile and play without paying mana cost. Yeah, there's some words on these cards, turns I, out. I do kind of like the cloak. Whenever an assassin you control deals combat damage to an opponent, cloak the top card of that player's library. The cloak icon is kind of nice. Oh, so then you get to cat. Okay, I'm going to take that. Okay, team. First pa pack one, pick one. Judith or Dog Walker? Dog Walker is very good. Dog Walker is definitely good. Judith is maybe good. The Judith spell seems... can gain Death Touch and Life Link, or you make a 2 2. I think Judith is probably good. So this Let's is, try Judith. I think Doc Walker might be the right So this thing. is, you can hit your opponent and oh then you goodness. cloak their thing and then... One second. What's up? Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're out of 10. Oh, yeah. To read your card. Uh, and then you can cloak their stuff and then you can you can get their cards. Sounds fun. Wait, spell snares in this set? That's so weird. This card's from Dissension. Oh, just murder. Whoa! Are the, the packs are the same in on Arena as in, uh, like, this is from the list, right? Did we get all the list yeah. cards in these packs? Must be, yeah. Play boosters are on Arena. Okay, cool. That's sweet. So, um... um uh, okay. What's this? As an additional cost to cast this spell, collect evidence X or X the total mana value permanents. This spell targets. Destroy up to one target artifact, up to one target enchant. Oh, you can destroy... That card's busted. Oh, okay, I should take this. That I was card's like, that I card's was like, like that six ooh, mana murder. thing that blows up one of everything. Okay, so we'll take... Yeah, there are some cards on the list that are not on Arena because they're for various reasons that they just sort of can't be or don't want them, but... Um, uh, okay. This pack does not look great so far. So something that we realized from doing the PPR is that um, there's very little fixing in this format. Right. You want to be kind of a two-color deck. Yeah, and I've already... Maybe I'm splashing for one of these. Um... All right, how early do you take your first slime against humanity if you're going for it, team? Like, now. Now? <laughs> I'm going to take Bite Down on Crime, because it's removal and it's in green, which is one of these colors. I don't think I want the Macabre Restoration. Eliminate the Impossible actually seems pretty good. Um, is Bite a Bite card? It's a Bite card. We were talking about that. Green can fix. So, yeah, maybe we want to be primary green. Ooh, speaking of which, there's the Nervous Gardener. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, yeah, heck. Uh, uh. So actually, I, oh, and Escape Tunnel, which is the Evolving Wilds, essentially. Green Belt Radical is really cool. Uh, turn it face up for seven, but you put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control, and they gain Trample. 
Um, Pompous Gadabout, I quite like. Uh, one of the rare fixing lands. Um, I, uh, maybe it's too early to take this. Maybe I should be taking Greenbelt Radical just because it's powerful. I contend that at least in the, uh, in the PPR, uh, every time the Nervous Gardener turned up, it immediately died. So yeah, I feel I feel like she has good reason to be nervous. Yeah, She's supposed to be nervous. <laughs> I agree. All right, I'm taking the garden. I never saw this mask maker card at the PPR. Whoa. It's a one mana one two in red that says when it attacks face down spells you cast this turn cost one less. I guess that's pretty bad. Uh, I'll take cease and desist. This seems good. It's playable for sure. Yeah. yeah. Cycles, game that of the escape tunnel or another nervous? Gar- Maybe I just want a m- more nervous gardeners through the mountains. Is that? Do you think that's late for a rune brand juggler? Or is that like Maybe. fine? I don't know. Like uh, that was in. My, I could have taken that second after Judith, but there was a murder in the pack, so I'm on that instead. If the two nervous gardeners can be friends. You know what? Sure, I'll take the second gardener. They can nervously talk. Would you about say you're plants. constantly gardening? Hedge whisperer. You may choose not to untap it during its untap step. Four mana. Tap it. Collect evidence four. Target land becomes a five five plant boar creature with haste. For as long as Hedge Whisper remains tapped, that's neat. I feel that's like the name of a like a home channel like a garden improvement show. Yeah, I'm gonna take this basic land cycler. That card is good. Also a six five with trample. Yeah. All right. Finally, um, Colossal Dreadmaw can also be a forest. I've got my. <laughs> I mean, this reminds me of the Tanuki, right? There was also a 6-5 yes. trample. Yes, yeah, that one actually ramped, yeah. didn't it? Did it put, did it put the line in play? Holy crap. Hey, did we see this imp token art yet? I don't think we did. Check that's, this out. That's the best fixing card in the set. Very late buried in the garden. Let me see the imp token. Oh, sorry, uh, it's off Judith. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> wow. He's got a little costume. Yeah. Someone show Kathleen. Uh... This seems a little late for hard-hitting question, but... Whatever. All right, we'll take a Buried in the Garden. We're sort of splashing into... We're green, but we can... There's white, and there's black, and there's blue, and we'll see where it goes. All right, what's this do? Aftermath Analyst. When it enters the battlefield, mill three cards, sacrifice it, return all lands from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Eh. I think we're just taking this under Dilf Crocodilf. <coughs> Yeah, we're just taking the crocodile. Is there an overdilf? <laughs> <laughs> Legend tells of the overdilf. Uh, so this, this also fixes, but like in a way that doesn't actually help you much later. Um, three six for five. Sack creature, draw a card. Might just be that. Oh, actually, no. Alley assailant was good. Uh, good for me in the PPR. I'll take that. I think Airtight Alibi might also actually be pretty good considering it's a aura. And yeah, the uh, Crocodile can, you can flip up for um, Mono Green. Oh, okay, what's this do? Insidious Roots. Creature tokens you control have tapped at mana of any color. Whenever one or more creature cards leaves your graveyard, you make an 0-3 plant, and then you make them bigger. I guess I'll just grab that. Sumala Sentry. Actually, they went this way as another fixer. I do like Polygraph Orb as well. You know what? I'll take the orb. I like the effect of the... I like the upside... The, the front half effect of the orb, and then the back half is just this weird, like, torment. Wow! We wield the green belt radical. Okay. I don't even know what that does. I'm putting it in the sideboard for now. Hey, look! We got more fixing. What's this do? Forensic Gardener. Two rares, by the way. Whenever you cast an artifact, investigate. That sounds sweet. We're not in that deck. Activated abilities of artifacts you control cost one less to activate. Uh, cool, so your clues are cheaper. Neat. Um, extract a confession. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. If you collect evidence, instead they sacrifice a creature with the greatest power. That seems cool. Vengeful Creeper is just a Colossipede, which is sweet. Um, we could cast Bustle. Oh, it's an overrun. Yeah, that card... Um, okay. It seems like... Both of the both of the effects are too expensive. I know one of them is one mana. Yeah, but like I'm gonna take hedge maze here. But maybe it's maybe it's super worth if you have like a bunch of big medium sized creatures. Oh my god, I got past leering Ezra. onlooker. It's a one three flyer for two, and you can exile it from your graveyard to make two bats. That seems great. I'm gonna flag that initially. 
Uh, there's another thing that went that way. There's a get stuff out of your graveyard. Target opponent discard stuff. Um, there's a there's a whatever rats. Another eventual creeper. Fairy Snoop seems okay. I would say the facial expression of that onlooker is not the most uh, important part of the whole thing. Oh, the yeah, it's like I don't the fact care that, that she's flying. I don't care that she's leering. It's that she's flying. Yeah, we'll take the leering onlooker. Uh, this mutation is repulsive to us. Mm. We consider ourselves. Actually, I'm going to take murder. I think probably just that seems correct. At Karlov Manor. What? Murders. Yeah. Expose the culprit is the kind of card that you're glad they made it uncommon, so there's fewer of them. Mm. I, I I think repulsive mutation is actually very cool, but probably we just want murder. We seem to be more in a green black realm, potentially splashing blue for Etrata, and I don't know that we're splashing buried in the garden, but we could. We have the we have two nervous gardeners and a topiary panther, so magma is back. Magma it's from double masters. It's only uncommon. Wow, all right. incredible. Maybe my deck isn't going to just be absolutely terrible after all. Wow. People out here asking for five mana for a threaten. Do I need to take Aftermath Analyst just for the curve? I don't think so. I have a bite down on crime. I could take a reconstruction. I could take another Dilf. I think I'll just take another bite. I do like Cease and Desist. I like how it looks anyway. And I, specifically how it looks also. The art is gorgeous, but... I, uh, I like that they've... Decided on a solution for uh, just doing um, split cards without having people have to turn their turn heads, their heads to read the computer. Oh, yeah. yeah, snarling gorehound seems good, but yeah, I'll take. I don't. I feel like this shouldn't be. These shouldn't be going so late. I don't know. I mean, I've got so many delfs. Must be nice. Release your delf. Uh, oh, and a slime against humanity. That's awful late. Proft's eidetic memory. ETB draw a card. You have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of combat in your turn, if you draw one or more cards, put X counters on a creature you control where X number of cards you've drawn Ooh. minus one. Yeah, I'm running Proft. So, yeah, the eidetic memory, like, goes in a heavy clues deck, right? Yeah. Do I just take a third bite down on crime or this two one? Uh... How many creatures do you have? That's Sorry. a great question. It's, it is a, it's an important Nine. question. I, I, think it, I think it's easy not to have enough creatures. I probably could have taken that 2-1. Um, speaking of which, I think I will now take this Shady Informant. What's this do? Flash. Plus 2, plus 2 is if it's a detective. Otherwise... Oh, okay. You make your detectives big or you make their creatures weenie. Maybe I want that. Imagine giant detectives. But I took the Shady Informant. Imagine. Giant detectives. Uh, six mana, five six. ETB investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, each opponent gets two. Target opponent gets two poison counters. What the hell? Hmm. Another slime against humanity. We could have done it. And another crocodile. You know what? I'll take these investigators. Why not? What What is what things can a croc? Part crocodile, part elf, part detective, uh, disguise itself as. <laughs> Excellent question. Yeah, like a um, a transformer station, like like a large, you know, behind a fence electronics thing, maybe. Like if it's got a nice coat, it needs to be something big, right? That's where you're going with this, Paul. Yeah, it can disguise itself as like a sewer man, dusk mantle, house of shadow. I'm so stoked that the list is on arena. I know everyone's probably pretty bored of me talking about it. Oh, so this is just a four mana. Minus four, minus four that sticks around and potentially has upside later. Especially when you're gathering evidence. Yeah, I'll take that. There's a tunnel tipster who is adorable. Uh, and there's a war leader's call, which is very sweet. But yeah, we'll definitely take this soul innervation. Y'all have seen this mole, right? Yeah, mole's adorable. This mole's great. Big fan of the mole. It's a meat hook for four. Well, it's only for one creature, but yeah. All right, so Pywo Dragon has gotten back to me. If you have an Invasion of Amonkhet copy of a transformed double face card and it transforms mm -hmm. without leaving the battlefield, it's still a copy of the front side because the copy effect is still in place. If it's an Exile and Return transform, then it comes back as the backside and can copy something else if it wants. Incredible, Pywo. Thank you. Huh. 
So was it gonna it was gonna turn into the invasion again? No, it was gonna because it's um, it's not an exile one. It was just gonna you you could pay mana to keep it a four four flying with no trigger. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if that's the right creature to take there, but I'm taking it. Fair. Me neither. Hey. Also don't know. Rope. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's rope. It's everyone's favorite magic card, rope. Uh, it really should have been in the uh, sure. Baldur's Gate set. Rope? Adventures. Well, they did, they did have 50 feet of rope. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So wait, this is just this is it's just a, a shorter rope. <laughs> it's just rope. Yeah, this is just a smaller number. It's from the rope. clue set. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, do I want this? You know what? Oh god. I probably just want another alley assailant. I guess I have to stay connecting the dots, but I don't think I'm supposed to play it because I barely have any attacking creatures. Definitely running out of green. This, like, I. Not as much green in this pack as there have been in previous packs. This is going to be one of those draft formats where if you ask someone to look at your deck, they immediately every time are going to be like, well, why are you so many colors? And then they have to like do algebra to figure out, oh, wait, you're not, like, you're just morphing all of those. Yeah. And like, they have double faced hybrid mana disguise abilities. And so it's really not as bad as it looks. Oh, this seems good. It's, I mean, some people mentioned that, yeah, there's not as much fixing, but there are the morph cards and the double faced things do mitigate that to some extent. Yeah, these ones are great. Like Crowd Control Warden, mm. I would absolutely take this, but I, I, I like the idea of this is a, it's a you are already dead that potentially also turns into a 4-4 with lifelink, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll do Case of the Gorgon's Kiss. Uh, what's Flotsam and Jetsam? Mill three, investigate, or for six mana, each opponent mills three, then you can cast a spell from an opponent's graveyard without paying its mana cost? Yeah. I right. think that card's playable because it replaces itself at the worst if you're if you're in trouble. Or I can consign to oblivion. Oh, that from, card's pretty from, classic. Uh, I'm okay. Remember, that's an aftermath, not a split yeah. card. Oh, I missed. Oh, it's thing. bounce. Okay, that's neat. I missed a pick. Except I'm actually classic. I'm actually green black. Classic flam fam jam moments. Is a Gorgon's kiss? Oh wait, this is playable. Dangerous if you don't look at them don't while know. you're kissing. Oh yeah, just wear a blindfold and then you can get all kinds of freaky. I mean, you know. Da more dangerous than a regular kiss. Shout out to Arena for mm. probably picking the right card there for me. Hey, Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm taking a Dust Mantle House of Shadow. Taking a third Nervous Garden. Uh, V2 Gazi Inspector. 1 3 for 2. It's got Reach. Uh, that's kind of might be good. What's Rakish Scoundrel do? 3 3 Death Touch when it's turn face out target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. That's pretty cool. There's another Sanguine Savior. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I'll just take that. We're running very low on... Um, oh, this one's just big. I'm going to take the one that's just big. We're running very low on time in each pack now. Rubble Belt Maverick. ETB Surveil 2. Exile from your graveyard. Put a counter on a thing. That also seems sweet, but I'm going to take Rift Burst Hellion. There have been so many <laughs> undercover crocodiles going around. There yeah, like you could have Whoa. at least four. Mystery key. I could have had six, <laughs> I think. I don't even know if I'm running the three that I have. Uh, sure, I'll take this Hedge Whisperer. And a fourth bite down on crime. We're not running four of them. And I guess we'll take this Aftermath Analyst and this Airtight Alibi. Okay. Woo! Time for deck building. Um, Wait, what? Let's see here. What are you doing here? Okay, we're gonna cut that. What are you doing here? Um, both of you. Go down to one of those. We don't need two polygraph orbs. I don't even know if we want the polygraph orb that More we have. Make, do have. Make sure you check your basic lands before you hit submit. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Like, yeah. Arena's out here grabbing the right card out of the pack when I'm, I'm watching, I'm staring at your screen for 30 seconds, but then also trying to give me basics I can't use. So these are all, <laughs> all the ones that potentially <clears throat> have disguise. Okay, with that curve, I really recommend playing as many soul rings as you're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's only if I disguise them. That's not necessarily like I'm not, you know, maybe maybe I'll disguise them. Um, okay, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna run Hedge Whisperer. Uh, I don't think Flourishing Bloomkin is a good idea. Hey Hedge, how's it going? <laughs> Okay, I like Leering On Looker. I don't care about Actually, let me whisper in your ear. Aftermath Analyst. I'll do this just for the curve. 
Um, we'll go down to two nervous gardeners. How many cuts? I gotta make seven cuts. Um, I think repulsive mutation is probably just too cute. Uh, as cool as it is. What do you make of this card, Nelly? Repulsive mutation. Looks like an uncommon in Simic with X blue green casting cost. Yep. Pump a creature, at least zero. Then counter up to one target spell unless it's controller pays mana equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. This is a pretty decent counter spell. Hmm. Because it's also a pump spell. Mm -hmm. But if you were like got too many non creature spells, you can for sure cut it. It also costs a blue and a green, and you appear to have black pips in your deck. I do. I have How's a lot your, of black pips. But you have a bunch of nervous gardeners? I have two I have up to three nervous gardeners and a topiary panther. To so I'm def I'm like I'm definitely splashing blue because okay. I want to run a Trotta. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna cut Cease and Desist, because Cease doesn't do enough. Uh I think I will run Flotsam and Jetsam though, because Jetsam just seems fun. Uh I think I, yeah, I, I, I think I do, I agree with you, Morgante. I, I think that I have pondered enough and should cut the orb. Hmm. Um, you know what, we'll, we'll run the repulsive mutation, why not? So we'll go there for non-creature spells, and then we'll make five cuts in the creature category. Maybe we'll make one more cut down here. Okay, we've got murder and soul innervation and Buried in the Garden, maybe we can go down to just two bites down on crime. Maybe I should like, maybe I should cut Buried in the Garden. But I do Costs have... Costs white mana. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I got this Topiary Panther and the Nervous Gardener, but that's the only white pip, so yeah, actually, maybe I do cut Buried in the Garden and I bring back in another bite out of crime. Now you're a four-color deck? Instead of being five? Uh, or... No, just three. Oh, okay, this, just three. Oh, okay. This flips that's up for black, black this flips okay, up for green. Perfect, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, then you can cut your brains. And your mountain. Bring back in a bite at a crime. Okay. But you have a dual land you want to play on your board. Yes. Okay. I do. okay. I'm just I gotta make four creature cuts. Got here. it. So mm, like they should all be morphs. <laughs> yeah. This one uh, flips up for black. Atrod is the only one that's actually just a splash. Gotcha. The rest of them The like, crocodile Sermato Green or whatever? Yep. And maybe it's one of them. Kind of dig the disguise and cloak. They icons. disguise for five, and there's six drops otherwise. So yeah. yeah, I would go down to like one or two of them because they're not flipping very often. Uh. Is this is is this one good? So if I cast it on two, it's like maybe going to be a one one, and that's just bad. Like flourishing bloomkin is not good unless you. Disguise and reveal it, but it could go looking for. So the the dual land, the hedge maze, is a forest island. So like this could go looking for that. But I've got other I've got other ways to get my fixing. So like maybe this is just bad in this. It deck. also like fixes once you're at five mana. If your if your forest count in total is above ten, I would play it. Okay, we're gonna cut that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> two more cuts. Um, like in limited, primeval titan isn't really fixing your mana. Yeah. Like, I don't even really think the V2 Gazi Inspector is that that great necessarily, but it's a two drop, and I don't, all of these yeah, are. Don't otherwise have those. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to cut, I don't know. Shady Informant trades really well. Like, it can be a two for one just on its own. I think Basilica Stalker is like mid. But honestly, maybe the Crocodelf is also mid. Go down to a single Delf. And then one more cut. Well, I guess that's a two drop. I don't know if these I don't know if these are good, but they're yeah, they're a five six. They're big. They're just big. How many lands? Uh, I'll be running seventeen lands. I haven't sorted the out the lands yet. This is sealed. This is draft. We all drafty. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like Alley Assailant. Maybe not. I don't think I have any other assassins. No, I don't. But that's fine. I tried as a 1 4 with Death Touch. That, like, maybe does other stuff, but.
I really hope Trata turns out to be too powerful and they have to errata a Trata. Errata a Trata. <laughs> it's possible that a Trata is actually just not good here. But it, oh, actually, no, it makes, it makes, um, it makes our other, we have a lot of disguise and it makes them cheaper to flip. So actually, a Trata is probably, probably is pretty good. Maybe I should be cutting a non-creature spell here. Go back down to two bites. I mean, really, I should probably be cutting Jetson. I just like the idea of getting to cast something from my opponent's graveyard for free. Now comes the time where you attempt to convince yourself that you either play 41 or you don't need all the lands that you have. I think I'd probably just actually cut these. Cut the investigators. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. So, this cannot be, this cannot still be accurate. Oh, it's got the planes in there because of the Sanguine Savior. Okay, I do not want that, and I don't want, I don't want the planes, and I don't want the mountains, and I do want this hedge maze, and so then I guess I want, I don't even think I want two islands. Like, the only, Atrada is the only thing that needs a blue source. Do you have uh, any searching? Oh yeah. I've got the two Nervous Gardeners and the Topiary Panther. Right. So they need basics though to go. Yeah. So, so they, they they can't look for the hedge maze. Right. Uh, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Ah. Nervous Gardener. Uh, a basic land type. A land card with a basic type. So Nervous Gardener can find the hedge maze. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, it's true. Atrata's ability needs blue. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll run the lands like that then. So that's eight green sources, seven black sources, and three blue sources. No, the gardeners are all blue sources too. You only need one island, right? Right. You should turn one of those islands. Into the argument a was or... that like Atrata's ability needs blue, but yeah. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, no, do you, you want to be able to tutor up two islands? If if you do, that's fine. No, no. Okay. You are you are correct. Okay, let's try it. Good luck. Thanks, I have no idea if this is... Whoa. No idea uh, what this set looks like, except that it looks sweet. <laughs> how, are, how are your things go? I, we'll, st we'll stay here for the first game since we just watched There's the draft, a mole but... god! Yeah, there is a mole god. Did your opponent play the mole god? There's a mole I, yeah, god I put it set. in prison, but it's too late oh, for no. me, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> put the mole god in jail? That's very thematic. That happens in the story. Mm -hmm. mm. Really? Yes, they jailed that mole god right up. All right, I'm up a game, team. Hopefully the jail doesn't have a dirt floor. Hey, the rope. Wait, so that's... A clue. Was that one win on and you the for you? Yeah, I'm winning a game here. With my imp and token. Knife. And the camera And my magma. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I guess I'm just gonna lose this game very quickly. They just went missed one mana detective, two mana plus two plus two. I mean, oh, I have wow. mur I have murder next turn. Giant strength on flying, man. Classic. Yeah. Uh, that's an instant ability, right? Yep. Okay. Well, I'll just I'll just murder that thing next turn. Perfect. I like they have the barrier ward set up around the room. Yeah, that's important. Don't want to don't want to let these magic cards get out. Oh yeah, new uh, new arena backdrop. Are you are you cycling here yep. or no? Yeah. Get my single island, and then surprise them by going ha ha and ha ha before they can untap. Ha ha. Ha ha. There. Stop killing me so hard. Yeah. Go kill. back to killing me a medium amount. Kill softly. Yeah, please. Uh. Sorry. Uh, was that? Should I be awarding a point for? Uh... Yeah. I did win a game. I don't know if we want to. If we want to catch them all at the end, that's fine too. But. Yeah, I lost a game. That's okay. We just don't talk about that here at the Fab Jam. <laughs> wow, I just cast that into four open mana with blue. Uh, I maybe should have thought for like a second about that, but it, nothing nah. happened. So. Nah. Thinking for a second? Overrated. Yep. Not even once. They didn't counter it, so not, we're not okay. really into it. Boy, I'm drawing a lot of land. Uh, I can flip this up. Getting my mask made over here. So... Do we do that? Go to combat. Are they going to tap it? Surely not. 
That does not seem worth. Not surely, too. All right, well. It's Surprise, a... it's this. Now do you have a response? No? Oh, sick, all right. It's interesting how they do uh, the disguise there, where it's like, it looks like a card that has the name face down card. Yeah. Oh. It's weird that they didn't make it the same as the token they just printed, where they, they have a, a token that says a mysterious creature. I'm like yeah. a little surprised they didn't stick with that. Yeah. They also have like an icon for the the cloak and the disguise abilities, which they don't seem to be using on the card. Right. Okay, what does this card read? Collect evidence X, where X is the total mana value of the permanence this spell targets. Destroy up to one target artifact, one target creature, one target enchantment, and one target planeswalker. So this is exciting because they have a three, six, seven. I have six. I can just destroy their creature and their enchantment. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Yeah. Right? I'm just debating on if I do it now. I'd probably just do it now. Well, yeah. I mean, I could also destroy their thinking cap. It's an instant, I, right? If I wished. Yeah, it's an instant, but they're blue, so you may want to play around. They're their blue, blue and mana. they don't have anything else going on. Sure. And it, I don't know what I gain from doing it in instant. I mean, speed. yeah, the argument is like, see if they play a better creature next turn. You know what? I'm not. I don't know if I'm for it. I, that's I, a that's a great. Argument. I don't. I don't hate doing it right now, but no, that's a yeah. great argument. You, also, you if can I, afford to take two. It, so if I want, I can also flotsam to mill three cards. Oh, you know what? I'm thrilled that you suggested it. That is a way better creature. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like yeah. pretty much the best creature in the format. I'm a great creature. Investigate twice. Wow, we nice. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Just cracked it. Right, that's five mana, and that's another eight, and I have nine in the bin, so that's good. Okay, great, cool. Should I flot some first to, uh, oh, and I get to eat the researcher, because I'm gonna get rid of their makeshift binding. Should I flot some first so that, no, I don't have to do that because I've already, you know what, we're fine, I'm, I'm overthinking it. Probably. Target an, up to one artifact. Uh, oh, they have artifacts. Just kill a clue for free. Or a thinking cap, right? Uh, Ironic little clue instead. It's one. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm gonna have to exile that amount anyway. So there we go. Did they just your go me? All right. Probably. I would. Oh, they can give Ezram Hexproof. Apparently. Oops. Well, I didn't know that. I mean, I was right that it's a better creature than that 2-5. Well, that sucks. You needed to do it with the Investigate on the stack. Well, you know what? I've learned something today. <laughs> uh, luckily, we can just kill it now. So, uh, so that's fun. Well, can they just get hexproof again? No, because now they're uh, tapped out. Okay, great. So All right. now I'm just gonna take. Whoops! Now I'm just gonna take a bite out of. Ever. I mean, that might have been worth it in the sense that it's hard to kill that guy otherwise. Yeah. I mean, you still, like, got a two-for-one because you blew up two of their other things, right? Yeah. Oh, I should have disguised that thing. Well, yep, that's fine. <laughs> that was 100% planned. Yeah, totally. Also, that's now... Oh, well, cool. That's... Well, we take it. I was going to be like, now I can uh, flots or uh, jet some their Ezra and cast it myself. But, Rank uh, up. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's... You're playing best of ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is two wins on the board. Woo! I'm at two losses because someone gave their mole god a knife. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the one that the card that's just knife. It's, it's funny. Knife. Yeah, it's funny yeah. when like there's a god on the board and the thing that is the problem is knife. Yeah. Okay, so the the mole god when it's blocked, it untaps the rest of your creatures and there's another combat phase after. Oof. And it's an eight four. That's gross. And, and the Cameron. knife gives it first strike. 
As Cameron points uh. out, we love to see the your go to scoop pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> it's day one of the format, and I'm figuring out what a mythic does. I don't. I, I think I can take an extra moment. It's true. Oh, there's the there's the pipe. Yeah. I found the pipe. The opponent has We've got here. the wrench and the pipe I love that. and the rope and the candlestick and the knife. Kill this thing immediately. And they opted not to print revolver. The cowards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. In my well, like old copy of Clue, the rope was actually like tied into a noose. Mm -hmm. But I guess they don't want to do that now. Yeah, because they're cowards. But yeah. Death by rope, it shall be. Or oh, Graham, as rooms are I rare. Know, I was talking about my card. Whip you with it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we also didn't even take the time to read Ezrim. That's how fast we were going, and we still got your goad. Is that. Is that another W for Nelly? Yeah, Nelly, uh, 2 0 here. Hell yeah. Up to three. Judith even made a devil in the first game. Or first imp game. or whatever. Uh... Whoa. You do not want to end up in this room that I have in the loading screen. This is some sort of like Simic morgue, it looks like. Some kind of smorg? Yeah. It's like, how would you like your remains to be dealt with? Not by the Simic combine. Or, or the Orzov? I, I feel like... Yeah, the Orzov's probably even worse. Uh, I mean, is it? We'll probably experiment on you. I mean, to be honest... Uh, I mean, Golgari will just compost, which is not too bad. Yeah, I'm into that. I decided that Get me I, in the rot farm. I wanted the Topiary Panther on top after all. Mostly because... Uh, I didn't even I didn't even think about this. Like the basic land cycling is great, but then you have a six mana thing in your bin for investigation yeah. purposes or for evidence collection Ooh. rather. Hell yeah, it's very strong. So what did, <coughs> you, what did you end up drafting though? I'm on this like 18 land Boros deck with a lot of removal spells. You said Boros deck, and you've got two copies of not Murder Boros. Sorry, Rakdos. Right? Oh, Rakdos. Rakdos. Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, Rakdos. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like not. what are you? I just what first picked doing? Judith and went from there. Yeah. Sweet. Um, it's been working out so far, yeah. What does Out Cold do? I wish to read the magic card. No, won't that be, no matter what. Should I just jam? What if I... I can't turn either of these up. Great. And I can't fight because I can't pay for the ward. Hey, do you know where I click to read the card that's underneath the ward ability? Uh, right click on it. Right click on that card. Uh huh. There Thank you, go. you. There you go. Tap them and put stun counters on them, then investigate. This can't be countered. Cool. Okay. That'll work. Uh, no, that's six mana to turn the creeper up, and this is Wait. also okay. six mana. And I'm trying to figure out if I put this in the bin, and then. Yeah, I, st I still need six mana to do all of that. So, I guess I will just pass. I wonder if uh, what they, what cloak creatures, because you have to distinguish between cloak and disguise on the battlefield, right? I don't, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder if they look different. I mean, this one's, these ones say disguise when you mouse over them. Oh, okay. They have the little disguise icon there. I like the suspect. It's got like a little, like criminal hat and mask. Oh, that's good. Do you distinguish between morph and manifest? Yep. Yeah, because they have they flip up in different ways, so it's important for the opponent to know. Yeah. I do actually, Paul. I tell you what, a reason for them not to have used that the name the mysterious creature because this is the token. This is the mysterious creature token. But a reason for them to have not, perhaps, used the the name is like, because that makes it look like the name of the card is Mysterious Creature, and when you have like Pompous Gadabout, uh, I mean, that can't be blocked by creatures with a name, then it's maybe unclear. They should have, well now it looks like a creature named Face Down card. Well, like, I they, think it's, I think it's more obvious that it's not a name. They could have not put something in the name area. That, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. If they wanted to illustrate that it has no name. Yep. To me, that would be... That seems correct. Uh, 
Oh, that's also fun. Um, all right, I'm going to attack with... That one. And I assume and, that they don't block. And yes, uh, the official uh, unrules set does say that the the card named with all underscores is does in fact have no name when it is not copying any other card. So mm -hmm. it would not be able to block the Pompa Scatabout. And yet we don't ha we don't have a ruling on nameless race. Mm. <laughs> I think what do you mean we don't have a ruling on it? I think Pompous Gadabout shouldn't be able to be blocked by Nameless Race. They're the Nameless Race. <laughs> That's just the guy The named, one and only. That's just the guy named Nameless Race. I appreciate that they don't have a um, uh, creature subtype. All right, so we can bite down on that bloomkin and hold up this repulsive Here, mutation. Just bite down on this bloomkin. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bite down hard. Hold still. Yeah, hold still. Bite yeah, down we're on bloomkin. Taking nine though. All right. Um, so if we collect evidence, it's cheaper. Is that really a good use of the evidence collection? We'll still have three mana up to counter something. And they'll, we'll have a six mana thing at least, so I think we just pay full price for this. Uh, actually, first of all, I'm going to beep beep with both of these and see if perhaps they want to put this tunnel tipster in front. Yeah. Sorry, mole man. All right, we're going to pay full price for this. Oh, I should have done that first, actually, because then, well, no, this is fine. They still would have just chumped. I'm sorry, mole man. You had to chump. Um. So this way, I repulsive mutation for one, and they have to pay seven. So they literally can't cast anything. So, all right, repulsive mutation seems pretty sweet. In in immediate it's good yeah yeah, yeah. It's, when you have a six mana so thing. yeah it's gonna be a mana leak a bunch of the time um you can counter a spell for only two mana and then other times it's gonna be like a fireball or create or a, spell. a human a merfolk a goblin and then secretly choose one of those things and if the attacking creature what on earth i guess i just counter this sure they're gonna get so many little chump chump blockers for. Uh, wait, the greatest power. Power. Of oh, okay. So I don't even need to target the Rift Burst Hellion. I can put counters on this thing. Yep. Oh, let's do that. Oh, that, please. There you go. You have to target the spell. That is interesting. Cool. Now they still have four mana up, so they could still maybe kill my Hellion here, which I guess would be sad, but we're fine. Yeah, you can just play it as a pump, which is fine. Evidence Examiner. Well, they have... Okay, so that's cool. They, they note on Arena how much potential evidence the opponent could, could have to collect. Yeah. So they have p the potential to collect up to 12? Yeah, my forensic researcher on my opponent's board has a little 16 over 3 on it. Woo! Aww. Neat, huh? Wow. All right. So, yeah, they collected exactly 4, which is handy, because it doesn't always work out evenly. Oh, that's true. I could Jetsam and cast my own killer among us. What does this do again? Sorry, so I get three little creatures, and then I secretly choose human, merfolk, or goblin. And then I sacrifice a creature among us and reveal that creature type, and if the target attacking creature is the chosen type, you put three counters on it. Weird. Neat. A lot of words on those cards. Yep. 
Being as I have nothing else to do with my turn. Well, I could flip this thing up. Um, it also gets death touch, yeah. No, I think we're just going to beep beep. And um, see how they block and potentially turn up my other face down card. Which is not... Oh, it is lethal. If they don't block, they're dead. I just realized. <laughs> if they don't block, they are deceased. Okay, they blocked. That's fair. Uh, okay. They're allowed to block. Surprise! It's a Colossipede, but it's got a counter on it. Chunk, chunk. Good thing they blocked, I guess. Super good. Love blocking for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. Brewski. Yeah, exactly. You get three 1-1s, one, one of whom, when attacking, is revealed to be a 4-4 four, four with death touch. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's very entertaining. It's haha, -ha, surprise. With the candlestick? Oh, you can collect any kind of evidence, so that's cool. Oh, they're gaining life as well. Oh no! Judge my opponent's taking game actions. Ah, uh, I'll allow it this time. <laughs> Darn. I mean, do you even have priority, man? Don't collect evidence. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, they you, did it. You couldn't even. Could you? Could they? Is it even possible for them to collect evidence? Yeah, they did. You shouldn't have left that evidence lying around. I know. I told you. Well, depending on what we draw this turn, I may I may have to now jet some. Uh, yeah, Nervous Gardener's not doing a lot here, so I think we're going to jet some our opponent, which is unfortunate because it does give them something to do. Um, but I guess we attack with Vengeful Creeper first and a black. Oh, actually, wait, hold up. Let's see if they trade off their Panther. So I have like lethal damage I'm about to swing with, but if possible, I'm also going to cast Outrageous Robbery in combat if they don't scoop. Oh, they're bouncing my creature. Oh, is fantastic. That, is that bad for you? No, I mean, I could just win with the creature, but instead, I'm going to cast this Outrageous Robbery. So what's the, actually, let's go check out Nelly for a second. What's Outrageous Robbery do? Target opponent exiles the top X cards of their library face down. So it's five. I may look at and play these cards for as long as they remain exiled. If I cast a spell this way, I can spend mana as though we're any type. Huh. So... Three lands. Honestly, not a great play. <laughs> I could have just activated Magma twice in response. But I have an Aurelia's Vindicator now. Holy moly, all right. Uh, all right, I'm gonna jet some the opponent here. So let's see what let's see what we turn up. So they're gonna mill three cards, and then I can cast a card from their graveyard. Tunneled hipster, Vitigazi inspector, or reasonable doubt. Well, awkward. Uh, I guess we will. Play this V2Gazi Inspector, and we'll collect six evidence, and we'll, get, we'll do that. Okay, that's one more point for Nelly, and I'll be right back. All right. Does anyone need water? Uh, no, no, I'm okay, but thank okay. you. We'll put a counter here so it can profitably block their Topiary Panther, and I gain two life, and then we will play this Nervous Gardener. All right. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. How you doing, Corey? Just drafting, you know. Just drafting. Just drafting. You can under I mean, that's pretty good if you have clues and stuff. I don't. I've got some suspicion and I've got some removal. You can flip the savior up for bl black, black. So Sanguine get, saber? Yeah, it gets into a Rakdos. It looks like you're going rakdos -y. Yeah. That one's neat. What else is in that pack? Why? Why would? Why does Arena think you should take it? The because I, I have spell. I have this big worm. A big worm. <laughs> what? 
Manache. Woof woof. Woof woof. It goes woof woof. Orb. I like orb. There's a hex proof. Yeah. Hey. Oh, there's that mole god again. Whenever one or more creatures leave your graveyard, make a two two. Text. Hey, wait. Crashing footfalls? That, yeah. Oh, you should, uh, well, I guess you're not in green, hey. No. Huh. Crashing footfalls is uh, pretty messed up. I don't have any attacks now. And they're just starting, to, they're just getting, uh, yeah, might as well take it. Getting a lot of value. They have four clues. Stop your going me! This is not going great. Thin the deck? Oh, I will. But right now I have a 2-2 with Ward, and when I flip it up it'll just be a 2-2, so... Is my sound not coming through? There we go. Oh, okay. Ellie, my opponent's got so many clues. They've stabilized so hard. Mm. Yeah, that looks like a tough spot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no one has flying? No. What's your morph? Uh, nervous Gardener. So okay. I'm probably just going to flip it up here at the end of turn. Yeah, the spinning's get... probably about to be relevant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's the mill race like? Uh, there are 12 cards in their library? How did they do that? They have a lot of clues. Wow. They've drawn them. Mm. Dang, all right. One of my opponents uh, exiled their library down to nine. Got clever move. Three face down cards now. Ha! Huh, no collecting evidence for you. This time. Boy, I'm really glad I made that Rift Bristallion a seven eight. Yeah. Because <laughs> the chalk outline, they make a detective and investigate whenever they they have, they have a lot of they have a lot of synergy going on here. Yeah. Which is excellent for them. Hey, wait, that's the same chalk outline as on the. Uh... Game. This one, uh, yeah. yeah ah, my underdilf crocodilf. Um, I have five to flip up. Okay, I definitely have the mana to disguise this and undisguise it in the same turn cycle. So we'll do that because it's more it's exciting. A solid plan. Yeah. It's more exciting to be a surprise. All right, maybe we can mill our opponent out. <laughs> Kuno says, hey, fam Jamily, how's the murder solving going? Uh, variously. Um, oh, I've been straight murdered. Oh, God. Like, yeah, Nelly's three, three haste. Like, what, you got two wins, three wins? Uh, I don't know, yeah, I've won my matches. I can't remember how many I've played. Yeah, <laughs> Corey went up against a mole god twice. Yeah. Two different opponents with mole god, so Corey's drafting again. And I'm in my second game, and it's taken a while, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, this format rocks. Has murder been cast? Yes, I yeah. cast it as soon as I possibly could in my first game, actually, because my opponent went one drop flying detective, then two mana, the enchantment that either that if it's a detective you control, it gets plus two plus two. So it just sort of hitting me for three in the air. So on my turn three, I was like, I got to murder that detective. Pretty sure I'm about to murder Krenko. Sweet. Should I be, uh, at what point do I Yorgo my opponent? Who, Ooh. who Yorgoed me earlier? I mean, never is good. I know, I know. Yeah. I, I don't, but I just like, it's like, all right. You, you did the thing. All right. What do we think? It's a face down card that they are in some, for some reason, confident swinging into this board. Oh, yeah, I could have Death Touch. Yeah. Kind of like putting the one three in front of it, or the two two. The just the nervous gardener, just sure. force them to. Yeah, show you know me. what? Let's I don't do know. that. Is it? Do show you, me. They have more resources than you in terms of creatures. Yeah. So. But like, you only have two big blockers. I don't know. They're gonna flip it up, but this way I don't take damage, and it forces them to reveal their secrets. Show me, or not. 
Oh, okay. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, okay. I'm glad I didn't put any of my important creatures in front of it, because they would have simply died. Yeah, but it's an 8-8, eight, eight, so you kind of have to put one of your important creatures in front of it next turn. Yeah. Right? It doesn't have Trample, but... They now have nine cards in their library, because they did go looking for what I guess is their last forest. <laughs> Hey, Graham, who likes to mill and who likes to kill? I do. Generally, that's Kathleen's thing, but I also oh enjoy God. those things. I like doing things that progress to winning of the game. Uh, yeah, one of the bite cards. I mean, I have a lot of removal. Any of those would be a good thing to draw. Uh, yeah. That helps. Oh, that helps quite a bit, actually. Um... Cool. Okay. Oh, I should have flipped up my Delph. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't need to, because I have all this mana. I don't even need to. All right. So if they attack with the Bloomkin, I get to just eat it, because this thing has flash. Nice. So. Crime Stopper Sprite. Uh-oh, flying. Enters the battlefield. Tap a creature. If evidence was collected, put a stun counter on. Okay, they don't have any evidence, but they do get to tap one of my creatures, so probably my Rift Burst Helion. Yep, that is a thing that's going to happen. Yeah. So far, I think my favorite card in Murders at Karlov Manor is Magma. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. Oh, Rift Burst Helion also has reach. There you go. I actually did not realize that the Helion itself also had reach. So they're going to swing with the Panther, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, and their face downs? Yikes. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, they're doing big swings here. Okay. Well, yeah, they know they're about to mill it, too. Um, I'm going to block the Bloomkin with my 6-6 six, six and eat it. I'm going to put... your enchantment, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to probably just not block Topiary Panther. I'm going to put the... Dilf in front of one of these face down cards and hope that I don't just die. You probably taking... have to put them one three in front of the other one too. Like you probably have to block both those marks because you're going to four. I'm going to and there's this oh, attack. I'm going, going to, to two. two. Yeah, so you have to block yeah. both face down creatures. I think. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, there we go. And that. Okay. Is there a card called Just One More Thing? No, but there is a card in one of the Commander decks says, called the Final Word Phantom. Yeah. Oh, it's their Vengeful Creeper. Okay. Well, we're just trading then. Are they flipping up their other one? They are. And it's the Fairy Snoop. Uh, they don't have a choice but to draw a card, so that's kind of fun, I guess. In a, not in a terrific spot here. Um, but we will turn this face up. Surprise is that. And we will play this. And make that smaller so we keep our 6-6 six, six alive. Now, if we can draw one of our bites, that would be good. Because the soul innervation would drain them a little bit. For two, though, so I don't see how we don't die next turn. I think they're counting. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're dead. Yeah, we. They stabilized really well, and why did they do that? Huh. Oh, this does not help me. That's just about the worst thing I could have drawn. Do I have to attack them? Yeah, I guess they were trying to get me to sacrifice my soul innervation. Um, I 
Things do not look good for our hero. No, I thought Rift Bristallion had trampled this whole time. Oh, reach. Yeah. Topiary Panther has trample. Yeah. This is the thing about your opponent almost milling out. It means they've drawn all their cards. Yeah. I'm not going to get to solve this case, but maybe I can. Maybe, maybe I can surprise them into. Uh... Oh man, if I had that, um, uh, the Simic counterspell, uh, this this could this would be lethal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's right. Because it's like fireball. Yeah. Got to remember, there's a Simic fireball in the format. <laughs> Important things. It'd be nice if the art text on cases was flipped so they look different from Saga. I thought they were. Oh, they're not. Wait. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, because Saga's on the left, right? Yeah. They are. Haha. -ha. Surprise. Yeah, they're the same thing as classes. Case of the Trampled Garden. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I am deceased. I had this in my PPR deck too, and I never drew it. And Vanifar? Good lord. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. There's a new tooltip display. You see how many cards are in their hand, library, in exile, their graveyard, and how much potential evidence. They have oh, their band. Neat. Okay, yeah. Up on the up on the tooltip. The little magnifying Dual. glass is twenty two yeah. mana value of cards in graveyard, hey? Cool. cool, yeah. To solve this case, creatures must have a total of power eight or greater. Oh, Lord. Combos. I'm letting them play this out, because you you're Omega dead here, right? Oh, I'm su supremely right. dead. But at least we get to see what your opponent's deck does. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they're dead just with this. I'm dead just with this attack. Right, yeah, you just don't have... Or no, you have a reach block. Oh, wait, yeah. two, two flyers. Gets yeah. you. Right, right. Fair play to you, opponent. All right, all right. All right. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at Corey's deck. Yeah. He... Uh-oh. Ah, uh, no secrets. Got? Draft Ooh. Demero Dose. Hoo hoo! Joined the Rakdos uh, yeah. theater troupe. Oh, this looks, this looks good. So if I've got suspected creatures, potentially I can boost them a little bit, or smash clues, or dis disguise this big thing. I do like disguising that big thing. What's um, what's offender at large? Apart uh, from being a very funny joke. Yeah, it's a, it's a. Uh, Target creatures too. Yeah. Yeah. How many how many um, cuts do you need to make right now? Uh, just a few more. And then what's your creature count? Eighteen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, um. Oh, instant speed, active treason. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's why it's five mana. Yeah. It's an instant. Okay. I yeah. didn't know that. I was like, can't be countered. That suspect it. That doesn't seem great. I feel like you could probably cut a fender at large. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Do you want to get a like seventeenth land in there? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I love that for you. Uh, Do I need a planes? I don't think so. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask. Do you want unsolicited advice? <laughs> I, mean, I was just like, I just naturally, I'm just sort of like, no, oh, here's what I would do. Yeah, no, I'm just uh, low confidence, so. Uh, uh, I feel like the, yeah, the the subtext or the unspoken intro of the fam jam is, is to offer unsolicited advice. At least that's how I picture it. It's like we're all, you know, Jamming drafts on laptops and like here to help each other. Mm -hmm. um, what what is knife? What is knife? If it's uh, my turn, what, it... what is knife? <laughs> exactly. What is knife? Really? Uh, Quick creature, get plus one and first strike. I'm not gonna. 
Yeah. Everyone asks what is knife. No one asks who is knife. <laughs> knife seems okay, I guess. I don't know. No. No? Not unless I have mole god. Where a knife <laughs> only... becomes very, very bad. Knife is only good in case of mole god. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're blocking. I'm still just reading stuff. All right. They're blocking you? They're blocking me, but that's fine. You uh, get a forest out of it, right? I'm actually going to get a swamp here so that I can cast murder if I am so inclined. Just listening to The Knife yesterday. Love The Knife. The Knife is a great band. Big fan. Uh, what's Extract a Confession? Is that that, is that that odd sacrifice one? Each opponent sacks a creature. So it's an edict, but it's also edict their best thing if you, if yes. you want to collect them six. six. Yeah. It seems all right. It's certainly playable. Um, I'm probably just going to toss one of these and then figure out one more thing and then... Probably a swamp. What's a barbed servitor? Oh, it's indestructible and uh, you can suspect it. I draw a card. Target loses. I, I don't need it. Okay. That's safe, yeah. Maybe you want it though. That's fair. Well. All right. I have 40 cards. That's a, d that's a deck of Magic the Gathering. That's an entire deck. And now I shall play it. Sweet. What is this? Even if it's a... Uh... Yeah. I feel like Wisp Drinker Vampire is worth killing. Probably. Ooh, I I'm like just your, out here drinking Wisps. I like your land. Those are fancy. These? Yeah. 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 Nice lands. I think I made James buy those or something. Smart. The uh, secret layer pixel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, you're on the Loading Ready Run account? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that unscrupulous agent is just annoying. I'm going to do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Do it to them. Oh, yeah. We love we love Ravnus Rat. That's a really good card. That rookie's got a sharp eye. Mmm, pointy. Sure. Well... Yeah, let's just pass the turn. Just check. Oh, my mm. phone's dead. Whoops. So they need five colors to do their thingy. Put another W on the board, Paul. Nice. Up to four. It pained me, but my opponent... Uh, was playing what looked like a very cool Orzhov deck, and uh, they weren't fast or threatening enough. And sacrifice a creature if evidence collected. So they definitely, if you if you collect no evidence, they just sacrifice that, that creature, creature, which seems like a fine thing to do. I think so. Nice. Person of interest. It makes things. It's a two-two with a two-two. Two-two with a two-two, and it's suspected. Nice. Hmm. 
big jams. Ooh, they're off land in the big way. Yeah. I love that. What else do you have? Oh, a 3 6? Hell yeah. I thought about playing this guy in my deck. It's like that ability is great. You know, whenever you can sacrifice your creatures to draw cards, it's yeah. rad. But this is a 5 mana 3 6, with, and it costs 3. So it's like quite a bit of a. Counting on the suspicion stuff? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want a 5 mana 3 6, it's obviously great. But like paying 3 for the ability is tough. my steal that card card. Three, four, five, six, seven. I love how much bluffing there is with the um, da, 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 da. with the disguised creatures. It's like they had a one three and I just had the I just have a face down creature. I'm like, I attack. Yep. And they're like, uh, I only had three mana, and they're, but they're like, uh, nah. Right, yeah, I haven't learned all of them yet. Um, do you know if that follows a similar rule to cons, where like you can't have three toughness unless they have five mana? Yeah. Something like that, yeah, it might be the same rule. Uh, my opponent just suspended crashing footfalls. I'm just gonna hold it. So that sucks okay. <laughs> for me. Well, guess it's time to win the game before that comes off a suspend. I'm just gonna steal simply, their creature. For simply combat. kill them before the suspension is over. Say what? I'm just gonna steal their creature if they try to hit me. <laughs> yeah. So when do you have to give that creature back? Uh, I think it's end of turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So if you do it on your turn, you maybe just kill them. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, although now they're gaining two life? Well, who knows? Who knows? Oh, boy. I guess I could have gotten more card draw, but. Hmm. Oh yeah, do you have a way to sacrifice creatures in that deck? Yeah. Right, right there. Do you have right enough there. mana to? I don't. Uh, next turn though? Maybe. Yeah, next turn you'll have enough mana to Take a creature and then and then sacrifice it to your corner, yeah. or is the corner sacrificing two creatures? Just one. No, one. Okay. Yeah. What? So if you wait one more turn on the steal a creature play, then you're you're in business on that plan. I'll trade if they want. That is pretty long, interesting game against a Jeskai opponent with like. Um, the Volt Strider artifact vehicle that like can recast spells from your graveyard. And um, I don't know, it was quite close. We're both below 10 life, and now they've just decided to time out. Hmm. So I guess they drew one oh. too many lands. But it, we have the same number. They put this very expensive thing out. The, the thing that if you draw all your cards isn't a problem. Oh, the Living Conundrum. It's got hexproof. It's got, that throws uh, off all my math. Yeah, that's Your plan. That's annoying. I mean, you have a menace creature. I do, but it's small. I can still take it, and then just hit them. No, you can't Four, take it because it has hexproof. Five. Oh, it's hexproof. Oh right? wait, how does hexproof work? Can't be targeted, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. cool. Can't be the target. So no, you can't. My brain was like, ward is hexproof. No, no yeah, if that's it, yeah, because your spell can't be countered, you could still take it. But no, I mean, you can flunge, and then they block your three, and you get in for three. Probably. That's not that bad. What is their what does their saga do or whatever that the is? if they have five uh, mana sources, oh, yeah. five colors. Yeah, I mean I like just hitting them with five. everybody. Yeah. Their their good block puts them to one.
Okay, my opponent's decided they want to play again. I might just sack this to get card draw. Oh, I just realized something. My opponent hasn't cast hasn't cast their crashing footfalls yet, but because it's a sorcery, not a creature, the rhinos won't have tr uh, haste. Right. That's how crashing footfalls works. Right. Mm. Okay. That's slightly better. Right. Okay. Presumed dead. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those one of those things. Okay. Maybe my ops internet is just really bad. They're like trying to play this game again, but they just like hunted their investigate into prophetic memory play, where they like didn't didn't sacrifice their clue before combat. So that's kind of sad. Doppelgang is a trap. I don't know. Doppelgang seems fun. <laughs> I might just presume dead my repeat offender and then get counters on it next turn if if they hit me, if they try. Uh, I think if they hit you, just take it and make your repeat offender a suspect, a suspect, a suspect, a suspect, a suspect. That's how you say these words. That's how those words are said. Yeah, that's true. One of them suspects. Okay, I can count. Uh, does that? Oh, it puts it on top of your, uh, bummer. Bummer. Uh, wait, yeah, now you presume dead on the other thing and they die, right? Because it's plus two, plus oh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, someone must have known that I'm like, in this fam jam, and so they used their last half an hour to keep me in that game. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've won now. Like, if we were racing, I was supposed to just concede. That's like some weird reality of the fam jam. Oh, I should have just hit them. I, so I, uh, sorry. So I have four wins now. This doesn't matter. It kills the thing. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. I meant on the other one. <laughs> just, oh, well. <laughs> so it's up to five in total. Yeah, I agree with chat. Killing a player might have been better. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah. I just made a sequencing error where I was killing an opponent's creature and I should have, in response to my own thing, killed their other creature that cares about evidence collection. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't collect evidence before that other creature hit the graveyard. So that's kind of annoying. But mm. we're otherwise okay. I think we're okay. They've resolved their crashing footfalls, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Crashing footfall is a pretty terrifying card to see in regular drafts. Okay. Okay, let, let, let them do that. <laughs> and then on your turn, steal it back and then uh, yeah, hit them, and hit hit them hit with them. both creatures. Nice. <laughs> the classic pay five, deal one. Or, or bring my old friend back. Uh, no. I mean. No. You probably want to win the game. I this just want to do this. <laughs> I mean, you can do both, I guess. I can do everything. Can I, can do everything. Do everything they, I, I mean, they know <laughs> because of their effect. Yeah. Rawr. I love how much everyone's fighting over the corner. No, he's my corner. No, he's my corner. <laughs> Adorable. I need him in. I need him downstairs now. So many. Like, there's like 80 detectives in only one corner. Mm hmm. Six points. I, did you have fun points. in the match? Yeah. Big fan of the did you have fun. Are you? Are you? Like, Oh god. Okay, so I'm always on the on the lookout for like what's the what's the cool common to build a deck around and it seems like my opponent is on jaded analysts. So like if you can if you can draw two cards in a turn it's a watch wolf. Well, 
Let's jump over to Nelson, see what's going on here. Just started game five. Yeah, we're I assume these... my opponent's going to cast a card drawing spell and slam through six. Oh gosh, they have Ooh. this thing. This is super good with clues. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and it, right, it makes clues. I don't have a murder, unlike every other hand of cards I've had with this deck. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty blank. Um, going to die is my plan here. Doing badly. Like, do we get just outrageous robbery for two? I guess it's a draw two, right? We're in we're in trouble. Right here in River City, if you will. <laughs> right here? Yeah. This is the place where the trouble is. How would you spell that? Uh, at least, at least the first letter. T. Oh, okay. Okay. Does that rhyme with anything notable? Um, like <laughs> almost every letter in the alphabet, actually. It's true. It's weird. <laughs> All right. Well, rakish scoundrel, it's time for you to trade with a jaded analyst. You understand. This guy gets it. Tractor Inspector? Ooh, I love that. Well, yeah, let's slam this thing for two because I just don't know what else, when else I'm doing it. Whoa. Tractor Inspector makes me think that, like, Racer X is Speed's brother. This is a three mana three two. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this this looks like the deck that I was sort of suspecting exists in this format. Like, there, it, it's often a blue common. Um, and maybe it's Jaded Analyst. Wait, what's it going to? Yikes. Okay, well... Let's... Let's loot. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Let's... Can we put away a land, or should we just put away, like... Magmon, get it back. Um... No, I think we can put away land. It's fine. Let's go to combat. Let's play a red herring. There's a lot of words on Crovod Haunch. Mm-hmm. Haunch? Haunch. Crovod Haunch. <laughs> oh my word. But I thought I had the cool instant that draws lots of cards. Okay, they make two piles with Intrude on the Mind. I'm gonna choose a pile. I put that pile into their hand. And the other one goes to the graveyard. And they make a, a Thopter that's as big as the number of cards in the graveyard. They what? It's uh, it's pretty cool. This, right. I think this card's probably playable in Highlander, actually. It's a solid, solid magic card. So imagine Jace's Ingenuity, but you also get a creature. Seems good. Yeah. Oh, God. The, they have a totally stacked top five, too. Okay, so I can either give them a 2-2 two -two Thopter, and they get these three cards. Or I can give them... A 3-3 three, three Thopter and give them these two cards. I think I'm going to give them three cards. Nice intrude on the mind. Just keeping my opponent honest here. This red herring would love to trade. Oh, it's getting to deal damage. Okay, that's even better. I just cast my opponent's crashing footfalls with Jetson. Wow. Oh, that was neat. Watch out. 
A man's got the jets. Forensic know. researcher has been wrecking my stuff this game, though. That's the 1-3 merfolk that taps, collect evidence, 3 to tap a creature. It has been really That card's really good. Because they have other cards that care about collecting evidence. Right. Right? Mm. So it's been, like, um, like, chalk outline or surveillance monitor. So it's been really frustrating. Oh my god. How dare you. Out cold is, like, pretty strong. So... Yeah, if you can, maybe maybe out cold is like a pretty high pick and draft. Just four mana. Four mana. Yeah, it's four Stun mana them. frost breath. Mm -hmm. Can't be countered, and you investigate. That's wild. Yeah, we're, we're probably losing this match. I think my opponent's draft deck is like a not their first draft deck of the format. <laughs> it really looks like they are aware of what the good cards are. Yeah, mm. as they attack me for four hundred. My opponent has been mostly not playing cards, especially creatures. And, shock. Uh, Rip shock. Rip shock. No. I'm killing them shock. with a 2-1. Okay. That's good. Oh, I was the next one down. Brutal. Uh, okay. One so. victory for Corey. Woo. Seven round. Boom. We're up to seven. Okay. No second out cold, please. That's not what I wanted you to do. But do they have to wait a way to draw another card? This is a way to draw two cards with this thing. Incredible. Oh, this is still lethal. God. Wow. Nice. Good game. Well played, Pepino. Did you concede by saying hello? Uh, I, was, I misclicked. I just wanted to show them the Jaya emote. Which, hello, I, which I remember bye. is at the top. I do I do sometimes give them give them the hello when they when they do something great. You know. All their all their cards are working out perfectly. It's time for the hello. I really thought I had that game, and I got, I just got bustled. Mm. I really, really thought oh, I had that. Oh, you didn't win the one with, where you cast their Crashing Footfalls? No, they, they just, I didn't draw land for several turns and couldn't do stuff, and then um, they went wide with, um, in, in retrospect, if I had killed the Evidence Collector, like, the turn it came out, uh, then Maybe it might have been okay, but I just got buried under value. And then with the, um, there's a Vidalcan that whenever you collect evidence, you make a Thopter. Right. And they just started building up this army of Thopters, and I could never recover. Oh yeah, I have this. I have urgent necropsy in my deck. Where were you? Yeah, that would have been nice, hey. Yeah, that would have been real good. Uh, yeah, things, incidental evidence collection and cards that just care about when you collect evidence, like chalk outline and stuff that like just make creatures. Real good. Real good stuff. Mm. Oops. I like I appreciate that the shady informant is an informant in the in in the shade. Yes, give me a big fire. I do like that too. Is Matt still here? 
scapegoat online. This is our first. Uh, this, <gasps> this card's been in my deck the whole time. Oh my god! Don't nobody tell him. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Immediately got, shocked. Got shocked right away. <laughs> I have to exile a card. You say. What are we up to? Exile this murder. Opponents, what you doing with your turn? Oh. Hmm. It's not suspicious. Yeah. I already feel like I'm falling hugely behind in this game. Land. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you have no lands. I have no lands. I guess I should have investigated. That was a little bad now. Swamps. No! No! Well, I'm up against the mirror. Um, you can play your red hair. Actually, what's the, what's the Granitan do? The Grand. Gear Brain Granitan. So, target artifact, I can destroy or I can sack one and get two counters on. Two plus one plus one counters on it. I just play your Valley Dasher. Beep beep. My, red, my, my red, red hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did the magic player thing. Hmm. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. The herring is obliged to beep, beep for whatever that's worth. It does. It does have to do the oh, beep, beeps. Yeah. Well, I just passed a murder on a rot farm mortipede so I could get in for six, and then they cast Rakdos, Patron of Chaos, and my last card in hand is Galvanize. How much damage does the Galvanize do? Three. <sighs> Oof. Uh, I think I let them draw two cards. I, I I'd like to see uh, the, you know, the rot farm millipede has been murdered, and now somebody has to come in and draw the chalk outline of the millipede. It's going to take a long time to get the position of every single foot. Oh right, I can't do that. Right. Ah, oh, sweet. That would have been great earlier so that I could have uh, given my stuff lifelink and whatever else I wanted. This card really wins limited games. <laughs> it's so cold as ice that the two cards my opponent drew off their Rakdos are shock. It's like, would you like to sacrifice your stuff? No? Okay, well, I'm gonna burn it. They, they drew, drew two shocks. Two shocks. It's like, I could have sacrificed two two twos. Wow, all right. And they're like, I'm just gonna draw two shocks anyway. It's fine. They had to um, spend four mana because one of the shock targets was warded. Oh god, if only I could draw two cards myself, I could kill that thing. I'm gonna deadly complication this gear drag all over the place. <laughs> Choose one or okay. both. Boop, boop. Destroy. Give me counters. Oh no, there's been a complication. Well, There's been a complication. Good thing I have for this suspect. It doesn't sound so bad. No, no. It's a deadly com complication. Oh, no. Beep, 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 beep. I only have two murders, right? And I exiled one to this unscrupulous agent. I cast the other one on a 3 4. Awkward. I'm going to destroy their clue. Oh, I guess I was supposed to burn this too, so I'm not going to exactly oh. 
No, my target. The saddest orangutan. Nothing too smashy. Got Ooh. my opponent with urgent necropsy. Urzim, Ezrim. Urzim never met him. So. They investigate twice. But they can get for hex proof. One, and they can sack one of their clues to do it. It's a real problem. It's two. Jesus. Yeah. All right, team. Yeah. If anyone's well, curious, draft Rakdos, patron of chaos. There's one, and they can. They can <laughs> it's a good it idea. From my good call. Good call. Yeah, yeah. If you can cast, it's only six mana. I know six is a fair bit, but in this mm. format, it's fine, I think. And uh, yeah, they have to kill it immediately. Uh, now this spell can't be countered. Is good against Ward, but not so much against Hexproof, I guess. Correct. Yeah. It's true. But but what if I just yeah. Hmm. I can detonate their guardian. Wait till they tap out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, it's true. If you is a suspicious detonation in an instant. Sorry. No. Dang it. Suspected. Yeah, do you just have lethal here if you steal his cook? It's long, well, he's got enough mana to. It make can it. get lifelink, can't it? Yeah, oh, that's right. Can it? Yeah. And I, I don't but actually I've know. Reach to block? I don't know. If he's out of clues, or they, if my opponent's out of clues, then it's safer. If they just don't give it hexproof, then I can steal it. Does it take mana to do that ability? It's one, and then sack an artifact. All right. So he has to have something. Uh. Okay. So life link. Ezrim is a messed up card. True. Just take five and then it's tapped out. Sure. Maybe they'll play something else that I can. Mm. Or if Snatch. You can, or if My you little can, grabby hands. Or if we can destroy that clue. Mm -hmm. Somehow. Well. The cost to give it hexproof is one mana and sack an artifact. So they need to not have any artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. And I can do. Well, if they if they swing at me again with it, I can I can block it with the ape and then. Uh, th blow it up, maybe. It's flying. While it's still got damage on oh, it. No, the ape yeah, ape's got reach. Ape's right. got reach. Uh, you know what they say, that ape's got reach. That ape? So much reach. <laughs> so much reach, that ape. Are you talking about this ape right here? That ape. Uh, okay. They decided to sack their unicorn. And by sack, I mean, you know put it in my way. The burn is sorcery, yes, but combat damage stays until the end of turn, right? Yeah. But sorcery means you still can't do it on their turn. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> that's rude. It's rude. Why don't these clues stack? Why are they different looking? <laughs> Lifelink. 
Oofa doofa. I feel like the agency chief just beating the face in of the uh, suspect is bad, poor form. Uh huh, uh huh. Consultant, make them discard a card, maybe. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. They've been really uh, <sighs> keeping that. They've there. been really disciplined about keeping the keeping their options open. Yeah. In a way that's very frustrating. Keeping that one land available. Lock their freaking. Oh no, they've got the listening elephant. <laughs> the listening elephant? The listening elephant. That's who they are. Aww. That's like the best art in the set, right? I love it. Locks yeah. it on eavesdropper. It's this this one. So good. Yeah. It's just being very casual about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like Locks it on is just like, those are just my ears. I'm not like actively being the listening eavesdropper guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing to see here. All right. Speaking of nothing to see here, what's going on in your game? <laughs> yeah, uh, it was good, to, good of you to switch over <laughs> just for my defeat and then leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get water. All right. Does anyone else need anything? Uh, I'm good. I'd love I'm some good. water, actually. Actually, that'd, sure. That'd yeah, be great. Right. Thank you. Want you. Some more water. I, have, I don't I have a no, no, right. active thing, though. So I, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot this game. My opponent solved the case of the trampling garden. Yes. But I... Uh, I have, ooh, Greenbelt Radical. It's only when it's turned face up, hey? Okay, I have the Vengeful Creeper to destroy it, and I have this Rift Burst Hellion. So I think I'm just gonna attack with both of these, because unfortunately this thing has reach in it, which they just played. I was, felt like I was in a better position a moment ago, but. I'm sorry, so what's the plan? Are you gonna flip that conformant post-combat and go for the, the one for one? Uh, I don't know. Um, depends on how they block here, but like, yeah, so if they block there, then I'm just gonna turn this. Actually, wait. Okay, so here's the trick. There's tricks. <sighs> if I turn up this card, yeah, that's lethal. Okay, but if they have, if they have a bounce, uh, you might be dead on the backswing and you lose your homie. Then I am super dead because that's all my mana. Right, but it does result in them winning, or you winning the game, and they have one card in hand. So it's like the yeah. classic magic player risk. But if I that flip we up, often recommend taking. Yeah, if I flip up this card, then I eat their four four, and kill their case. Is there a two mana? There yeah. is a two yeah, mana there bounce. Is. Of yeah, course, there there's is. There's a two yeah. mana bounce. I think there's multiples actually. Yeah, one blue and one bounce and surveil, and there might be another thing that does it. I just realized if I flip this up, they can just bounce this. Uh, and then I'm dead anyway? No, I'm at 11. All right, I'm going for the kill. I'm in a really bad spot if they have it. Thanks so much, Corey. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank goodness they didn't have it. <laughs> I oh. I do like the little mole avatar they have though. Oh, their little the mole pet is adorable. Love the mole pet. All right, up to eight points. Woo! Three wins. Okay, three and two. Feeling good. What's happening in Nelson's game? Ah, pretty back and forth against a Boros opponent here. It's looking close. Yeah, it's close. What's this is the, a this is the, a raker scoundrel. So it's six mana to flip, and then I have a death touch and maybe another indestructible. What's the cost reduction on macabre reconstruction? If a thing died, okay, um, graveyard into my it. graveyard. If one of my things went to the graveyard, and then concealed this weapon turn. is an equipment, I assume for two. Yeah, you can equip for two. So this turn, I don't know. We could do like this and this. We have in here just this idiot. Yeah, no, the macabre construction isn't great here. I think we want to add blockers to this. 
board. And I've never seen somebody who has the same pet as their avatar picture. Oh yeah. Makes it seem like you're actually playing against the little raptor over there. Yeah. yeah. I'm in some trouble just because my opponents kind of cast more spells than I have. Those dogs. Yeah, I've taken maybe a bit more damage from the dog walkers than I was supposed to. Oh, no. oh just they're so cute, though. Is this a detective? Oh, I'm dead. That's too bad. Why is being a detective relevant in this instance? This can pump a detective. Oh, but they tapped it. Yeah, they didn't pump the detective, though. But they might just have lethal, I guess, hey? Uh... The detectives yeah, who are supposed just, to do the pumping. It's just lethal both ways. Oh. Doesn't it didn't have to tap it didn't have to Death. tap it. But the, the granite one is just kill this. Right. Death by puppies it show. Yeah, I could have been a little quicker uh, with removal spells that game. I was a little bit too um, let's wait and see if this galvanize will trade up. But I also kinda drew worse than my opponent. Okay, so four four oh oh three there for Nelly. And we're back in the queue. Don't look at me, I kept a bad hand. <laughs> I also did, but you can look at me if you want. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's a handful of gas, I guess. That's why I kept it. You can you can cycle with lots of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. All right, how's the Trotta working out? Should I should I first pick her? Uh, long barely cast her, but she seems good. Three mana, one four death touch, and your face count creatures can turn up for four. Yeah. I'm gonna take a long goodbye. Reasonable. The uh, so this is a shady informant. I'm just gonna pass here. Um, the fun thing about Flotsam and Jetsam is that, uh, and I got this wrong initially until I was playing Arena just this morning and noticed it, but the these count as, um, this is eight mana. Oh, for collect evidence? For collecting yeah, evidence, that's yeah. Right. So it just sets up your four mana spell immediately, right? Your necropsy. So like, I could flip this up and trade for this elephant, but that doesn't seem good. So I'm just gonna, you know, actually, you know what Whoa. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flot some first and see see if maybe I draw something. Okay, so super awkwardly, I passed this Atrata. I liked all of those. And then I took a long goodbye, but now I'm pretty sure overwhelmingly the best card in the pack is Lazav. There's also a Fairy Snoop and a Scribble Blade. Okay, so my neighbor and I are probably just gonna fight over the mirror. But maybe I can make another reason to have to fight over. Lazav is quite good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I've got a couple. Of, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack here. I got a couple options. They can block, uh, and then I'll get the. Okay, cool. So I can flip this up and just eat it, or I can not do that and play the case of the Gorgon's Kiss and have mana open for the urgent necropsy, which I think I will do. So I'm gonna let damage resolve, and then I'm gonna Gorgon it. You're Gorgon it? We're Gorgon it. Just Gorgon it. Uh, and then I can also play my Hedge Maze. If it's a swamp, I'm putting it in the bin. Uh, no, I will definitely keep Topiary Panther, though. I'm not gonna solve this case, but... That's fine. All right, so now I have either the mana to flip this up or uh, do the urgent necropsy, which is a super messed up card. I have uh, evidence, oh, my, my evidence display isn't showing up this time. That's weird, but I've got a lot. Plenty. Izoni. Okay, whenever Izoni enters the battlefield or attacks, you may collect evidence for, if you do, Create two, two one spiders with menace and reach. Yep. Sacrifice four tokens. Serve wow. Okay. Yikes. All right. 
Uh, time to urgently necrops Izoni, I guess. Or attacks. Holy moly. Sure. That happens. Um, oh, and they're tapped out, so I get to... Oh, they don't have art... Oh, darn, I thought that I got to get an artifact and an enchantment, but I don't, so... All right. Uh, this pipe and Izoni and no enchantments, very sadly. I could do my old soul innervation. That seems bad. Uh, and a, just to... Oh, because I can't solve the case on their turn. Sorry, I'm just babbling at this point. So what do I need? Seven? Oh, so I can just do these two. This is still CMC 2, right? Yep. Mana value 2. 2 in the graveyard, yeah. Okay, so I'll just do that and that. That's 7. Do it. Drain them for 1 off of my soul innervation. Very nice, very nice. Great. Okay. That was fine. That was fine. Um... I think what I'll do here is I'm actually going to attack. And if they block with one of those spiders, then I'm going to... Which they did. Okay, well, then... All right. Do you want to just flip it for more damage, or are you using your mana for this? No, now I'm just going to play the panther. Sure. Uh, I was going to... Um, maybe I should have held that land. There is discard. Uh, if they blocked with one of the spiders, I was going to... Um, I... What?! Another Azoni, eh? Nice deck. What? <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, Maybe. probably not, really. Yeah. Not, in this, not in this game, I mean, yeah. My plan was I would flip the thing and then trade this for both spiders, but uh, that obviously didn't end up happening. All right, well, Azoni, or sorry, Atrada's a good blocker. Not for his own. All their stuff has menace. Is Hedge Whisperer good? I'm in a lot of trouble, actually. <laughs> I'm in a tremendous amount of trouble. Oh dear. I think I'm just dead on board, actually. So sorry to hear that. All right, you got to take the first slam against humanity if it's like tenth, right? <sighs> oh yeah. I sort of got cut out of black. It's like it, se it seemed like both my neighbor on my left and my neighbor on my right were going to be in Demir. Hmm. But they're, well, or at least black. Maybe they're in other other black colors. But what does Azoni do? It's a real oh, bad. It's happening. It. Okay. It was count two. Azoni's got so much text. Okay, wait. How can we recycle these oozes? We need to work on that too. There's probably some creature, like a blue five mana thing that oh, puts, a, yeah. puts a spell back on top of my library. Or yeah, something, is there right? a blue card? Anybody? Is there a blue card that gets. Sor it's a sorcery, right? It, this is a sorcery. Slime against vanity is, yes. Oh, God. It's, it's when his only attacks as well. Ugh. It's, a, it's not even a mythic. She's just rare. Uh, am I dead? <laughs> I think I'm dead. Nice. Oh, goodness, this, is, this is only four mana. Four mana destroy all creatures. Wow. Oh, I am dead. My condolences. I don't know how I'm supposed to block this. I guess... It's like that, and then like this. It doesn't matter, because they have eight power of spiders, so. Yeah. It's appropriate. It's a lot of spiders. Yep. Yeah. Well. The Ocho. Gross. All right. Well, that's a, what is that, a, three, a, a, a clean three and three? The cleanest. Yeah. So what what if you're you've gone three and three and what was your first match? Or your first uh This was the first draft. This is the only draft I've done so oh, far. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, three. 
All right. Someone someone said sealed. I haven't done a sealed yet. Let's do a sealed. Ooh, I think sealed. I think we may have missed some because like if you got three wins, Corey got two wins. Uh, yeah, I got I got four in my first my first draft, and then Graham got three, so that should put us at nine or something. So it's. What? Uh, yeah, I think we're we missed one. So many cards. Ooh, Ezrim. And assemble the players and cryptic coat and unyielding gatekeeper. They can't all be first. Case of the Uneaten Feast and Treacherous Greed and a Meticulous Archive and the Case of the Stashed Skeleton. So we're Esper. <laughs> cool. <laughs> or at least blue white. Unless your commons and uncommons matter. Yeah. That nah, doesn't sound like magic. <laughs> Is the case of the stashed skeleton just a convoluted way of saying like skeleton in the closet? Yeah. Oh look, we've got two two copies of Granite Witness as well. Mm. Sweet. All right. Oil detective. I'll I'll f fart around with deck building. Check back in with me in a few minutes. All right. Uh, uh, what are you doing, Corey? Um, s smashing face. That sounds good. I swapped uh, the Gorgon's case out for the servitor, the barbed servitor. And barbed servitor. Barbed servitor. Barbed servitor. Burbiter. Is the symbol the player? The Burbiter. The Burbiter! They countered my Burbiter. Nur. Nur. Er, nur. Er, nur. He countered my Burbiter. Hoping that this case of the trampled trampled garden is as good as I think it is. I've done it! I've solved the case of the trampled garden. What about the dead guy over there? I don't know, that's not working on that. No idea. <laughs> yeah. I figured out it was these meddling kids that ran in here and stepped uh, on the flowers. Uh, I'm just a garden detective. Yeah. Just a garden oh. party, a detective. They stunned my fishy! They stunned your fishy? Yes, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fishy, fishy, oh. Um, is Chaco line busted? Like, uh, it was very if you good. Have ways been, to collect evidence. It's been very good against me twice. Okay, I have like, a if you have ways, ways to collect evidence, you just start getting. Yeah, maybe I'll you try. You start it. getting random detectives. I'd right. give it a shot. Oh my God, third slime. Third slime. Incredible. <laughs> Hashtag we are doing it. Yeah. Holy moly. Nelson's got three slimes against humanity. I don't have very many blue cards. I wonder if I'm just cutting this jaded analyst plan. We'll see. Thinking cap seems pretty strong. Whoa, hard evidence is in this set? Busted. Oh, I have to choose over a projector inspector then? <gasps> Wait, or another crab? Bite down on crime seems like it doesn't get drafted very highly. And I'm just taking crab. You can't stop me. Crab, crab, crab. Whoa. Holy options. Hello. Um. Stop flying at oh. me. So I have I, I have what I think is a very solid um just straight white blue deck. Mm -hmm. um, ignore these mountains. The, the gadget, te gadget technician and the dog walker both flip up for white or blue. Um, but I was like, well, I should look at the black because this treacherous greed. Uh, where is it? This this rare is, I think, pretty good. Yeah, that's a neat one. Hey, sacrifice a creature that dealt damage. So if you have a bunch of like thopters or unblockable or whatever, yeah. it can be good. So like that's cool. And I was like, okay, what else do I have in black? And there's the curse, the stash skeleton, like we said. There's I also have three murders. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And it's like, it's something to that consider. makes my mana 
so much worse. Mm. Uh, and also in black is the coerce to kill, which is just take a creature and give it death touch. Yeah, I know, double black, right? Because I've, I've got the Meticulous Archive and this Public Thoroughfare. And, like, that's the fixing. So, I don't... I don't think I can actually do that. I could run some Dilfs, too. I don't think I can actually run Triple Murder. What removal do I have in, in this deck? Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have no removal in Sealed? Well, you have three Murders you could play. I've got Make Your Move. I've got a bounce spell. I've got a kill a big thing spell. Uh, and Ezrim is just player removal, <laughs> we've discovered. Yeah. Huh. All right. I'll rebuild this. Return to me again later. <laughs> Night drinker moral of the day. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're blue black splashing double white for Ezrim. Although we have a lot of good white spells too. We've got like the, the new Thraben Inspector. And the uh, unyielding gatekeeper. Do I take the repulsive mutation or the fourth slam against humanity? There's only like nine cards left in the pack. What the heck, treacherous terrain? Whoa. Each opponent? Equal number of lands they control? That's an exciting card. This also looks like, although it's from Commander, it's set on Ravnica. Oh, maybe it's in the strat. I don't know. Ah, I gotta do the meme thing. Sorry, good cards. <laughs> Sorry, good cards. No room for you in here today. That's right. Corey, what's going on over there? Uh, I stole one of their creatures, and so they put one of the my creatures in my library, and so now I'm. There's the one. On the, the one, the normal the, the, one. The one. Yeah, yeah. they only got the one creature. But that's yeah. Yeah. You know, I spit at them. Oh no. Saying this eye is private. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have enough like disguised cards for this thing to even really. No. Ah, <sighs> Every one of us. <laughs> we'll eat haunch today. We're eating haunch today, everybody. Haunch, 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 haunch. Ah. Okay. What do I explode? Great question. I get a face down thing. 3-3, three, three. cannot block their flyer, so I would probably want to explode their flyer. But I don't know if the face down thing flies. Uh, Me neither. Sacrificed an artifact. I don't get any clues from anywhere. I'm a freaking blowing things up. Ooh. Boom! I could actually play this treacherous train. <laughs> hmm. That didn't work. This card's probably bad. Whoa, what the hell is that? They flipped up the thingy and they gave the other thingy expert. Oh. Um, All right, I didn't find any ways to recur Slam Against Humanity, but I did draft four of them. <gasps> so Four of them? Maybe that's good enough? Uh. Four seems 
Excellent. <laughs> yes, I block your 110 with my goblin. Yeah. It's <laughs> a large buttock on that thing. Now they get their last card. They get their last card. Dang. Haha, -ha, it was. Oh, it's in there. It's in the hole. It goes in the hole. You can click on the hole. I can click on the hole. All right. It was planes. a plane. All right. Good to know. Yep. Uh, well, you can get in for three, right? I Wait, probably... no, no. Does that have menace? Oh, it does have menace. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should, because it can't block, because you've suspected it. Yes. No. Not the... no, no. Get. Bleh. Just the one. Well, you can, you can, you can unclick them after. Oh, yeah, I know. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Having a mild to medium panic. <laughs> So that unscrupulous agent is going to have to <laughs> make friends with the private eye, but you're not dead. They're best friends. Are there 22? Yeah, because this thing has life gain. That sucks. Life link. Oh, swing it. Oh, swing yeah. uh, That one guy, Ben, welcome if you're just joining us. Uh, it's uh, myself and Corey and Nelson. Nelson's just back here from having drafted. And then later today, it's going to be Cameron and Wheeler and Kathleen. Yeah, I'm just even more. Oh. Ben Elmer unfortunately isn't playing. That's I'm that's out. that's me, Ben. Yeah, um, but if, if he were, I'm sure he would care that the current maximum slime count in the deck is four. Hopefully, someone can do better. You know, during the course of the format. Bummer. Did I enjoy this game? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> It Did you draw it, lands it and spells? Didn't even ask. Didn't even ask. Yeah. Sometimes they. All know. right. All right. All right, Nelson. Let's Nelson see with the. I'm about to make this jaded analyst gigantic. <laughs> no slimes in your opening hand. What? No, that's okay. Got some lands and got some spells. Ooh, I almost got one of those in my deck. This card seems pretty hot, honestly. Um. Only one mana to exile it, and like if you have the chalk outline, then exiling gets you a 2 2. Plus, like, surveil 2 is pretty strong. I'm jelly. I'll, I'll put it out there. Oh, we ripped a slime. Slimes are online. This slime is online. Wait, your slimes get pumped by other oozes that are in your graveyard or exile as well? Holy. They do what? So when you cast slime against humanity, you make a zero zero. Yeah. And then put plus one plus one counter on it, plus, plus one plus one counters on it, equal to the total number of cards you want in exile in your graveyard that are oozes, like ooze creatures, oh. or are named slime against humanity. Fun fact. So do you already have one in the graveyard? Well, no, it was, it, I mean, it's in the graveyard now, so but, it starts, but when you cast it, it's on the stack. But it starts as a 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, yeah, the first one's a 2-2 two, two for three. It put X, oh, is one plus? Oh, two plus the number, okay, yeah. cool. Okay, so it's, plus, it's yeah, worst it case, it's a three mana 2-2 two, two with trample. Cool, okay, that's sweet, that's better than I thought it was. Nice. Oh, you got the out cold this time. Mm, I did, yeah. Oh, not, not, not that you want to do that this turn, necessarily, at least. No, I'm trying to figure out if I want to trample... And just make a 4-4 four, four and get in with Ooze Buddy. I think I can wait. Ooze Buddy. I'm just going to tap. Ooze Buddy is that. <sighs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, I thought we <laughs> gave that death a moment of silence that it required. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what am I doing here? No, maybe I am trampling and then next turn I'm out cold. This turn is hard to figure out. I'm, I'll make this one. Oh. That one's something's pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Okay, there you go. What's this? Oh, wow. Wow, okay.
Is this music we're hearing like from Arena? Yep. Okay, neat. It's the new. Nice, thing. nice MKM music team. Yeah. I'm up against Bert the Hulk. It's pretty man. Okay, I haven't attacked at all yet. Love that for me. Nervously. Very good. I like Tunnel Tipster a lot. Like when your mana dork is also a grow creature. I really like that rare from um, the most recent Ravnica. Was it the most recent or was it two ago? That was like a 0 02, and then if you pay 5, it becomes a 3 5. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Morgante Maggiore points out, like, people aren't sure about the Trampled Garden because 8 is a lot, but I can remember... Happened against me earlier today. Yeah, I can remember seeing Moss Ward Bridge in play for the first time, and it's like, actually, getting to 10 power or 20 power even total isn't that big a deal. It happens all the time. Look, my opponent also has 8 power on board, and this is just from playing some stuff. And yeah. it's only turn 5, like... Or maybe it's their turn 4? Levi missed a land drop. Oh, I like the lightning from the window. Yeah, the lightning is pretty that. cool. Yeah. It's good. It's stormy outside. Yeah, it was a dark and stormy. That's right, night. the rain's coming down hard, you know. The the hats with the brims are getting all wet. Whatever these are called, Stetsons? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Mm -hmm. Masri says, or whatever, yeah. Masri asks, Graham, off topic, I just got... Mm. Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age, from watching you play it forward, would you recommend an Xbox controller or a mouse and keyboard? I think a controller. It was originally designed for controller. I think you'll probably ha have a more pleasant play experience. I actually have no concept of how that game would control with mouse and keyboard. They, they changed the controller configuration in the, uh, in the Zodiac Age, didn't they? Uh, I think so. I mean, you can probably rebind stuff if you so desire. So I remember Final Fantasy, the original Final Fantasy XII was unique in that uh, it had uh, reversed vertical and horizontal uh, as like always on. Oh yeah. Which I have not seen uh, reversed horizontal being uh, a, a, a thing. <laughs> Alright, Nelson's really deep in this game. I so am, I'm just yeah. gonna start playing. Great. But yeah. I, I put together an Esper deck. Awesome. Uh, is it better than the uh oh. Oh, it can't be count Ward doesn't care, right. Yeah, we're good. Oh cold can't be countered. This is like the whole point of this card. Yeah. Uh anyway, is this good? I don't know. Uh would would just blue white have been better? Maybe. But this deck's got removal and graveyard, and like I can get creatures back from my graveyard, so that's probably good. I don't know, we'll find out. Also, I have the case of the Pilfered Proof, which is um, whenever a detective enters the battlefield or is turned face up, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. I've got nine detectives and two other creatures that make detectives. Okay. So I feel like that's good. Go ahead and exile this out cold. Probably also flunging? Hmm. 
Hmm. Did we bounce their 1-1 one, one to keep the Jaded Analyst alive here? I don't think we really need Jaded Analyst. Tough call. Yeah, I think just I bouncing. Think you're pretty happy trading for two things there. Yeah, I think just keeping the mana open for this um, so that their next block is even harder. Does Case the Trampled Garden actually give the creature you target trample? Oh, okay. Once a turn, yeah. So you your get flyer trample. is. Well, one creature per turn. So yeah. it's like, yeah. But like if. Yeah, so the flyers is threatening lethal right now. If you bounce yeah. one of their bats at the end of turn, then it's exactly lethal just from your flyer. Yeah. Now they left up double black, so that face down card could be the 2 1 um, vampire that gives lifelink. That yes. has lifelink and gives lifelink when it's turn for us up. That's a pretty good draw. You gonna disguise it? Yep. Don't tell anybody. <gasps> I think I'll play my land too. And then yeah, give this flying creature trample. Uh no, I should do this pre-combat. Let's just do this now. Pay two to tap this creature down. Who was it? It was that one. Hey! It was the lifelink fan. Uh -huh. But yeah, my the granite witness is not fair. I got a card. I don't know which one. Ooh. I had to like uh, have a coffee in this parlor. So I decided I was not under enough pressure that I couldn't. I decided I was under in little enough pressure. That I could take a turn off basically to get my case of pilfered proof out there so that next turn I can play um, two detectives and make them bigger. Ooh, it's one of them rare cloak cards. Yeah. So they just cloaked. Yeah, they look exactly the same. There's. Yeah, there's only. The only way to tell is to mouse over and say this permanent is cloaked. So they looked at the top five cards of their library and cloaked two of them. That's probably bad. Oh, now I draw my second white source. Oh, wow. mm. uh, okay, so we will play this. Investigate. Then we'll play one of these. I don't think I'm collecting any evidence from this. We're just gonna make a 3 3 flyer. My opponent's username is No Games. I'm like, really? Are you sure? None whatsoever. <laughs> what about everything that you do with this account? What would you call those? Contests, <laughs> right? Battles of wit. Mm. I do like my opponent's name, Darth Stoke. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. a great one. That's a good name. Love Darth Stoke. That's like a pig with a job, right there. Yeah. Granite Witness turns up for only two mana. Yeah, for yep. five mana, you tap or untap something, and you get a three-two vigilance. Mm -hmm. It's pretty solid. Dang. Like, or in a pinch, you have a three-two vigilance flying for four. All right. Well, I'm for sure doing that this turn. Uh, we'll go bit bat skadoo. And we'll disguise it like that. Oh, and I could play the Crime Stopper Sprite as well, but I actually want to. I want to turn my Granite Witness face up and tap their Rubble Belt Braggart. Yeah, I don't really feel like taking. Fun. Bit of a flavor fail not giving the Braggart a boast ability, right? Yeah. Oh no! My eavesdropper had to confess. Oh, nice. Yeah, Topiary Panther, really good for setting up collect evidence. Uh oh. <sighs> they gave it hexproof. Oh, if I'd played this, I could have solved my case. That might have been better. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I guess we're taking seven. <laughs> <laughs> Now they didn't suspect it, so I could chump block. Uh, maybe novice inspector is better than taking seven, or maybe maybe um, chumping with novice inspector is better than taking seven. Oh, airtight alibi means it can't be suspected. 
Right. That's oh, what it, it cannot, does. Cannot become suspected. Yeah, That's really funny. Suspected. Yeah, I feel like this one drop can stop me taking damage. I still get to solve the case next turn anyway. With my Crime Stopper Sprite. Nice. Also, I have McCall Restoration to reconstruct Jump for, for forever. Yeah. To Make get stuff back. Yeah. Macabre Reconstruction. <sighs> Macabre oh. Waltz? That Return sucks. Judith? Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm no longer solving the. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll just do that. That seems like the safest play. Obviously, they have two other creatures that are potentially problems. Oh, I could have done it the other way. Whoops. Wait, why did it? Don't tap your own creature, maybe. Yeah. No, I was just I just wanted to read it. Oh, okay. Uh, weird. All right. Well, next turn we're probably getting back. Granite witness and novice inspector. Possibly gadget technician. I don't know. <clears throat> Can someone tell me the difference between Cloak and Disguise? Yes, they are very similar to Morph and Manifest previously. Um, disguise is a creature that you pay a cost. You pay three mana, you play it face down as a disguised creature, and then you can turn it face up for its, dis its disguise cost. A cloaked creature is the top card of your library uh, that gets put into play face down, and you can... If it is a creature, you can turn it face up for its normal mana cost. Is the the TLDR on that one? Uh, okay, yeah. Let's get uh, Granite Witness and Novice Inspector back. Get over here. Do that. Do that. Do that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go full beep beeps. Full beep. Because we solved the case here anyway, so... Solved! Ha -cha -cha. So now, if one or more tokens would be created under my control, those tokens plus a clue are created instead. Nice. <gasps> they galvanized. How dare they? Ooh. Uh-oh! Cranko. Don't love that. Each goblin? Whenever an artifact is put in greater from the battlefield, you may pay red if you do, you make a goblin. Oh boy. All right, well now they only have one good attack, so, nope, I, wait, what? Oh, I mean, I guess I'm taking a lot of damage, but. I'll eat this one. What's this? 5, 8, 10, 11, wait. 5, 8, 10, 11? So I go to 5? Uh, yeah, I guess I go to 5. Let's draw a card. They can't pay for Krenko right now, so. Oh, okay. This seems good. So, do I have enough mana? I'm one, just two, playing three, against your deck one, two, from last round. We have Atrada okay. and Urgent Necropsy. Cool. So no, I, it's not, actually. I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not even remotely cool. Um, should I kill... I don't need to kill Krenko right now. Guys, that it could be anything. Attacking put doesn't work, but I can kill them and flip that up. I think I still attack with this thing. Uh, wait, can I? No, yeah, because I'm gonna tap their braggart and kill Krenko, and then I've got blocks. All right, we're going in. I'm trying to figure out if I have to kill Krenko now. Uh, oh, brutal. If you coerce to kill a slime token, 
it just gives it plus one, plus one. Sorry, what? Oh, just this uh, control magic card on the zero zero slime dog with the plus and plus one counters. Uh -huh. Just a cute interaction because it like. Oh, because uh, it has the counters on it. Yeah, so it it's it's a zero it, zero. It makes it bigger. So you set its top power toughest to one one, and now it's bigger. Uh, exactly. Gross. Yeah. Arch Druid's charm. So what? These are fighting now. Deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. All right, well, we're gonna tap it. Yes, please do that. So my granite witness still dies, but Auto Tapper tried to get me just now. They're like, you want a green mana open, right? Oh, I should have made them pay the ward first. Wait, the ward is still there? Oh. oh, okay. I should have let the ward resolve, but... Uh... This seems good. I'm gonna draw a card first, though. Oh. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> uh, yeah. The ward trigger still... They still have to pay the ward trigger? Weird. Okay. I can play this and have a mana up, so this is probably correct. Three clues. Oh my god. Can't give it haste, can I? No? Okay. Do I attack now? I guess I don't attack. Because this thing can get menace. So I actually need to put Ezrim in combat. So then I should attack. Uh, <laughs> this is tricky, actually. Yeah, I'm going to attack. I have to put Ezrim into combat no matter what happens. So Ezrim is probably just going to die to having to double block the Rubble Belt Braggart here. Uh, but I get to gain six life. Ooh. Uh, I think my math is actually okay here. I go to 11 and I block... So wait, if I block here and here, such that Ezrim lives, I go to 11 and I take 9. So I should do that. That's better. I'll block there, and I'll block there. That's one damage tramples over. So I take a total of 9, but I gain 6 and go to 11. Great. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Did I just goof myself because Vengeful Tracker has text? Oh no, I go to one. Ooh hoo hoo hoo! Hoo-wee! <laughs> that was uh, too close. <laughs> Boy, day one of a new thing, we're learning stuff. <laughs> yeah, Vengeful Tracker, whenever your opponent uh, Cast what uh, to sacrifices an artifact. You uh... whenever your opponent sacrifices an artifact, they deal to, this deals two damage to them. Yeah. Yikes. Terrifying. Yeah, pretty relevant card. Yeah. Corey. How are things Dogs. going? Dogs. Oh, yeah, I, I got three dog walkers. <gasps> <gasps> you got three dog walkers. That's so good. Nice. And that that haunch. Oh, I love the haunch. You got the haunch. I didn't first pick a Trata and then got completely annihilated by her in in my game one. Oh no. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Actually. Oh no. I am here to tell you that that, that case, case they just played is quite good. Yeah, and they've got this hat out, so I'm like, I think they're detective-y a little bit. Feeling a little detective-ish. I'm a not convinced detective by this mask maker. Even when you get the uh, 
the one-two punch going. Yeah, private Eye is well beyond shock range, unfortunately. Yeah, a little bit. Now, the way that Arena does drafts, because you passed it in your draft, that doesn't actually mean that's the same card you're playing against, right? Yeah. Correct. I mean, could be. Which I feel like that's that is sort of something missing a little bit. It is kind of you know having the pool, but pod play. Yeah. The problem was back when Mitgo did in pod play was that you spent a lot of time waiting. Right. Right. Uh, for other people to finish their matches, which is why people started double queuing. And once they introduced leagues to Magic Online, which was you just drafted and then fought anyone who was available with the deck from that league, everything went so much faster, and everybody was like. Well, I miss this, but like I miss pod play because there is a skill to that, but this actually makes games happen, so this is just better. Yeah, it would be nice if you could, uh, yeah, if you could like set up a pod with your friends or something. Yeah, people asked about that for a long time on Mitgo, but it never, uh, never came to fruition, sadly. Oh. Um, Playing Granite Witness. Well, that's the shock range. Oh, it used to be. Dinger! Right. Stupid case. I'm, I'm up against Hyper Aggro Gruel now, and I've missed my fourth land drop. Oh no. Through some cantrips. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's bad. Oof. Hmm. Okay, what, is, what do your cards do? What's Season yeah. Consultant? Yeah, if you attack with more, three or more creatures, it okay. gets plus two plus O, oh, and if that uh, ETB or, or attacks, to put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control, power two or less. Okay, Let's see, that's also cool. And this is another Museum Night Watch. Nice. So you can play the big lad and put a counter on the face down creature for later? Yeah. And I feel like I could swing with this just to, like, if it dies, I get a detective. I don't mind what? too much, but I'm like, I don't see it going through. What if they don't, they didn't do pods? Yeah, I'd wait <clears throat> until maybe you can use the shock to two for one yourself a little bit. A little bit. But it tries to match you with somebody, like, it, it, it prioritizes matching it with somebody who had a card pool as close as possible to one of the people you were playing against in the when you were drafting. <laughs> that would be weird. <clears throat> and I think well beyond what, what, the, <laughs> the sort of stuff that they do. My opponent just used a Gearbane Orangutan to destroy one of my Thopters, which is very flavorful for the card. Yes. So I appreciate that, even though I'm very annoyed about it. Right. Well, it looks like you're having a medium game here. Are you, are well, you just going to die to is, that? This is Corey. Oh, Corey, yeah. That's you, me. It's well known that Grand monkeys Witness, hate or? Thopters. Am I, yeah, yeah I probably will. I mean, you can, you can hit them a bit, right? I don't know. Um, yes, monkeys do hate Thopters. Speaking of which, uh, sure. Nelson and Corey, how was the, uh, uh, the monkey shenanigans last night? Oh, that oh, was game was bad. fun. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, it was silly. Big fan of the, just the phrase, the monkey shenanigans. Mm. Yeah, same. Monkey shines? Mm. And they're all, they could get shrunken. Uh, the suspect. So if they try to eat it with private eye, you at least get to, yeah. you know, you two for one yourself, but getting private eye off the board takes so much uh, power off their board. E. E. So I like, I've, I've lost this game to Goblin Toymaker, but I still think the, or Mask Maker, sorry, but I still think it's wrong to do this. I don't know. Like what? Mask Maker, that's mask what I'm trying maker? to say. Yeah, yeah. They just had the perfect curve with Mask Maker. Um, but 
shot. It still seems so bad. <laughs> like. <laughs> That old, uh, just because you lose to it doesn't mean it's a good card. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, like, three Mask Makers, ten Morphs, a bunch of Felonious damage. Rages is, like, the best deck you can draft. But I suspect not. Rude. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, the Gateway Express. Okay, take a look at this team. I had them all to six, but... Oh, wow. Did we get a shock? Hold is, on. Is, is, is Ben Ulmer in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Okay, if we lose this game, I'm never drafting this card again. <laughs> I'll admit I did draft, alongside the slimes, I drafted detectives that want to collect evidence, which is a non-bow. But, like, the detective cards have been pretty good on their own, even if I'm leaving these in the, in the graveyard, so I think it's all right. I'm on the draw. Are, but are there any other there. slime cards in the set? That's a great question. There's probably one, but I'm not sure. Chat, it's your turn. Oh, wow, we even played our two drop. Incredible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not a non bow. The slimes count X up. Oh, right. It's not a non bow. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, I've been playing this so wrong. Okay. Is this a slime? No. It's a crab. If they block. I tried. Person of interest is suspected, right? So they yeah. have to double block. They have to. Okay. So. And then what's the face down one again? It's another one of the museum night watches. Oh, it's two mana for that too. Okay. Yeah. I did get hard evidence of this dead. Yeah. I, I, Vanifar, I exactly right, right, right. Of course, Prime Speaker Vanifar is an ooze. I think that. Yes. Because I'm not planning to play any disguise cards. Yes. Yeah. Buff up. Yeah, make 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 that a three 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 block Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so what's what's their creature there? The exit specialist. Just can't make block. Uh, yeah. So like, do you save this creature, or do you ju are you just fine if this trade happens? Because you can use this on the defense too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I think you just kind of let this happen. And then save that for if they swing at me with yeah. something on the ground, because they've only been hitting me with that flyer. Yeah. With the, the should witness. We, should we go back to Corey? Sure, yeah. Sorry. Sure, yeah. She's sorry, in a more, a more uh, meow, 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 meow. complicated board state than I uh, am. Another for W sure. for me, though. Oh, though, nice Paul. work. Nice work. Three, you can count that. Two, I've now lost just, five in a row after winning four. Uh, yeah, just as a land nice. yeah. at this point. So, because this I got thing, four slimes in the deck. Like when it turns up or dies? Do you when it dies. Token? Okay. Each creature, huh? Okay. I'm getting blown out by a rare sweeper. Makes sense. They made the private eye fly. Oh, they're not even losing their snoop. Wow, okay. That's so cool. Great. Cool. Great. Good. Uh, Sweet. I can't do anything about this. Oh. They just, <sighs> they just made the private eye fly. Oh. With hexproof. <laughs> Well, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> correct. Boo. Yeah. Yeah. Dinger. Is it your turn? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, I mean, your attack did look pretty good next turn. Yeah. But yeah. Unfortunately, they made the thing fly. They, they evaded it. It was actually a reasonably close game. It was just. <sighs> Yeah, oh, from Hell's Heart. What a curve. That thing's super annoying, the yeah. Curious Cadaver. Yeah, yeah. of course. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how many times Cameron recast the one that he played at the <laughs> PPR. Ooh! Yeah, it's something. Hey, that lets you actually attack with your Jaded Analyst this turn. I mean, I guess they can trade it with the Cadaver. Maybe you don't want to do that. No, I think I do. Turn one, meticulous archive. Turn two, case of the pilfered proof into just making detectives seems like a pretty good way to start a game. Yeah. Hopefully. 
I get to make one detective. It counts, it's just when a detective enters the battlefield. Yeah, so the detective tokens get the plus yep. one from oh, yeah. the case as oh, well. Oh yeah, this is how Ben killed me in game five, I think. Oh, it's preposterous. Yeah. Preposterous. Yeah, okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to attack with Jaden Allen and just attack with the slime. Or just put both counters on the slime so that we solve this thing. Oh, so because... I'm missing on a counter game. next turn, uh, possibly longer, but... I'm on tilt. <laughs> From the... Yeah, did, I got four for one by their wrath. Chat didn't see it, the... Um, oh, the oh, is this explosion? not? Oh, I thought no. this was on longer. Draw two cards, you may discard two cards. It deals X damage to each creature. Rex is the greatest man... Wait, what are they doing? They pull it back out of their... They're doing some other stuff. Oh, they... They cast evidence. Surveillance Monitor. Oh, uh, bummer. So they have a 1-1 one, one Flying Thopter. Really? I don't know, do I want to trade my slime for a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1? One, one? Not super, but doing nothing also means they lose. All right, chat, well, it would have worked out better if I didn't attack with the Jaded Analyst. It's fair. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you're fine. Yeah, the surveillance monitor is one of the one that got me when my opponent had a very synergistic detective's deck with the one that taps yeah. and collects evidence three to yeah. tap my creatures. So I couldn't hit them because they kept tapping my creatures and they were just making thopters no, all yeah, the time. This, this card's fantastic. Whenever one or more creatures die, mill a card and put a bloodstain counter on blood spatter analysis. Sacrifice it if it has five or more bloodstain counters on it. When you do, return target creature card from your graveyard. Huh. Well, that's a neat thing. I guess. Another Jadandalist. Okay, now I'm going to turn the case on uh, it does, now that it doesn't matter anymore. Solve that case. Oh, there's two of them now? Correct. Hey, I hate that. Yep, it's bad. Did you have to go? <laughs> No, uh, yeah, so my my attendance at the fam jam is sort of unreliable, but I haven't gotten the hey, I need you home now Okay, cool. Text. Good, good, yeah. I'm glad. How about you? Nope. Okay, perf. Hey, congrats, Sarah Markov. Way to go. Yeah, I guess we might as well here. Think chat is my opponent with their five cards in hand and six untapped mana be able to do anything? Who could have seen it coming? Resolve that against me as well. Yep, it's a weird one. It's neat. You know, you get to volcanic hammer a creature and then eventually get a creature back. It fuels your uh, your collect evidence, maybe. Oh yeah. 
I don't have any outs. I don't have any cards in my deck that I can draw to fix this situation. Yeah, it's even too slow for this one. Uh, I guess I can try to tap two things and then <coughs> draw another. Oh, no, not like that. Uh, draw another Jade Land list. There might be one more in my deck. Or some, anything for two mana. Target opponent may sacrifice two non-token permanents if you don't they draw if you don't you draw two cards. Sorry, my opponent just resolved Rakdos against oh, yeah. me. You're you're gonna die. Uh, <laughs> I I just used my murder too, which is annoying. Classic. I have two others, so let's find out. You know what? Draw your cards. Dinger! I mean, you have that greed. If you, yeah. If they just block the wrong thing, maybe you're good. Which I think is what I gotta try for. Uh, right? Like, I just slam it. Well, out. wait. It's, if you just get in with Cold Case Cracker, they don't block because you can pump it, right? Is it a detective? Is that only as a sorcery? Your inside source is value, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just crack in for oh. six, and they actually have to block with Rakdos. And then what's oh, your yeah. Th what's your 3 2 do? What's your 3 2? Uh, it's a dog walker. But yeah, you're right. No, no, they the have one to in play. Block. The 3 2 that's oh, in I'm play. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 3 2. It's not when a detective. It, when it okay. dies, it makes a detective. <coughs> okay, perfect. So I think you just pump your flyer. They literally have to block, and yeah. then you, you attack with both. That's a and really then, good point. I, well, actually, I don't know. Do you want your 3 2 to trade? Yeah, I'm Probably. fine with that, because okay, then it great. turns into a 3 3. Great. Oh, I did win one. Did I not report that? I don't remember. I don't remember winning a game with this deck, but apparently I won one. Okay, well, Paul, I I, I won a game in there somewhere, but I forgot. Oh right, but then their blood spatter analysis. Oh no, it's whenever. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're all right. We're okay, all I right. I didn't read their non-creature permanence. So. Uh, no, it's blood spatter analysis is one whenever one or more creatures dies. Yeah. So all those creatures dying only put one counter on the analysis, so they don't get Rakdos back. Got it. Just yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm hoping I can get them with the treacherous greed. <clears throat> Thank you for reminding me that my inside source has text. No problem. Format day one. Let's go. Oh, deadly cover up. What the heck? What? What the heck? What does that do? I don't know. What was that? Looks like it kills your stuff. Destroy all creatures. If evidence was collected, exile a card from an opponent's graveyard, then search. Oh, but they didn't collect any evidence. Well, that. That sucked. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do this now. Joke's on you, I have another 4 4, I guess. Now, if they kill the Cold Case Cracker, that's bad, because they get Rakdos back. If they don't, then I think I can kill them with Treacherous Greed. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can go for it next turn, right? As soon as that yeah. Cold Case Cracker gets in. It's unlikely that the Rakdos deck has life gain. We're weirdly sort of unlucky that they were at six, because if they just let themselves go to one or something and hope to like win with their Rakdos in the following turns, then you can go for it sooner with Treacherous Greed. Yeah. It was my hope that they were going to force to trade with Rakdos, but then just let the 3-2 through. Um, but that didn't end up happening. Fugitive Codebreaker seems pretty good, eh? Hey? Garling Snorehound. Is, is Coerce to kill just too good? Why are there two Extracted Confessions in my pack? What? What? Well, one of them is on the list or something? What? Like, Hold on. Paul, can we show my, my gameplay? What? Is this, is this That's, the I've never same seen, for everybody else? I've, ne I've never seen weird pack collation what, on Arena maybe before. They, maybe they took the exact setup, so it's like one of these is foil, you know? But yeah, while we're here, do you want this cool uncommon or this code breaker morph? I mean, that's if you want to do is it spells, right? It's also just a 2-1 prowess haze. Like, we could could get into Boros yeah. or something, or Rakdos. I don't know. I think so. Maybe? That's I guess it, it's, it's day one. I'd probably try to wear it. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to yeah. cast uh, Treacherous Are you going Greed. for it? Yeah, you got them to two? Yeah. Good luck. So They don't have blue mana. You should be fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. They get the Blood Spatter Analysis trigger here, and then they get to get something back, but this isn't going to... 
Surely there's nothing in red black that lets them gain a bunch of life just suddenly. Whoa, some little players. So nice. Wee touchdown. All right. Okay, I have two rares that draw a bunch of cards. Uh, someone said this is happening in draft. This, whatever it's for, whatever it matters. I'm playing sealed right now, but Nelly's currently drafting, and Corey is in a draft. Yep. You walk three dogs. 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 Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's just a tree. <laughs> well, your opponent doesn't need to know that. No. It's just a tree. Shh. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we're both playing low power uh, creature deck stuff, uh, so all of my stuff that was just like, destroy with like power of four or greater, and like, no. Uh, maybe when they turn it up. Maybe. Trees in disguise, dog comes over, pees on it. <laughs> yep. You're blowing mm. my disguise. Go away, stop it. What if I lightning helix them? Oh, you have a lightning helix? Yeah. That's cool. I'll do that. I think I have enough mana. <laughs> What'd you Is get? Is this wisp drinker vampire good? It seems good. Depends on if you're a wisp or not. Hmm. I don't know how much four mana two four flying with no other abilities is. It doesn't say non-token for what it's worth. Right, right, right. That's cool. So it's pretty good with mm. dog walker. Mm, great with dog walker. The one yeah, okay, freaking card oh, that could have. No. Oh no! <laughs> I can't. Wait, you can kill it. I how? Uh, with that? Where's Adam? I mean, it doesn't matter. You like let it, it let the let the helix. Oh wait, wait, it's wait. a wait. Get, it's, wait. it's an artifact. <gasps> Creatures you control gain. It is an proof. artifact. Untap. Yeah, you can kill yeah, it. Yeah, I can just kill it now. Kill, kill, kill. Murder. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't have four power. How can I possibly? <laughs> uh, trade. My tree for your Creature. mystery. Your, your presumed actual spell. Could destroy the enchantment. All right, yeah. Adam's gonna be proud of me. I have I have drafted a high alert in this format. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, literally. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I didn't know high alert was on the list. I don't know how. Many, yeah, me neither. I don't know how many how many walls there are in the format either, though. That's amazing. Mm. I just learned something fun. Uh, if you cast Crime Stopper Sprite onto an empty board, it has to tap itself. Oh, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, Nelson keeps opening cards from the list. I mean, I, I think I opened one People or two. Are passing in, me cards from the list. In the yeah. sealed deck, I haven't checked. I didn't really scrutinize most of my pool, to be fair. I don't know if the highlight's going to cut it, but it does turn these Whisperer vampires into 4 fours. Oh, good. Great. Oh. The Sumala Sentry do? Just a one three plus one reach? plus one counters if they turn it, one of their face down permanents face up. Uh, oh. Yeah. Gross. If there's two face downs and I only have the NI Mountain. Okay. Mm -hmm. I miss dog walkers. <laughs> Those dogs have jobs. They work for the agency. They're wearing little agency the, badges. Yeah. He's on the case. He's gonna solve it. That dog's got a job. Yep. Oh, it's a wall. That dog is a wall? No, no. I, I found a wall. There's a sanctuary wall. I'm just trying to turn this high alert playable. <laughs> <laughs> what, this, this card also untaps creatures. Yeah, that's important. Okay. Maybe that matters. Mm. I think, um, oh no, no, sorry, I was conflating. Uh, <clears throat> we did that mystery booster draft, and I have wall wall of omens. And for a moment, I thought nice. wall of omens was on the on the uh, Markov or Karlov Manor list. But uh, okay. no, that is not correct. That'd be nice. That'd be sweet. 
Yeah, getting the list and the mystery booster list confused is pretty fair. Crowd control warden. Great. So happy for you, opponent. <laughs> oh no. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Just press A to let go. <laughs> press A to let go. Incredible. <laughs> creatures you control with power two or less can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I was running that, Stop. and then they were just like under the line. Stop making me count. I guess, is Whisperker Vampire affected by Delaney's ability? Yeah, because it's a creature with power two or less. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's, that's annoying then. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. I'm doing fairly well in the sealed, but this game I've not really drawn uh, lands. Right. Yeah. All right, baby dog, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> Trample! No! The case of the trampled garden! It How was, could you possibly do this? It to was me? that litter of puppies. <laughs> well, now I don't want to block. Eight. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God. They're going to flip that, but. Probably. Yeah. But, oh, well. Oh, heck, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh. Case of the trampled puppies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, that thing's huge it's now. It's so big. <laughs> okay. Should I reveal my tree? <laughs> Let's see what you're gonna draw. <laughs> Lamp? Oh good. Oh great. Oh, that's a good card. I mean, it's not helpful it's now. It's not really going to save the day in this situation. It'll sort of like gain you nine life, kind of, by blocking an 8-8 and dying immediately. But if they... Oh, they, yeah, I mean, the one they don't give trample <laughs> to. No, no, you're not... You're, <laughs> I'm, not, you're not I'm not coming out of this, no, okay? No, you're dead on board, no. Come on, opponent, just attack. No, nope. they're gonna search their library again. No, they really they really wanna make sure they're enjoying this. Just mm, savoring. Mm-hmm. Alright, opponent, you're never gonna see this again. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Two blockers. Yes. Ah, oh, it was a tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> held on admirably here. <laughs> That's an achievement, right? That's right. Wait. Minus twenty. Yeah, minus twenty. You went to it because you had one life link. Sure. Yeah. 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 I vote. I vote bonus point for going to exactly minus twenty. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. My poor dogs. My poor dogs. <laughs> hey. If you want to see someone else about to lose a game, um, I uh, yeah, I'm here's the situation a quick I'm in. Break. I've got. Uh, I, I stole their private eye, which took a little bit of. They they have just a huge amount of synergy here. They got their wisp drinker vampire which drains me when the creature with power two or less enters the battlefield. They've got Delny, which means that creatures with power two or less can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. They've got the case of the Pilfer Proof. Uh, oh, and sure, why not? Why not? Yeah, what you guys, it's really a Vindicator. What the hell did that just do? Exile X, target creatures from the battlefield. 
return those to their hands. Well, cool. Anyway, Nelson's in the middle of a draft. It's um, true. I, I, I appear to be putting together High Alert, honestly. Um, sweet. Yeah, I've got three Wisp Drinker Vampires and one Gravestone Strider to, to fix my mana. Three Wisp Drinker Vampires seems really good. Yeah, it seems okay, right? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, Case of the Gateway Express. Okay, so that's a removal spell, and then I have to attack with three creatures, and then my creatures get one bigger. It's two mana for a kill spell if you have enough creatures, though. Uh, the Falcon has a big butt. The Falcon does have a big butt and disguises for two. It does a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. I could take Soul Search number two, but we're just random Vigilant. Sure, let's take the Falcon. That's kind of the most exciting pick. We're not, like, doing great at fixing mana, so we could look at this public thoroughfare. But <laughs> fourth Wisp. But let's take vampire. the fourth Vampire. Well, oh, I was... <laughs> what, was that, what was that other one for in there? Uh, I don't know. It, it was a case file auditor. All right, this time we really need... Yeah, Case File Auditor, it does fix mana for this too, doesn't it? Or is it just cases? Just case spells. Okay. You I think we have to take Oblivion Ring over the fifth Wisp. I was going to say there's a makeshift binding. Yeah, yeah, you probably don't want five Wisp. Yeah, these are four vampires. drops and don't like get cheaper or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know that we're getting anything out of this pack. I could take an Auspicious Arrival or a Fairy Snoop. This also has a huge butt and flips for blue mana. Or, or black mana, rather. Sure, yeah, let's take this thing. This is 24 cards, we could upgrade one of those. I think we want to keep this make your move, because we don't have I think so too, yeah. Cool. What's Pilfered Proof again? Cares oh, that's the detectives. detective one. How many detectives do you have? Not a ton. One, oh wait, I'll just tell you if we look here. Yeah. Five. Okay. So you have another make, there's another makeshift binding there. Sure, let's do that. Or another fairy snake. Yeah, let's take another makeshift binding. Probably can cut make your move now. Um, we all, we're playing a Not On My Watch and two Sanctuary Walls, but like the Sanctuary Walls at least are good with the High Alert. Mm -hmm. It'd be sweet if we had a way to like tutor up High Alert or something. Um, and again, like... I love that High Alert's going to turn those Wisp Drinkers into 4-4s four in combat. I don't know, taking that tapped land might have been right too. Oh, the... the, the um, yeah, the Not the Transguild Promenade, yeah, the, like that. the the new one. one. Yeah. Whatever it's called. This is Disguise 5, this is Disguise 5, this is Disguise 2. But it's blue, blue, and that's our splash color. Blue, 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 blue. I don't know, I'm just gonna take this flyer. I don't think we're playing it. Hey, blue, blue. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> You're on Fam Jam? Yeah. Ooh, Karlov Watchdog. This card's busted. Or a second Strider. This is like the third pack of this draft that's had two of the same common. Um. I think you kind of have to take this card because it's sort of messed up, right? That's six four drops, but one of them sometimes is cheaper. Also, we have to make room for this. I don't know if we need this thing. Ooh, on color flare. Every pack just has two of the same common. Okay, so we could take a Sanguine Savior. <laughs> what the heck, or, yeah. Or we could take a Polygraph Orb, have you played with this at all? Uh, so I like it. So it's five mana for basically sort of like a bit of revelation kind of effect. Yeah. And then you get to just like also slowly <laughs> grind them out. I spent too long thinking about it. What did you it. take there? I took the flyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, it auto-grabbed it for yeah, me. Yeah, I was just one. reading that orb for forever. I, I do like the orb. I already have another one of these in my board. Um, whatever, I'll just take the soul search. <laughs> just piped him. What does this thing do? Uh, whenever you attack, you make a small oh, thing bigger. Oh, okay. Actually, that might make the cut. What's the pipe do? Oh, it's a bone splitter. Bone splitter. Sure, yeah, let's play the bone splitter. Okay, so tons of sideboard options here for this deck. Zero fixing besides the strider. So we could just think about cutting the high alert and the falcon. Yeah. Oh, the dramatic exudation isn't in. Um... We could maybe cut, like... This card's actually quite good. We should probably play this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny drafting around High Alert and then not running it, but... Well, we didn't entirely draft around it, but it is true. pretty good in our deck. Like, we, we took this Karlov Watchdog, and we could have taken that other 5-drop that pumps our creatures, but... No, let's keep the High Alert. It's it's for the memes. Uh, maybe one of these two can go. We gotta cut one more card. Is three of these correct? Yeah, probably. 
This way we're always ready. We're gonna get mana screwed one game because of three islands, but that's okay. We'll live with it. Um, actually, yeah, we don't have a ton of good ways to get our creatures killed on our turn. Maybe let's just cut this reconstruction. We've got some other fun stuff we can do. We have four of this thing. Flavorfully, I just murdered Tesa Karlov at, oh, wow. at the manor. Nice. Yeah. With what? Um, uh, the card murder. <laughs> <laughs> the just, concept of murder. Yeah, I just, just murdered. Okay, the deck is called uh, Now We Know, because we're going to find out if Wisp Drinker Vampire is any good or not. Uh, now we know. Yeah, um, and then I have to take a little break before I jump into the next okay. queue. Mm -hmm. Well, I have... I'm in... Sealed. I'm currently, I think, three and one in this sealed. Uh, and that's a person of interest. I do like two bodies. Wow, that's really good with the case of the pilfered proof. That's unfortunate. Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit off of my mana. Oi. I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? That sucks. Unfortunately, I have to do this because I'm incredibly off my mana. Oh my good lord. <laughs> okay, so I can get back a couple creatures here, but I can't cast anything this turn, so I'm taking a big smack of mana. Uh, Just a big, or a big smack. Sm smack of damage. Just a ton of mana. So much mana. Uh... I guess it's probably good to get creatures back here because it's cheaper. So I'll get back the two that I can actually do stuff with. <laughs> okay, could be better, could be better. Yeah. I promise you this deck is much better than it may appear at this moment in time. Oh, boy. That card's great with Case of the Pilfered Proof. They're doing so good. They're doing so good. You know what? I'm proud of them. <laughs> what does this do? When it's turned face up, exile a non-land permanent. If you control it, you blink it. Otherwise, its controller makes... Okay, I certainly do not wish to give my opponent <laughs> another detective. Why? Why not? Okay, I've got four cards, just for after the game, I want to count this. Four card, four in the graveyard. That's ten, because the one's in play, so ten uh, plus eight in hand. So eighteen cards. So far I've seen eighteen cards. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, I guess we're just playing two face-up creatures. Oh, I can't, even, I can't even play this face-up, actually, because it's the way that it is. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, it should be pretty obvious. Well, I, should I just play the other thing as well? No, because this lets me actually... T I don't know. This is bad. <laughs> this is going very badly. Yeah, I could get rid of the case. That's true. And I give them another creature, which is the problem at the moment. Uh huh. I do like Market Watch Phantom quite a bit. It's a detective, too? Okay, sure, why not? That one, trade for, oh, they're not even letting me trade. That makes sense, they're just gonna hit. These suspects, oh, okay. I'll trade for that disguise, whatever that is. I don't know what it is. What is it? Show me your secrets. Okay, well, no option to do anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, and they're going to solve their case now, too. For whatever that matters. You can have more than one suspect? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna. I I just realized I'm gonna draw my. Wow. I'm gonna draw my tapped source. No. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's no way out of this game. That's just to be to be rude. All right. <clears throat> Spite. Yeah. Uh, just for those keeping score of my mana count. So that was 19. That was almost half the deck. Whoa. Uh, that I saw without seeing any of my uh, blue sources or any of these sources, of which there are seven. Also, statistically drawing. Oh, sorry. I thought we were still looking. <laughs> uh, seven of them, and you see how many? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Just the the statistically drawing a higher. It's okay. We can watch Corey again. <laughs> statistically drawing a higher percentage of blue cards than blue uh, sources. It's kind of funny. Oh well. Yeah. So my opponents played a lot of enchantments this this match. Uh, I've got a face down dog walker. <laughs> I'm not familiar with that exact yoga position, but mm -hmm. it sounds challenging. I called my uh, neighborhood guardian back as a surprise witness, and <laughs> now they put it in jail. Get back here. And I'm flipping my dog walker. Even though the things come in tap, it's fine. I'm going to flip that dog. Uh... Uh, a three. unicorn. Whenever another creature with power to realize something is a battlefield under your control, target creature you control. Get, oh. Yeah. Cool. But it doesn't really help. Oh, you get to you get to block. Yeah. That seems sweet. Okay, okay, fine, it helps. Detectives! Oh, that was the raven. Neat. Can it kill the jail? No. Okay, family. How is the jamly going? Uh, it's all right. I feel like we had a strong start and then we hit some brick walls. Yeah, I'm three and two in the sealed right now. I wanted to From three and oh to three and two. Though. Kellen! What are you doing here, Kellen? Getting his move made? Freaking mm. Is it toughness four or power four for that card? It's power four. Ugh. Damn it. Maybe they'll pump it somehow, like with solving that case. Uh huh. Have to attack with three things to solve that case? Yeah, that's. I was like, should I destroy that enchantment or? Prosthetic memory seems seems like a thing to destroy. Yeah. It is like a source of counters every turn they can draw two cards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Meow 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 meow. No. <laughs> Cannot death strike it with my mind. Your mind. Convenient target. With mind bullets. Corey's on draft, Nelly's on draft, Graham's on sealed. The classic dra I did a, draft sandwich. Yeah, I did a draft already today. And then I felt like I would seal because I'm I on my, the token. I'm on my third draft. Uh, I'm so sad that the big slimes deck didn't didn't see more. Yeah, uh, we did get one win apparently. I, I like missed it, but apparently we have one win. Okay, my opponent's is it? Just doesn't. Oh right, I can be looking. No, I should have looked harder. Um... All right, I'm gonna suspect this dog. Oh 
Why did I do that? Okay. Oh, I'm very stupid. Oh, no, I'm so stupid. <laughs> What'd you do uh, wrong? Okay. I, th I was like, I was like, oh, okay, Rakdos is here again. Um, but I have this murder, so that's okay. But you don't have any swamps. Completely forgetting that I have zero black sources. Um. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's too long by Chase the Home. Nice. All right, I've drawn a card and assembled the players. Nice. I'm proud of me, and I hope you are too. I am. Hooray. It was Sanctuary Wall, but hey, that's uh, we've dug like ten cards closer to our high alert. We haven't hit one of our islands yet, but they're there. Somewhere. 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 I guess I should have killed him before combat. I misread uh, what Rakdos actually does. It's not oh, just, yeah. it's not ETB, it's there's, every end step. There's some words on that card. Okay. Well. Well, we're out of that one. Uh, I think I can just sneak in a, a, maybe one match of a quick draft. Let's tr not a quick draft, but a, a, a draft, a, yeah. a speedy draft. All right, let's try it. Oh, brownie points! I agree. Corey's crushing it. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yes. If only they didn't have these detectives. Oh yeah, no, you, you're you're definitely part of the family because you're getting absolutely ruled. But you're you're doing a great job of being entertaining and playing magic for people and letting them watch. Yeah. Is rotation for players yeah, happening soon? Pretty right. soon. I'm yeah, letting half them hour watch or so. We're <laughs> at any time actually. Rotation for players is is upcoming. Yeah. We're learning uh, we're learning so many things about uh, the new cards in this set. Oh yeah. If, if it wasn't for these meddling detectives. Yeah. I guess I should take Delmi. There's just. So to oh, yeah. Yeah, or you can just take Crocodilf. I don't know. Oh, yeah. That card's pretty exciting too, actually. Each of X permanents create. I love the idea. There's just like a chorus of. Just, 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 just one, 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 one more, 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 more thing. <laughs> just, 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 yeah. yeah just one All right, more dog. thing. Just one more thing to his one more thing. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Uh, hmm. Wow, how does Perimeter Enforcer always know the worst times to show up? I know I invited him, but jeez. <laughs> oh, man. My opponent's hand is like all thopters all the time. All right, doggy. Oh, That's, he just shows up at like the house is just completely demolished Go. down to its foundation. And Get in there. He shows up and starts putting caution tape around it. Well, that dog can't block. So. That dog's not making it to to uh, through training. Mm-hmm. An ability you control of a creature, ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers that triggers an additional time. So wait, person of interest makes two <laughs> detectives. Wait, he let Is that the better dog... than novice inspector. He let the dog no. through. He let the dog through. The novice inspector, or sorry, the person of interest is a totally fair and decent card. It, it's something that crops up in limited regularly. Four mana for two two twos. Yeah, but if I can make four mana. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which You're one right. do with, I want to double? With Well, the novice inspector is like more playable, I would say, and keeps you in white. All right, fair enough. Yeah, you got me. Okay. What? Oh, hey, Yaris. What's up? What up, Yaris? All right. Well. I respect that he let the dog through. Yeah. I've beaten my record. <laughs> Nelly, how's your high alert game going? I haven't found high alert yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm getting crushed by a fender at large. That sucks. My walls, they are dead. 
Um, I can bind that big idiot and flip a snoop or something. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Wait, murder is still good. Should I be getting murder? Uh, it's, it's only fifth pick. Okay. I'll do dog walker. Why not? Right? Probably dog walker. Freaking bishop of the bloodstained. Yeah, Graham Stark, February twenty twenty four. Murder is still good. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for getting that one noted down, everybody. Appreciate it. We figured it out. Quick work, y'all. Doing something I'm good at, like jump in. Continuing the game that we have going. I'm gonna trade this coveted falcon for this furtive career, I think. Maybe. Oh, I guess they still have hot fuss. They have what? Uh, Is there a card called hot fuss? No. Okay. Hot but slash fuss. I was like, wasn't that, a, wasn't that a killer's album? Yeah, it's, it's actually fuss and bother. Oh, okay. Oh, but it's really fuss or bother. Plus one, plus one counter each attacking creature? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to push them into doing that. And we'll just have a bunch of big stuff next turn. Maybe I want them to not do that. And then I take five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, this is chill. Hey, I found both of my islands. Yeah, okay, we're taking seven, but our sneak isn't dead. They don't have three thopters. They probably play this morph. Yeah. Okay, we kind of stalled out for gas in the middle of the game here and died. That's too bad. Well, the high alert's on top of the, the library. <laughs> for what it's worth. Um, oof. Yeah, oof. oof has been called. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What does this do? Okay, when it's turned face up, target opponent gains control of any number of target permits you control. Draw a card for each one they gain control of. Oh, so I could draw it right away. I just can't cast it. Okay. Um, and then when it attacks, you can steal back something that you own but don't control. Okay. Great. Um, cool. Maybe I'm supposed to do this sooner and then draw a bunch of cards. Bitecaster asks, if we call the disguises here morphs, then when we finally return to Tarkir, are we going to call the morphs disguises? Uh, I don't think so. They're also mechanically different in the game. Also, that sounds confusing as heck. Is the Gadgetician a goblin? Does anyone remember? It's face down now. Yes. Yeah, it's a goblin artificer. Okay, well, they just, I mean, they ripped a 3 3 haste, so I'm probably just dead because they ripped a 3 3 haste. Artificer. Oh, they let me go to blocks. That's nice. Maybe? No, they haven't actually done that yet. They're not letting me go to blocks. They're just killing me. Nope. Nope. Maybe they do one with the little blocks. I can't tell. <sighs> Groovy baby. Um, okay, well. This thing flips up to be a three. Oh, does anyone have lifelink? No. Dead on board again. It's so sad. 
Maybe they'll choose to not kill me. That'd be cool. Bart Servitor is fun. a goblin. Yeah, let's do my cool thing. So yeah, if we're if we're watching this game, I get to like give them, you know, like an unt uh, yeah, I guess I can give them a tapped planes or tap swamp. And like they don't have a land, so like we, we could risk the lead pipe and assemble players and makeshift thingy. Draw four cards. They're all lands except for high alert, but also I'm at zero. Neat. Okay, that game looked like maybe yep. we were gonna be able to scrape back into it. Yeah. Um, we did get blown up by a fender at large, so possibly that block was wrong. That giant was so. Also, big. weirdly, we just never drew our two four like. Like, we have all these two fours for four. We didn't draft the fifth one. Maybe we should have if we wanted to. But, like, we did draw the four, the three mana one four that digs into six cards. Another one? Sure. Hey, what do you th what do you make of Barbed Servitor? I don't know. I was trying to watch Corey's game. Corey just had it. Corey? This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it worth playing? I didn't I didn't. Whenever it's still it damaged, when... target opponent loses that much life? Yeah. Like, but it can't block by default. Yeah, so if you've got a lot block. of cards that yeah. you suspect. I don't, but I think I'm going to take a second one anyway. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, this deck is bizarre. Okay, I'm bringing up to... Uh, go I have another... I can, finish, I can finish this draft. I may not be able to play drafting. a deck with this draft, right. but I can finish this If it gets draft. to the point where you can't finish the draft, we could, uh, we could probably finish the draft for you. Thank you. No problem. I assumed... It, it's day one, so everyone's making their picks slowly, which is fine. That is uh, correct and justifiable. But I uh, wish it could go faster. Here's what I, here, I'll, oh, another guardian. Yeah, get in. Yeah, when? So here's what I've got so far. Um, Delny was the first pick, which is, so yeah. Delny's second paragraph, if an ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers, that ability triggers a second time. So what works with that? Novice inspector, neighborhood guardian, mm -hmm. uh, not that one, case file mm -hmm. auditor, I guess. Uh, inside Source, get two of those. Barbed Servitors, Wisp Drinker Vampires, these all work with Delmi. Nice. So that's cool. Another Slice from the Shadows, that sounds great. Get in. Really? You like that card? Uh, just, okay. Just, I mean, it, it for three mana you can kill a ward. Or oh, you, you right, can right, kill right. a it face works, down. It works as murder, right? Three yeah. mana, minus two, minus two, and it can't be countered? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, nice. Whoa. Take, Take the foil one. I, which one's foil? I can't tell. <laughs> like one of them is foil, right? Just rotate your screen. I guess that's how it that works. Listens. Yeah. My witness. Okay. Hey, this finally happened. Uh, sure. Oh, just, have this a... is just gonna die before it gets to trigger once. Oh well. Sorry. I, I finally have cast a Wisp Drinker <gasps> Vampire now in game two of this draft deck. Sweet. With my four Wisp Drinker Vampires. All right. Are we going to find out? I mean, if it just always gets killed every single time you cast it, maybe it is good. Yeah. We tend to say that those cards are good. There you go. So far, Wait. my opponent's on two Torch the Witnesses. That was X equals three. How does that... Uh, this is double. It's not X equals three. X equals twice three. Uh, this card says deals twice X damage. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I almost, uh, almost got through having one of these in my deck of the PPR without figuring that out. It was like, it was like game four against Ben when I, when I read that correctly for the first time. Judith. So it's actually pretty easy to hit the clue off of it. Should I be splashing for Judith? Great. Okay, yeah. We're two for two. Eventually they'll run out of removal, right? I have no idea. Possibly. <laughs> Thus far, this is not like, proven to be the case. I, yeah, exactly. I have to <laughs> not run out of creatures for them to run out of removal, right? Right. Oh no, Lord Manny Manny. Oh, my opponent's playing Niv Mizzet. Don't love that. Lord Manny Manny says, who has two thumbs and just dropped his assorted loose magic sleeves box? 
Uh-huh. Oh, uh, that sounds brutal. Dislike that for you. Loathe that for you, bestie. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna slam this for six. Sorry, Corv <laughs> Sorry, Corvus helpfully suggests, if you had more thumbs, maybe you wouldn't have dropped it. Yeah. Simply don't own a loose magic sleeves box. <laughs> Everyone's making some very good suggestions. Excellent suggestions. <clears throat> but then what happens if you drop all your thumbs? Great question, Corey. <laughs> that seems like a much, much bigger problem. Hey, Nelson, how was Outrageous Robbery for you? Which one's that? Oh, uh, cute. I don't know. It was good with Judith because uh, Judith is good. Okay. Yeah. Works for me. I think I'm going to exile this satchel. It's like it's like three one ones hiding in a trench coat. Oh, I can't do that. I can only do a creature. All right, we'll check Investigator. Turns out it's you after all. I... I dislike how these cards sometimes hit non land coordinates and some, <laughs> sometimes hit creatures. You want me to read the whole card? So tired of reading cards. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're flunging here. Yo, welcome. A new member of the family arrives. Oh, hi. He's got a pepperoni stick <laughs> and two water bottles. <laughs> S <laughs> such preparation. Get it? Nope. <laughs> Did you know when Basilica Soccer deals Tommy damage to a player, you gain one life and surveil one? I didn't. It's pretty sweet. I love surveil one. Adam, my high alert is working. I know you're not going to watch this, but I drafted high alert from the list and then took a bunch of high toughness creatures. And it's happening now. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, you... I have to go in a minute. Yep, yeah, well, I know. I think, how about I just get to play this deck you've drafted? Aww, <laughs> my deck. Aww. <laughs> well, quick, explain what happened in your well, deck. Well, otherwise, uh, otherwise you have That's to stay That's fine that a one time was your very me. last pick. No, no, no. I was just going to log out. <laughs> oh, okay. That works, too. Uh, here's the deck. Um, I got to make seven cuts. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like... Small creatures. Whispermaker Vampire cares about small creatures. Oh, Delmi cares okay. about small creatures and can like double their abilities. Um, I don't know about due diligence. Uh, and then I've got these barbed servitors. That if I can, I don't. I don't have any way to get the suspect counter off them, so they're never gonna. They're just always gonna attack unless because they're not gonna want to block them. So I don't. I don't know how that's gonna work. It'll be interesting to find out. Um, anyway, I still got to make four more cuts here, but I'll do that later. At home. Yeah, because okay. I, I do indeed need to uh, farewell, so. Sorry. That's okay. So I will check out someone else. Thank you for your service, Graham. No worries. Hello. Should, should we take a uh, quick break while we uh, cycle the participants? That sounds oh, like Sure. We could do that. Sure. Good idea. Uh, hey. Yeah, let's not look at this slime thing that's about to happen well, here. They've got slimes too. That's fun. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us so far, but don't go away. There's another, at least this much of time again, uh, of, uh, of Murders at Carlov Manor on the Fam Jam today. So we'll be right back after this quick break. Hello, we're here. I did, we didn't discuss who was going to be saying hi, but look at look we've changed into a into a altogether different group of people. I'm Kathleen. Joining me is Wheeler. Thank you for having me, Kathleen. It's great to be here. Oh, it's so nice to have you here, and Cameron. Hmm? And it's so nice. I feel like we're. I, you know what? I feel like I want to ask you to make me some checks. Checks. Like uh, uh, like I don't know. Give me a perception check. Twenty. On your, Twenty. <laughs> Perfect. All right. This draft environment, 
Uh, nobody knows what they're doing because it's brand new, Cameron. Good, good, excellent, excellent. Mm, I don't know. There's some people in, dra in uh, chat that have done this draft once, and oh. they're pretty sure that it's this is the exact... Format. Yeah, it's solved already. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, Make me an understanding chat, chat psychology check. Uh, one. Oh. Is that good? Oh, the chat really seems to know what they're talking about. Damn, okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. Uh, just so you know... Red, black, green, blue, and white are unplayable. Okay. Anyways. So, like, if okay. you first pick a color uh, card in any of those colors. It's wrong? Yep. All right, well, I'm going to build sealed because uh, I'm on team. I don't. I'm on team. I've never put money into arena. Oh, and okay. so right now I'm sitting on, and it's a personal challenge at this point. It's not mm. sort of like a judgment. It's just like, how long can I go infinite? Mm. Um, so I have two draft tokens and I have... 5,600 gold and 5,000 gems, so I've got to play slowly so I don't hemorrhage all my, my money. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, we'll start with a sealed. All right. I just need to get to five wins, and I can go infinite. That's I'm fine. going to draft. Yeah, me too. And I the didn't play... break even is six wins. Oh. Yes, but yeah. it also gives me... I realize I'm probably not going to break in, uh, break on sealed, although this sealed oh. pool looks really pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but it'll give me a chance to see more cards, hopefully, right. mm -hmm. and just to sort of understand how they work and hopefully play at a slower pace. I opened a possibility storm. That, that agency chief has been doing some brutal work this morning. Has it really? Yeah. There's a vehicle. It's a possibility Tenth storm. Hero. 10th District Hero, Jesus. Is, that, is that okay? I mean, I guess everyone loves a um, figure of destiny. Wow, wow, four on-color rares. Probably can't run this Arch Druid's Charm. But There's I a private eye in here that I think I would kind of like, but you know. I'm gonna take the one mana one one flyer because it's on brand. Also, I'm not, it, this is my first draft of the format. I'm not gonna throw it away with Possibility Storm. That's mm. like third draft, you know. Yeah, when, you, when you're finished with the format and you just wanna have fun. Yeah. Right. Ooh, that's a lightning uh, helix. I got, I got so much fixing. I got two escape tunnels and two public thoroughfares. Nice. Oh, wow. Had a long goodbye. They were, they were talking about how there's, uh, the yeah, fixing in this set is not great, so. Uh, you, you beat the odds. Well, I feel like, all right, so that's, what are my gold cards here? I've got, oh, and I got a private eye? Mm. I was thinking maybe I'll try clues. All right, what does this crocodile do? <laughs> Good joke, streamer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, the biggest thing, the biggest learning uh, from uh, this morning with Ezra is uh, he gets he can give himself hexproof if you keep one mana open and uh, if you have some clue tokens, and uh, that is a real real pain in the butt. No kidding, uh, I'm gonna run this undercover crocodile uh, because I can flip it up for two blue blue. I can ignore those green; they don't exist. I can just cast him as a disguise, and he makes a clue. And he's a five five. That seems kind of good. Man, COVID did a real number on our standards for a delf. <laughs> Hey, I'm not. I'm not here to judge. <clears throat> I am. <laughs> uh, I can He's also an run this. <laughs> uh. It's a combination of COVID, SRIs, and that broadcast that uh, was played out at midnight every night that <laughs> started to make everybody sexually attracted to crocodiles. Mm. All right. I also could splash red. But I'm not seeing any crazy red split cards that I want to play. I think that's already. I feel Fuss, Fuss just could say this is two and a white, and this is four blue blue. And I feel like, I, I don't know, split cards just seem like good value. All right, what's how, colorless? How many layers is Maleva wearing? She's got like her ar arming jacket, mm. then a breastplate. Then a trench coat, then a cloak, mm. a scarf, and a fedora. She's also wearing gloves. She's... Isn't it summer? <laughs> no, it's spring. It's early spring in Ravnica, and she's like me. When I walk, okay, I walked into work today. It's a sunny mm -hmm. day. I'm wearing a pair of jeans. I'm wearing a pair of like um, 
like runny like thermal things underneath because I didn't want my legs right. to get cold. And I walked in with a hoodie, a scarf, and a jacket. God, oh, Jesus. She's from the west coast of Ravnica. Yeah. Mm. It's good. We, we dress in layers here. Excellent. How is it that I haven't seen half of these cards? I mean, it's a big set. I didn't even know this exact five mana three three. When it ETBs, you sack an artifact or a creature, and if you do, you exile a creature and opponent controls. Mm. Like, that, that seems not the worst, and I've never seen this card. I think I like it better than the minus huh. X minus X. So can he? He just, can he just sack himself and just be like a? a... Yeah, you could just have it be five mana. Up. Uh, XL, a creature. Yeah. It's kind of hot. Uh, maybe I'm taking a two drop. Hmm. I ate that jerky, or not jerky, that pepperoni stuck way too quickly. Just like feeding a twig into a wood chipper? Yeah. I tried to eat it like a bird. Mm. How like are the clue... How are, a bird are, eats a pepperoni how the, stick? How are the Ye clue equipments? Are they good? I think some of them are decent. Um, like the uh, brain... Why can't I think of things? Um, Me. Uh, uh huh. God, what is the 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 black one? Is it the lead pipe? Oh, wrench. Yeah. Or no, re uh, lead pipe. Lead yeah, the pipe cheap ones are one. seem good. I mean, they're one mana cards that can replace themselves. That's so pretty low cost of inclusion. Yeah. So good. Well, well, well. I can't wait to absolutely punt it. Don't say that, dear. You could do well. I believe in you. There does sometimes there is that kind of weird karma of of magic where you're happy, you're super happy with your pool, and then it just doesn't work out, and then some random pile of stuff that you got goes perfect. Hey, Chad, do you feel like that wrench or candlestick is the better equipment? I'm not going to run both, but I have both. I feel like a wrench because I can tap things. Candlestick lets me surveil. The baseline is everything gets, no matter which one goes on, it's target creature or equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. And it's either vigilance. Uh, yeah. So whenever this creature attacks, surveil two and plus one, plus one, or... Vigilance and whatever, and or and then three and tap it to oh, tap seems, her creature. That seems way better. That seems like it scales pretty well. That seems much better to me. I I love that the wrench's ability is to turn a thing sideways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's honestly really funny. Oh, I can still add three more cards. I think a Krenko splash is probably not the worst thing in the universe, especially given the rest of this pack. I don't think I need a third sanguine sa savior. Whoa. Hmm? What? Oh, I just didn't know that there's a three mana, two power flyer. Oh, no, yeah. That Cameron has. Yeah, I've got two of them. Ooh. It's got disguise. It's nice. Ooh. Yeah, I have it in my sealed pool as Ooh. well, but. I do I'm, like wind oh. drakes. Um, yeah, and it gives something else lifelink when it's turned face up. Well, that's kind of hot. Yeah. Wait, I can play this. I can play this. I can play the Sanguine Savior because it's the same. It's I can turn it up for two white white. Nice. 
Yeah, these hybrid cards seem pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it's a me. really good design space. Design space, design choice. Design space. Design space. Yeah. yeah. All right, I added basically all of my white and blue cards. Oh, Quintorius. I've got two, two spaces left. So I've got three copies of Reasonable Doubt. Uh, I've got a sudden setback. Owner of target spell or non-land permit puts it on the top of the bottom of their library. Sure. I think that's probably four mana. Ooh. A murder. Well, I mean. It's a bloody murder. Fourteen creatures, nine non-creatures, but my creature quality is so high. Sorry, was that a pony on screen? Yeah, that's my... Uh, that's my avatar, is I'm Pinkie Pie. I didn't know you could have a pony avatar. Oh, I had to get the ponies because of Penelope. Penelope, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every time she sees me <coughs> play on Arita, she's like, you're a pony. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Are there My Little Pony, uh, like, pets? Um, there is not. My pet is Puppet <coughs> Jace. Which uh, is still nice. the greatest pet. Oh, speaking of pets, uh, Paul, can when we are showing my gameplay, can you potentially get a small rotating rat on my screen? Just like tucked uh, in the corner? I, what? No, probably, <laughs> probably, probably not. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. What? No, get out. Is... Uh, is there a road, small rotating rat that uh, you, you're prepared for this stream? I could probably supply you with one. Well, in that case, we could probably do that. Hell yeah. All right, give me a second. I don't have a, like, a ready supply of small rotating rats. That's what I'm saying. Let me get that for you. I should have sent it to you earlier. Apologies. All right, this deck's not going to get any better. I'm just going to run it and see what happens. Uh, oh. Each opponent mills three cards and they cast a spell from each opponent's graveyard. These cards stink. <laughs> oh. I like your lands. Where did those come from? Those are the Gary Baseman lands. I so I so the one thing I, I spend money on on Arena is dumb uh, 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 things, but not card frame styles. I like swaggy lands, and I like having a Jace that dances around and being Pinkie Pie. I am uh, extremely extra on Arena. Uh, Paul, I have sent you the rat. Thank you very much. Mm. Murder. few things more satisfying than being in a draft and somebody passes you like fifth pick and on color rare. Ooh. Yeah. Just that's just magnificent. I mean I got fifth a fifth pick murder. Mm -hmm. Which felt just absolutely wonderful. Is it worth popping off my turn two to cast officious investigation to just get two clues immediately? Uh Otherwise, I'm not doing anything with my turn. Yeah, that's probably fine. I just feel like, what is the use case to this? Uh, choose any number of target players. Oh, well, that's not the gear trait. Wait, can I do it if, uh, wait, can I do it if my, because I want to, hmm. Choose any number of target players, right? Okay. Man, 
I feel that the scapegoat should have some kind of ward clause on it. It's literal bad faith to kill the scapegoat. <laughs> Let me design a scapegoat card, wizards. I've been saying it for years. Gotta get Cameron designing the scapegoat. Yep. I like the scapegoat. It looks so cute. Hmm. It, it is like the most goat-like organism ever. Like it is having an experience right now. The case of the Shattered Pact. What the hell? Enter the battlefield, search your land for it. Oh. New. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. And meddling youths. You know what? I'll take the mono white card. Mm. You love to hear it. Whoa! Bite down on crime already to kill Proft. Oof. Yeah, oh. aggressive. Yeah. They do have a dinosaur pet. Oh, an Aurelia. Wow, I wish I'd... Well, this could game could be over very fast. Oh, no. Well, okay, hold up. Uh, I O-ring Aurelia and gain two life? Damn, that's great. I feel like we're getting a spam attack. Who's ever doing that in chat? I don't think you're even watching, but if you are, God, get a hobby. Should I have not set up that bot? No. Oh. Get a different hobby. No. You told me to get a hobby that was less destructive than Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't, I, you know what? I wasn't clear. Okay. I, uh, specificity is the <laughs> soul of not having stuff go wrong, I suppose. Uh, take two, boss. Time to investigate so many times. Is Forum Familiar worth playing? Forum no idea. Is that the one one? Yeah, it's the one one that bounces something back to your hand, which is like kind of interesting. I think I just don't have enough ETB cards. Yeah, I think if you have ETBs or care about disguise, yeah. then it's probably pretty good. Reasonable, good chat, okay. You shouldn't say good chat. Oh, yeah, They're bad chat, bad, bad, bad chat. chat. Well, you shouldn't say that either. That is their kink after all. Mm. <sighs> All right, clues for days. I still don't think I can attack, but I have Ezra and one mana up. Another Market Watch Phantom? Or no, another, or no, the face down card again. All right, now I can draw some cards and keep back some set back. <laughs> Wait, I have no artifacts. Get out of here, Krenko.
My opponent played two rares against me. Like, these are the first cards that I'm playing against in this form. Well, not the first, but, you know. This is, this is rude. Pretty rude. I guess this pretty is also, rude. this is also uh, pretty rude. They have no idea. Oh, yes. What do you do when you flip up? I investigate? Nah, I don't need the clues that bad. I'll just punch it for two. <clears throat> this is fine. I didn't really want to flip that guy, but I like attacking. Love attacking. Oh, yeah? All right. So are you going to target? What are you targeting here? I guess I have to give him hexproof. My real question is, does that kind of like bot spam actually do anything? It can't, right? No. Like nobody looks at those messages and was like, oh, this is a service I want to retain. You know, for, it's so easy for them to send out like tens of thousands of messages mm -hmm. and they just need like one person. Yeah, I guess. It's just, all these scams are basically banking on one person being like, oh, this is real. And they're like, wait, what? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's real. deck just I want something with power and or toughness you can do that for me baby what holy God. oh shoot it's got ward I knew that I would I'm so foolish this card's not real Hunt. right neighborhood guardian yeah that's a good card. This card's a this card's wild. Oh my god. I I think it's okay that I that they said punt and check, because I that was just a huge punt for me. I wasn't thinking. I was like, yeah, I'll see what that is. Won my first game. Nice. Yay. Good job. My opponent played four rares against me. Didn't matter. evidence for you <clears throat> hello Raiders what up how you doing how you been you look great did you get a haircut thank you for joining us here at the loading ready run fam jam we're playing MKM limited and now I'm in charge losers and let's go James oh. what's up can you put my rotating rat on screen please 
Uh, sure, I'll work on that. Thank you so much. Turn face up. Wrath you. Uh, yeah, wrath you. Uh oh. All right, how does this work for timing? Right, the garden when it ended. Exile. So, t can I wait till they target Urizen before I give him yeah. hexproof? Yeah. I love mulling to five and then drawing all of my combat tricks. Let's freaking go. I always like, what is the timing on this? Because you can't explain what you want to do to your opponent in, uh, in Arena. Oh, they're going to get my tracker. Ah. Well, that's annoying. Wait, Rathew is on my view? Well, sure. There. Oh. <laughs> Look at him go. Thank you, James. Paul. Thank you, Paul. Beautiful. Well, at least I have something with power and toughness this game. Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna draw my land, right? Right? Okay, case file auditor is pretty good because she just got me a makeshift binding. Dang. Well. It's important to have stupid things that make you happy. Yeah. Is it asking too much if I ask that his rotation speed get turned down just a tiny bit. He gets car sick. He's going too hard. He, go he goes way too hard. I if it is... I'm, I don't think I can do that. Hey. Because it's like, it's just the, the animated GIF that Paul probably just downloaded off of wherever. Mm. I think those just come at their set speeds. Oh, you can definitely do it. In OBS. But don't worry, yeah. Like Don't worry about it though. You 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 add it as the media file and then just oh yeah. Uh, what am I doing? I didn't draw my land. Very unfortunate. Is that better? <laughs> oh no! No, I love that it's like a can can <laughs> line. They're having fun. Yeah. You gotta let them have their fun, tire themselves out. That way they actually go to bed on time. What's the story behind the rat? I lost a bet. And now he's family. I think if I got rid of Rat Thew, um, my career would be over. Really? Yeah, people would be so upset. Mm. Oh. Okay. God, um. this pool is so bananas good. Cloak a card from your hand. Play out absolutely everything you have. That's good. aggressively. No, get back there. Turn 10, that's five they'll take. They'll trade here and that's fine. Four. No dog walking today. I get so they'll probably just let that. Oh, that's even worse. That's eight.
Oh, that's a big boy. Holy shit, my opponent had... I... Okay, I played the Wrath that um, extirpates something from their graveyard and or library, and I just chose Vanifar at random. But as it turns out, they have two Prides of Hulk Ooh. Ooh. Well, that, that turned out well for you. Well, no, because I should have taken the Pride of Hulk Lade. Oh. Well. Doesn't she do something to, him, to them, though? Oh, yeah, like, I mean, I'm glad they can't reanimate Vanifar. That would be annoying. But. Oh, yeah, I do have Auto Dapron. No. Uh, no. No. Uh, no. What the? No, don't play a fight spell, please. I'm begging you. I guess I could be quite dead to this. Maybe I should have tried to walk there. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, actually, not the biggest. Uh, oh, we no. just draw a land here. Am I dead? Okay. No, thank God. Phew. Hey, I won one! Congratulations. I mean... That was pretty, that was, my deck was very good. Congratulations. Yay. Ooh. And I only punted, I would say once. Hmm. Which is not so bad. Oh, Auto Tapper's already, uh, 30 Terrasite says Auto Tapper has, uh, has goozled them with the uh, disguise mechanics. Oh dear. So be careful, I guess. If you're like, I need two blue to untap this or something. Uh, this thing's in the format. Sure. All right, well, I looted away my fifth land and I haven't drawn another one and I'm getting punished for it. I'm sorry. That's fine. I deserve everything. It's my own fault. Hello? Is my, oh, is my special order cat food in? Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. I figured I knew exactly what that was. That was my vet saying that, hey, your, your cat's special food is there. I'm dead. I drew a removal spell. No! Bad beats. Bad beats. It's fine. It's fine. Game of skill. No luck involved. This is fine. Maybe I should have kept the land anyways if I'm getting a clue, because then I can sack a clue and get back my 3-1 in the same turn. But I'm only saying that out loud to make it seem like I'm not actually upset about, you know, the horse shit that just transpired. I see. I uh, I played off curve to get... Don't shock me, bro. Like, maximum value was really good. Mm -hmm. I have a Jaded Analyst, and I played it into a Steam Core Scholar, and I got to draw cards and then make stuff go. It was great. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I would just like to draw attention to my board state when we have a second, because I am uh, popping off. Case of the Pilfered Proof into three detectives get to solve. 
nice. All right, if one or more tokens be created. Oh, Akaya. Well, that's very spicy for them. Yeah, that's a good card. Is it a good card? I mean, it feels like a just brutality in Limited. It's a Planeswalker in Limited. Yeah. I'm the best ghost hunter in the business. <gasps> they did have a shot. Well, that's weird. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's irritating. But they all look like a payday to me. Hmm. Well, then. Oh, my projector inspector. No. Well, now I know what Kaya does when you exile something. Oof. <clears throat> I don't let anything slip through the cracks, other than myself, of course. I'm so envious of these beat up card sleeves. Oh, they're really good. What were they from? Um, April Fools, they did the like, hey, remember the 90s? Oh yeah. creatures dealt damage its controller may exile that many cards from the top of their library and you may play those cards until the end of the next turn weird i might deck myself I've won another game. Are we tracking this? Do we have a... Yeah. Did Top you... left. You just got to tell me when you win a game. All right. Uh, I won a game, and I also won a game earlier, but I don't know if it got tracked. All right. Thank you, James. Yep. Naming shock, getting two hits. Ooh. That Wrath can exile basic lands, right? Yes. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I can mulligan this hand even though it doesn't do anything.
Uh, the card you're looking for is Deadly Cover Up. Chat. All right. The great, Deadly Cover Up. The great evil Kaya is defeated. God, that was awful. Nicely done. Hell yeah. Oof. That was terrifying. Just make a creature every turn. Turn your creatures into like something that was exiled. Did opponent rage scoop? I was just gonna say, did your opponents just nope out your Cameron? Maybe I, like, actually reached through the screen and pulled out their soul. Mm. Do I? <laughs> that tickle noise after that statement. <laughs> That's the sound of pulling out their soul. Just a deedly deedly. Yeah, deedly deedly. It's because they've got a little bell collar on. Sorry, kitten. You're not allowed to win this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I think hitting uh, basic land with deadly cover-up, especially in limited, is, like, it's probably fine, right? Like, they're on a two-color deck. They're probably on, like, I don't know, at least two or three of each land by them, you would think. Oh, yeah. at the very last second. Now, uh... James, if we can go to my screen very quickly. Some people say putting a hat on a hat is unnecessary. Absolutely but, not. Uh, a hat on a hat on the thing already with a hat means I have a 4-6 Vigilance Flyer in play, which seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Calling it a, a Team Fortress 2 ass board state. <laughs> Wait, so no, go hats. back. Wait, so don't. many hats. Don't go back. No, don't go back. I tapped him properly. Don't go back. Hide my shame, please. I'm begging you. Put more rats on the screen. Anything, James, please. We'll go back to Cameron's tilted out opponent here. Yep. Oh, where are they gonna? We're are they gonna? We're getting are they pretty gonna? close here. <laughs> Thank you, James. <laughs> Thank you. Ta-da. Oh, I went up to silver three. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. My crocodile. Actually, what are my weeklies? 20 creature spells, blue or green spells, blue or red spells. Oh no. Oh wait, shock is in this form. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, is that a Chivo? Do I get bonus points for, like, an opponent roping out? Uh, sure. Works for me. I, Sick. I guess, opponent with the rope in the arena. of the pilfer proof is too good. It's so rude. I just got a 2-5 for three. What? Case of the pilfer proof. It's just whenever a detective enters the <clears throat> battlefield and your controller is turned up, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, gross. I'm heavily considering going... I mean, do you have removal? Yeah. Uh, James, I won another one. Thank you. Detectives seem pretty strong. Yes. Like that, um, the the Lord Private Eye. Yeah. That has so many words on it. I'm heavily considering going to the next magic event uh, that I attend as the Rope. <laughs> Cosplaying as the Rope. The Rope. 
That sounds like the most annoying person you know's way of saying Europe. Yes. <laughs> I suppose I could have swung with the perimeter enforcer. Yes, and this time I can pay the ward. <clears throat> I'll take my three. Ooh. That's not good for me. Six five with flying and ward? Terrifying. Ugh. This card has not been good either time I've drawn it. This has been real one hell of a game. My opponent's deck has also got lots of good stuff in it. The Phantom? The Vein Ripper. Oh. Oh, I meant uh, your Phantom, not yeah. being Gucci. Yeah. Can't do anything about that right now. <sighs> Sacrifice a creature? Ooh. So I have to. I'm so dead. Am I just mathematically dead? So if I tap there, I'm dead. So if I got a block here to trade, but then I take three, seven exactly. Well, what's here? <sighs> I guess I could have let them attack me, but... This is not going well. You can't I'm attack Mulligan. without dying. And... Yeah. I'm Mulligan, and I, uh... Uh, kept a two lander. Uh... Things are not going super great for you, eh? No. I, but I also don't know the morphs in this format. No. Yet. Everything's a surprise. Yeah. What if we do this? I should have realized when they put cons of Tark here that the set would have morphs in it. Yeah. <laughs> they are getting everybody, uh... Used to it. Yeah. What's this? Who knows? Blow me out, opponent. Do it. I dare you. There's no way. Oh, not the centaur. Okay, the centaur is fine. Oh, it's the crocodilf. Oh, that's a little scarier. Uh... Okay, we might actually be able to come back from this. Although my client's lagging and is trying to use my black mana to pay for the cost on this. All I need to do is just aggressively trade my resources, act like they don't have it, because there's no way in hell I can play around them having it in the first place, and then we're good. Yeah. What could be had? Wait. Why can't I... Inter... I forgot I had this card in my deck. Woohoo. Crankle, Baron of Tin Street. Yikes. Aggressive trading. Mm. 
The fact they didn't attack with this either means that this is small or they're going to play a big thing that I can hopefully dramatic accusation. Now I'm up on raw cards. Oh, they played a slime against humanity. Okay. Did not expect that. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have played that land. Uh, that's probably fine. What's this do? Well, that's a pretty good clue, or case. No, stop playing rares. Stop playing more slimes against humanity. What the hell? Ooh. Oh! Yikes. Not lands? Okay. <clears throat> oh. Maybe I can deck them. just picked up another win because somebody just preemptively scooped to Ezrim even though I was really on the back foot. I was really going to start turning it around next turn. So like I could see how maybe they just felt that the 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 doom was coming, but I feel like the opponent gave up too soon there. Are you enjoying Slime Against Humanity or no, Wheeler? Enjoy well, I'm currently not losing to it, but not exactly enjoying the fact that my opponent has some bigger creatures. Um, you're not loving it. You're not a McDonald's commercial is what you're saying. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I like the name. I like it as a way to... Um, add a green card to that cycle. I think that part's pretty cool. I need to do that, so I can't do that. But if I'm doing that this turn, I'm not doing this, so I can discard this. Ooh. I think what this game needs is an, e uh, an emote that is just the SpongeBob intercaps, your go. Mm. Oh, this doesn't give it Vigilance. Oh, that was because my thing had Vigilance. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Reading the card explains the card. You're making these uh, mistakes. I'm making them now so that when yeah. I make them later... Um, then you'll feel worse about it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's okay. My opponent drew three cards on their turn. It's probably fine. <laughs> Pyro Dragon says maybe I can deck them as the bargaining stage of MTG Grief. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Jesus. Judge, my opponent had four rares. Also, I played poorly. <laughs> Somebody, Power Flapjack says, no grief is the, is the, is the, uh, is the, um, 
Great is the stage of grief. Wow, I messed that up because my opponent immediately just took that moment when I was reading chat to try and do something. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what does that card do? Menace indestructible. Creature can't block. And when it deals combat damage to a creature, investigate. Yikes. Oh, yeah, they played that against. Not not them, but I have that played against me. Uh, it's, uh, yikes. Mm -hmm. Well, time to make some clues. Okay, I... they're gonna draw a lot of cards. This is not good. Oh yeah. The opponent, the Akaya, huh? Sometimes people rely a little too heavily on the spirit. Guess who's the s <clears throat> Can I please attack Kaya? Yeah, Kaya is brutal. That's weird. What? Where is the opponent <laughs> connecting from? Antarctica or the moon? <laughs> Ravnica itself. Alberta. Don't you say that about my opponent. A fate worse than death. I'm the best ghost hunter in the business. I would like to draw a third land, please. Or, sorry, a fourth land. So in this section here, do you do you makeshift binding their cold case cracker? Possibly running into the uh, counter spell, or do you just get another creature down, draw more cards? Uh, sorry, I... Hmm. Oh. You, you started talking, and then my brain was trying to work through the bit of... I wouldn't kick them out of bed for eating cold case crackers. No. Oh. Yeah, I feel like I just try to, because then I can just poke in the air. <clears throat> Gain back some life. Are you sending me to the Shadow Realm? No, Ottawa. <laughs> this blue-black deck is spooky because I have no idea what they could have. <laughs> I haven't had a ping this bad since I got the rocket launcher in Quake. It does sound like it's a arena-wide problem. Well, it's because everybody's so excited to play the new set. Because it's set on Ravnica, the greatest plane ever. Ugh, just took 10 and went 18. Blocks. Draw your card. Make your clue. I'm afraid of you. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> no wait. Sorry. No wait. <laughs> it's just really funny to watch. What? I don't know. Just like the client, very slowly taking actions. Oh, Somebody that's yeah. been playing nothing but Shondalar. For the past week, you know, listening to your th 386 DX40 chug <laughs> through the animations. We're not so different, you and I. Chandelier MGG Arena. <laughs> Does Chandelier Arena or Chandelier MTG Arena sound like the Quake guy falling off a high building <laughs> whenever he stands up too?
Oh, don't do that. I hate this game so much. <laughs> Whatever the back half of the day we just pivot to playing Quake. <laughs> that would be that would be great, actually. <laughs> this game is agonizing. I quit. Oh my opponent's playing more than one color. Interesting. Well, it seems like an extremely good way of not doing anything all game. <clears throat> sure, you know what? I'm not paying for these gems. <laughs> Seven mana, four, four? Why not? After all, I should Seven mana. <laughs> yeah, but he's got ward three, right? Two. For seven mana? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Ooh, War Leader's Call. I whenever a creature. into the sideboard with you. Ah. Whoa! Good woe or bad woe? Bad woe! Wo. I just got lost in the maze and they tapped all my creatures and they exiled the, <clears throat> the card in my hand. Oh my god. Whoa. Man, the art to War Leader's Call has a well, very strong... Well, this might just be it. Disco oh, Elysium brutal. vibe. Guy who only wants to play Disco Elysium. Exactly. This says big <laughs> Disco Elysium vibes. I'm dead. That's me. That's me. Is it? I mean, wait, wait, wait. I've never played Disco Elysium. Oh. It's crossed my mind that I should probably look into it. I've been told I would like it. Yeah. Mm. This feels like a table that might like it. Oh wait. I don't know. I thought you told me that I would that I would like it. I mean, I think it's very very good. But I have learned that my taste is not representative of what anything else will ever like. Okay, well what do you like read. about it? I love the writing. I love the humanity of the characters. Okay. I love the um the humor and just the overall vibe of it taking place in a city that was once like um kind of like the balance point of the world and then went through revolution and war and is now like this weird sad backwater of this weird sad world mm. i mean i like cities that are sad backwaters yeah <laughs> um yeah, you would. I think you might appreciate the soundtrack. Mm. Oh, this is so slow. But technically, it's fine. Get a two-one on turn four. No way. Okay. Well. You 
Oof. Oof. <clears throat> Not like this deck. Don't go out on my third loss. My second one being a complete surprise to a lost in the maze. Oh, it has to be turned face up. Uh, yeah, it's probably fine. Attack with everything you block that. Oh. Mal. Um. Thank you, James. <clears throat> wow, I made it all the way to bronze too. I draft a lot. <laughs> a pisser. Ugh. Oh wait, exile target. Confetti is back. We didn't get confetti. Well, sounds like a skill diff issue. My current verdict on the format chat is that it is hard to kill Kaya when you are stuck on three land. <clears throat> Preach. Mm. Ooh, scapegoat. Scapegoate. The scapegoate. Oh, 
Oof. <laughs> okay, well. No more attacking with Ezrum. You got a combat trick? You got a combat trick? opponent played a red herring and then the red herring died and then they called it as a surprise witness so now there's a flying fish Ugh. magic the, the gathering <laughs> some things never change I'm dead again. No. All right. Sudden setback. This card is not good. It has never been useful. What is sudden setback? Do? It's a four mana thing where you can put copy of target spell or non-land permanent on the top or bottom of its opponent's library. Mm. Not good. But I thought, you know what? It's an uncommon. We'll try it. Mm -hmm. Don't like it. Mm -hmm. I failed. I went three and I went two and three with that deck, and I didn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> Oh, hey, Quintorius. Oh. Seems like an interesting include in a set with... Um, Things leaving your graveyard. Yeah. Do I have a single clue token? We're on pack three. I'll take the escape tunnel. Wait, he activates off top, off opponent's artifacts? Oh, well, in that case. <gasps> Niv Mizzet, time to pivot. <clears throat> wait, hold on. Wait, was How I spitting there? Damn, I didn't know Cameron had bars. I wasn't aware of your game. My bad. I wasn't aware of your game. Parentheses, Magic the Gathering. That dog barking. Hate that. It, it just sound, you know, there's that very specific, like, knocking on a door sound effect. Mm hmm. That just, it's, it's so uncanny. Felt like there was a dog in the room with us right now. Kind of wish there was a dog in the room with us right now. Hmm. I have the dog in me, Sipwow, but, you know, not everybody can experience that. How many two drops do I have? Uh, an appropriate number for a Boros deck, I feel. Enough. Yeah, sure, why not?
May I please <laughs> get one of those two drops? Got a one drop, you got a two drop, you got a removal spell? Hell yeah. Yeah. Life is good. All right. We're firing up another draft. They're answering some important emails. players. <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty good if you were to... One, she's turning me to cast a creature spell with power two or less from the top of your library. It doesn't do anything otherwise. take it because I don't know how good it is, but it's also a rare, and when am I going to get to play with it? Mm -hmm. It could be amazing. So now I just want to draft, like, weenies. Four. Oh, are you dead? <clears throat> Organti Maggiore says, I like to think that the, the crime goat is, a, a, is accused of tax evasion. Hmm. Uh, James, yep. if it's uh, all right with you, I'd like to uh, showcase my opponent's death. Hmm. I get to pull, I get to grab their fish and their creature, and then this ETBs, and I'm going to buff their fish, and then I'm going to put a hat on a hat. Incredible. And then I get to attack, and then I get the buff, and then slam for lethal. Whoa, two copies if it doesn't add up? Wheeler more what? like Windler. Wait, that reads like Weinler. Uh-huh. Masterful play, Why sir. does it read like Weinler, James? Hey, look at this. Quick, go to my shot. There's Thank two you. copies if it doesn't add up in here. How is that possible? Uh, one's a foil. Oh. Which one's the foil? I don't know. I've never seen that before. I'm going to take this Whisper Drinker Vampire, this Wisp Drinker Vampire, because it also cares about creatures that are tower two or less. Whoa. What's that card do? Whoa. That card seems very good. All right, so I just want little babies. Babies. Please. Babies everywhere. Please, well, that dog I just want... Actually, this dog is great. Mm -hmm. I just want to play Magic the Gathering. It could make my, it could make my babies bigger, too, because creatures I get plus one, plus one. this slice from the shadows? Or do I want to take a wrench? Wrench was great last game. But this is removal. I, I do mean. have creatures, right? Oh, Market Watch Phantom, yas. That's a power. Two or less. HD Devnado says that they they say from their own experience that they think this is going to be a polarizing set. Yeah. Do you think people actually secretly hate face down cards? Like, uh, it's like too 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 many unpleasant surprises. Yeah. Nobody likes being like, oh, crap. That it one. does kind of suck <laughs> if you don't draft a lot or if you're new to the format. Right. Um, I think I'm going to have to keep this. Magic players hate variants, says Frodo. Everybody at, the pre everybody at my pre-release either loved the set or really hated it, says P.D. Von Who. Interesting. 
Yeah, pre-release is a great example of that. The kind of people that show to a pre-release are like the folks that are either incredibly invested and they go to any bigger magic thing, or people that play at home, kitchen table style. And uh, they, they get blown out. Mm -hmm. Speaking of getting blown out, I... Are mm. about to get blown out? Well, I mulliganed and then I missed a land drop. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I have, I, I'm trying to draft Black White cares about small, small things. Uh, and I've got two Market Watch Phantoms already, so I'm feeling pretty good. All right. Presume dead. They crack their clue. Wow, okay. This is my third land drop again. It's no. fine. We can we can maybe pull it back. They're not really doing anything. But was that they, good luck? That, that's that's some vibes. Come on, good vibes. Uh, <laughs> I mean you. they just hey! hey it worked. Thank you, Kathleen. Uh, let's try to hit our other land drops, shall we? Hey, there we go. Might be a little too late. If they're not doing anything. Oh, hey, you know how I care about creatures two or less? Mm -hmm. Neighborhood Guardian? That card's but, unreal. All right, well. Seems unreal. I want to take this long goodbye too. So I have not noticed anybody saying Long Goodbye is a reference to the classic Raymond Chandler detective story, The Long Goodbye. No, does no one care about the literature of the 1940s anymore? <laughs> uh, no. No. Well. More of a 1960s kind of guy. Mm. Do I want to trade this for the Let's random? See, how can I be the most exactly. condescendingly, condescendingly moralistic about this? No, I <laughs> <laughs> No, and here's something I think is better. <laughs> <laughs> If we got to do punt counterpunt for this set, we could have done a continuation of the story that we did for Capenna. We could have. God, Nelson could have died again. Yeah. Well, I, I honestly don't think I would have. I honestly probably did, wouldn't have had time to do it for this set either yeah. because of all the bylaw stuff I'm working on. Leave your graveyard? How many cards leave a graveyard? An Indrick Stalker cap says Laser Beaks Fury. Hee hee hee. Ooh, murder! I think I just want to murder. Same. I love to murder. Bylaw? What's that? When does it wear? When does it air? Every week, says Galdahar. I think you know. But if you like Ravnica, you can watch the three people you're currently watching play Magic also play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, they have the smuggler. The Bubba Smugs. 
<laughs> oh, did they flip up bub smugs on you? Uh, no, they didn't get a chance. They double blocked. No bub smuggling today. Episode three is coming out tomorrow. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right, Barb server. As the battlefield suspect it when he does combat, it should clear draw a card and lose a life. I think three. I'm take that. Indestructible. I feel like three is when we really hit our stride. Yeah, three was like because the first one was like oh got so much stuff to get through and then the second one was like we still have so much stuff to get yeah. through because i wanted to make sure you had enough stuff uh and then third one you got to go do something <laughs> <laughs> which was very helpful yeah uh-oh uh, yeah, we got a real pump puppy stomper across the table what oh my opponent blocked one of my dogs sickening What season does this do? Uh, destroy all artifacts. No, don't. Please. I feel like I just need, like, little dudes. Little dudes? Little dudes. Need some little dudes. Some little dudes. <clears throat> some Milka Lil dudes. Honestly, on the job might be good, but I'm gonna take it under creature. Maybe I should have taken on the job. Uh. Don't play a good creature, please. What? Oh, what the fuck? Did not know there was a mind control at Uncommon in this format. That seems pretty good. Proof. I thought we stopped doing this. They have a long goodbye in their hand. Ooh, that's also a good draw. This isn't getting any better. Ooh. Right, this doesn't have. Actually, maybe this is fine. Putting a hat 
on your detective? This one doesn't have a hat, at least. Hmm. Tap two, untap. Agency detectives wear many hats. They're kind of overworked. Uh. Guess I'm doing this. Do you have a okay. counter spell for this? If they have the double removal, I don't know what to do. Oh, they had a counter spell. That's annoying. Yep. Oh no. Not great. Uh, I'm going to three. So if they have another counter spell, it's real bad. Don't draw another counter spell. There's no way. There's no way. I refuse to believe you drew another counter spell. Great. All right. Then in my deck. Oh, ghost quarters in this. That's great. Oh, wait, that's from the list. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I didn't realize they reprinted ghost quarter. I'm priced to block, but you're priced to pump. <clears throat> Good news, they didn't. Um, <laughs> God, I wish. Is Ghost Quarter the most fair LD? It's pretty darn fair. Hmm. What the? Well then. Oh, you know, Encroaching Wastes. That's a pretty fair land destruction card. Mm. It costs like five mana. And you sacrifice it. Well. Wow. Tulsimir Midnight's Light is kind of a beating. That card seems pretty good. It's just, what, 14 power and toughness for something? Five mana. Yeah. Yeah, but it's in green, so it's hard to get up to five. True. Oh, my God. Okay, don't buff it. Please, please. Please. I don't deserve to win this, but I would love to, you know. Like, you got, you understand how that would be a big get for mm. you know, me, and I guess us as a, a team. Actually, I deserve to win this. I'm elegant. this race. Wait, why oops? Woo! Nice. Good job, Wheeler. Thank you. Wow, and we're bronze one. I'd like to thank my family. I'd like to thank all the rats, my teammates. Oh, you're welcome. A second Tulsimir. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, I mean, cool game. Cameron, you might be cursed. <laughs> you might, you might, you might. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fucking awesome is what this was. Jeez. Love two, that. Two Tulsimir. Yeah, a second Tulsimir has hit the battlefield. <laughs> Dear God.
Why didn't I draft two Tol Samirs? I don't know. Probably because I lack character. <laughs> All right, I have surveilled a basic land into my graveyard, which means my opponent is going to have that wrath. Do you want to look at my deck? I've drafted a deck, as you can see. It's white-black. I've got two Slice from the Shadows and a Crovod Haunch here. Crovod Haunch is important because it makes two dogs when you throw it away and gains you some life. Things that care about dogs include three copies of Market Watch Phantom, a copy of Neighborhood Guardian, and, uh, well, that's it. But, I mean, that's four sources. That's not bad. And it also makes dogs... It, Karlov Watchdog cares about me attacking with more than three creatures. Dogs like to attack. I've got a lot of small things here, and I've got some bigger things here that basically I'm going to be playing as two drops and then flipping them over My later. My opponent hopefully. just played a Tolsamir. Do you only have 15 lands? Me? Yeah. Uh, seven, I seven. do! Oh, okay, well, well hold up. What's my split here? Thanks, Arena. It get it gave me some, so that's 16. Probably I want 17 lands. So I've got to make some cuts here. Because I was willing to run 41, but not with 15 lands. All right. Um, what's not exciting here? This is a flyer. This is also a flyer. It flips up easier, has more power. This one has an uncommon symbol, so it seems more exciting. Whoa. Four mana, look at the top five cards of your deck, yeah. cloak two of them. That's pretty good. <clears throat> oh. All right, we have a game plan. Let's take out due diligence. Let's take out that. There. Perfect. I believe in me. I believe in the power of black and white, one of my favorite combos. Hmm. Mm. Oh, one sec, I'm getting a phone call. Hello, Kathleen speaking. All right, time to get blown Hello? out. Yep. Mrs. DeVere, we're calling about your refrigerator. Cut the mic. I muted myself. I didn't. I knew who was calling before when the vet called because I was like, I know this. Oh. Only, only uh, white sources, eh? That's fine. Man, I can't remember the last <gasps> time I actually answered the phone. Yeah. I mean, people like. My vet are calling, and I'm oh, okay. expecting other calls today, so I have to. I just get like mono, likely scam, likely scam, oh. likely fraud, likely scam, likely fraud, unknown caller, okay. survey, survey. Occasionally survey. I get a very nice woman trying to teach me uh, Cantonese. Oh, really? Mm. Mm -hmm. I that think nice. that's what she's trying to do. Well, there's nothing to be gained here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Tap down my spy. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, they didn't do it. No, my goat. 
Man, this game sucks. Oh, they did it. You clown. You fraud. Mm -hmm. What'd I kill? Okay, what I need to do is draw four more lands while my opponent kills me with a 1-1. One, one. Oof. Thinking cat might be better than I thought. If you got a bunch of detectives, it seems okay. No. God. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Stop playing more cards. Opponent, I think you've had enough. Opponent and I are, well, I've learned how to use Sanctuary Wall after punting it the first time. Mm. But I feel like I'm feeling pretty good here. No, not the gargoyle. Oh, I can't do that. Which game is a lifelink? Play a land. Just play a land. Play. Don't draw more gas. No. My opponent 100% has a Niv Mizzet in their deck. Hmm. They also have 11 cards left in their deck. The mill plan might actually be alive. <laughs> we can only hope. Meddling youths, uh-oh. Oh my god, the mill plan might be alive. Uh. Woof. Oh, that was such a good card for my opponents. All right, well, okay. How can I deal four damage to them? I guess I can't, so I guess I can just block that four or five. Great, but I feel I'm feeling confident. Them having blockers less good for me, but yeah. Okay, they're out of cards. <clears throat> Alright, my opponent has nine cards left in deck. You've got this one. I believe I've, in you. I think I can mill them out. They just made another clue? Oh yeah. The dream's alive.
They crack their clue. They're down to eight cards. It can happen. Nice. If I could get a second black source. Oh my god, they're cracking another clue. Seven cards left. Six on draw step. We can we can survive six turns, right? I believe in you. Can somebody show me what Niv Mizzet does? <laughs> Out of curiosity, the new one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, they just played the uh, the one one that's indestructible and when it deals damage to someone, they draw a card. Ooh. Oh, God. Uh, deals combat damage to a part they draw. Okay, that's all I need to hear. One murder would really, like, change the pace of this stupid game. <clears throat> Because opponent's not drawing at all, but I'm just stuck. No bueno. They're just doing the same thing over and over. Oh my god, why? Oh, I should have discarded the land. down to five cards. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 14, 15, 16. Put a stun counter on the wall. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a stun counter on this thing because I wanted to use it on their turn so my thing will get unstunned first. Seems terrible. Oh my god, they played a wrath. I'm excited to use my Undercity Eliminator next turn to get their Perimeter Enforcer out of here. Oh, this doesn't have to attack a Fable? Come on. Mm, do I want it now? Do I get the seasoned, seasoned or the Perimeter Enforcer? Probably. Honestly, that lifelinker is giving me so much more trouble. <clears throat> oh, that was stupid. I 
should have put it on the case file auditor. Oh well. I shouldn't have played that at all because I could have tapped their seasoned consultant. Oh, that was dumb. Hunt? No equipment here, but it is a 4 4. Oh, that could be helpful though. Creatures you get plus two plus one until end of turn. Investigate. James, if I may. We are actually going to come down to decking, potentially. They've got Amazing. one card left Seriously? in their deck. Yes! Amazing. Oh, I mean, they conceded, but they, they didn't have enough to kill me. I'm so proud of you. Woo! Uh, yeah, I did enjoy that. Uh, do we get a, do we have the seven wins extra point, too? Yeah, you just got seven. Uh, I got seven wins. All right. Good job. Congrats. Thank you. Now let's open packs. Also, mods, anybody that mentioned that it'll never come down to decking, uh, I'd like them banned if possible. Mm. Please and thank you. I don't think that's too big of an ask. You're gonna need a list of names and timestamps. Unfortunately, uh, the people that I would normally, you know, get onto the job of doing that are um, the people that I know that actually said it. And I don't think they're gonna, you know, be that destructive. <laughs> I'm making an aggressive trade here because, like, I just want to get some damage in. And I want to be able to use my Sanctuary Wall before I untap. I guess I could pay the ward on this thing. Or I could draw a clue. Eh. I have a better plan. I want to. I want to draw a card. I want. I want clues. Mm -hmm. I want. I want stuff. Oh, that's really good. Because it flies. This has been a very grindy game. Oh, well. We're getting there. All right. Ooh. They're tapped. So I can flip that thing up, but I do lose three life. That's okay. <clears throat> that becomes a four two. Doesn't even block the three one. Yay! Yay! Winner, winner, special cat food dinner. Mm. Thank you. How long did you have that prep for, James? Uh, since that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> All special right. cat food. Pinky pie and gummy. Victorious again. Gum Who's... Gummy is the name of Pinkie Pie's pet uh, toothless alligator. Oh, okay. I know all of the lore because I have a small child. Yeah. She's very into My Little Pony for several months. Actually, so we were playing 
ponies mm -hmm. the other day because uh, and Penelope likes to do things where she has we, she, she has like a set of tiny crystal like crystal colored ponies and a set of tiny normal colored ponies okay because I'm a sucker and if she likes something I will buy it for her so we're mm -hmm. having a fight between the good ponies and the evil ponies okay were there evil ponies well the crystal colored ponies she's determined are the evil ponies oh, okay so she was just like all right and then this happens and then this happens but Penelope being a child is like well all your attacks miss and all mine hit obviously mm -hmm. and I'm like no this is no fun for me the adult let me introduce you to the concept of rolling a d20 <laughs> whoever rolls highest will get to do this then let's let me introduce you uh -oh, to the concept of you know maybe there's like a certain attack level we're looking for you gotta roll an eight okay or higher and then then we added uh Lisa, then we added um, so we added armor class Just and then we started me. rolling attack die to see how many <laughs> yeah. she thought it was very fun there you go you got there buddy that's how you get them hooked right yeah <laughs> you want to go out for ice cream, Cameron? Only winners get ice cream. Oh, jeez. I've won one game today. Did And did you get ice cream? Were nope. You... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Everybody say Dairy Queen. Technically, it's ice milk. A Dairy Queen? Yeah. I didn't do what I like to do um, when it gets really cold here, which is walk to the Dairy Queen and get a strawberry sundae and eat it while ice crystals form in like the, the strawberry syrup. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <clears throat> I am a big cold, cold food on a cold day. Ice cream on a cold day is actually just like yeah. my jam. No, no way. Ooh, especially if it was ice cream with jam in it. Although I did hear the best way to make a strawberry milkshake is just get some really good strawberry jam and dump it into vanilla yeah, ice just cream. Churn it. That sounds great. I don't know why I needed a cabbage patch to show you what churning is, but. Yeah, the, <laughs> clearly this one's churning, but you don't want to be making that. I don't want to do this on camera. No. Could you imagine the look on my face if I started doing this on camera? I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be like, oh, no, you'd be no, <laughs> oh, no. You, you'd be in a shake weight commercial. Mm-hmm. Were shake weights real? Yep. Or was that just yeah. like an SNL bit or no, something? No, no, it was a real, they were actually, they it was were... a real ill conceived item. Mm. Okay. Oh, opponent's about to go off with connecting with dots. My god. Oh, that card doesn't seem real. I'm in a state of disbelief that that card exists the way it does. Like they get to draw eight cards next turn? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> not great. Like, like, what are we doing here? You can flip this up and turn it into a four, three. Wait, Nervous Gardener is a two, two? When did that happen? Maybe opponent will deck themselves. Right? Yeah, maybe. That's a thing. It has happened once before. This is so bad for me. Oh, 
right. I'm supposed to do it on their turn, not on my turn. I'm so bad at this. Mentor of the Meek! This game is so <laughs> And drawing seven cards! Uh, uh, well, both teams fought hard, you know. Uh, goodbye. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Oof. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, that's really funny. Ooh, that's a Tesa. Didn't even want to draw nine. Kathleen is dead dead. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Cracked. Oh, Lizreal64 said they tried Connect the Dots at their own pre-release, but they needed more creatures. Mm. Oh, now this is, this is what we're talking about. Actually got some uh, swamp in hand. I like the Sanctuary Wall, if I can remember when I'm supposed to be using it. A knife. Tremble before my walls. Uh, I will exile one of these planes. The art on Not On My Watch uh, is kind of funny because the guy doesn't look like he's in the middle of combat, like the random guy fighting a Trotta. Um, he kind of just mo looks more like he's like, oh, come on. Well, he's and the blade is right near his wrist. Mm -hmm. So it's like he's saying, not on my watch. <laughs> not on my not watch. Not on no, my watch. My husband gave it to yeah. me. In the story, he's not a real assassin. He's just been mind controlled. Yeah, so that's why he's so crap at it. You read the story. I read the lore. That's that's a victory. Is where you're even getting Wheeler to read the lore. That's why they call me Benjamin Wheelor. Oh, it's Lightning Helix. No, oh, my neighborhood guardian. Oh my god. That's okay. I have ways of getting it back. That would have been this crowbot haunt would have been so good with my neighborhood guardian. I think they should print more apes that are just mad at technology. Oh my god, I'm picking Goblin Relatable. War Chief and playing it. <laughs> All right. I'm already convinced that the list rules. <laughs> just like having it on Arena and being able to play these cards. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is sick. Wait, Goblin War Chief? Really? Goblin War Chief. And my deck has like three goblins in it. <laughs> I might just play this because it's a, a three mana T2 haste Amazing. in my colors. That's very funny. Oh, we opened a rare in our colors. Hello. Uh, I go open oh, the Agoras Koss. We know him. Mm -hmm. He's been around forever. He's seen a few things. I also read that story. Oh, the books. Yeah. The long, the that, long time that ago. That was a long ones. time ago. play this. Ooh, premium. 
item removal. Ooh, a pack with zero playable cards. Yoink. I have one playable card. This might be a very um, undercooked joke, but uh, you know the, like, no fear, and then it says, like, uh, Simpsons mm. porn made illegal. One oh, fear. One fear. Yeah. No playables. Mm -hmm. uh, creatures Some with playables. disguise in the pack. <laughs> one playable. <laughs> Grey Ogre. Everyone loves Grey Ogre. Grey Ogre with Ward 2? Oh, yeah. Like, I've been playing a lot of Grey Ogre recently, and mm. it's, uh, gets the job done, you know? Please. I would like to draw another land. <clears throat> oh my god. Opponent's so afraid of me. Another goblin for my goblin war chief? After all. I turn my haunch into dogs. <clears throat> mm. Dog got your haunch. Oh, opponent, why, so for some reason I think my opponent tried to figure out how to, oh, they, they block, they had to double block my barb servitor so I wouldn't draw a card and instead they lost <clears throat> four life. That was quite rude. these dogs. Oh wait, that'll deal two damage to something, won't it? I'll just take four. I'm doing okay. Glad of it. Chat, what does on the job do? Is it four mana, instant, uh, creatures to control get plus two, plus one, and then does it investigate? That's very funny. It's a card that says like, okay, hopefully you're gonna kill the entire board, but also if you need to draw a card next turn, you can do so. put themselves dead to Barb Servitor because they didn't want me to draw a card so bad. Yeah. Barb Servitor is incredible. <clears throat> what a great card. That's pretty good. That's another win for me, James. I'm up to four wins on the day. Congratulations. I'm playing slowly and steadily. Congratulations. That's the way you win the race. I, uh, I watched Evangelion recently. <clears throat> 
My oh, congratulations! Is that for a, like eight no. turns? Oh, I didn't know if you were. Oh, that was I was trying. That was me queuing you for another. Congratulations! congratulations. Oh, I don't know. I, you do like I watched Ava, and you're like that. I'm like, oh, Kathleen wants me to give him some skin. <laughs> I actually haven't watched it recently, but when we did this Commodore Hustle, that was all like an extreme Evangelion parody. Uh, I did. Spend, ah, I, I did spend a lot of time watching clips of it and reading the Wikipedia page. You made something unblockable. You could have just killed me. I'm sorry, Cameron. Uh, I feel like I watched Evangelion many times throughout my life. And it was like, I watched it way too young. And then I watched it like two years later and I was like, oh, what what did young me even get out of this? And then I watched it another couple of years later, like what did teenage me even get out of this? Mm. And so forth and so forth. All sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Oh. Four, eight. Wow, this Agris cost card is kind of messed up. It's pretty good. Uh, James, that's a W, please and thank you. I watched a few times uh, at the height of COVID. It was nice. I remember being on a family vacation in Hawaii, of all places, and... Uh, you can't possibly be serious. No, like, the, the island. What did they just do? Did They They had lethal for, like, eight turns, then wrath the board. Are they playing with you? Are they, like, playing with their food? Is there somebody named Misha, Misha P.L. in chat? I want to go home. I think, I think, Cameron, you should win this. <gasps> My neighborhood guardian. Oh. Excellent timing, sir. Do I just target my opponent here, or do I um, wait until I untap to hit myself as well? I think just getting four clues off my opponent is probably fine. What? Oh, my opponent has so much removal. Ooh. murder a stupid 3-1 first strike. <clears throat> it's not going to stop me from drawing cards, though. This is an immensely weird game, Cameron. I'm in so much pain, James. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I've got a great uh, like 
message for you if you win this. When he wins this. Yeah, when, when he wins. Shame. That's when a shame, win. man. That's when, a real shame. When he wins this. Sorry. Oh. attack what if they draw a removal spell okay we're prepared for up to four <laughs> removal spells if opponent has Four rem no, not Tulsimir. <laughs> not Tulsimir. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? What? Uh, not Tulsimir. I'm sorry, Cameron, but that is extremely funny. Good, good, okay. Hitting my land drops. So you can just give this thing, like, Vigilance and Lifelink now? Yep. I mean, they're just dead in two turns. And now he's got a wrench. So I don't even need to give him Vigilance. Perfect. It's a wrench. Please, pardon Did we genuinely check chat? Uh, I don't think we genuinely checked <laughs> chat. I think we just said who's in there. OP is using rope, they say. Ugh. All right, well, they're at least not in chat under this name. Mm. Oh, they've searched up a face down card. What could it be? thing is reach. No. Oh. I'm so upset. Well, at least it happened here. They still have two more time. <laughs> What do I get if every game I win this event is because my opponent ropes out? <laughs> like, rage ropes. No, it wasn't the monkey. It was the, the Vitu Gauzy Inspector. It's like a two drop. Yeah, Cam, if uh, if you went on the rope here again, I'll give you the company card and you can walk over to the liquor store or something. <laughs> this is rude. Hey, there you go. Lifelink, please.
on dog walker. Oh. They are 100% trying to get me to like get up and go to the bathroom or something. <laughs> Stabilizing, no! Ugh. Dog on walkie. Oh, this dog walker. They're dead, right? Yeah. Let's just top up my clues here. <clears throat> All right, now you rope them. Like, this feels really familiar. Th this name. Misha P.L.? I don't want to sacrifice the clue vogs. <laughs> or the clue boutet. The clue boutet? The clue they've vog. Got the, clue got vog the red, sounds great. They've got the red soul, though, right? They had a flying blocker. They do. you tap that with a wrench? Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, it's gotta be... Oh, you got the wrench. Oh, yeah, easy. Oh, God, I'm gonna do some math here. They have no cards in hand. They've got four blockers. Sorry. Good hey job, now. Cameron. I have six attackers. I can give this... Hey. I can give this plus some two plus own vigilance. <clears throat> So this attack says a four with vigilance, and so they have to block it, and like one other thing. Hey now, Cameron, you're an all-star. This should put them dogs. That was game one. Oh, you're playing best of three? Oh no, no game no, one. No. Oh god, that was best of Jesus. three. Could you imagine doing that to your opponent and then being like, "All right, game two. And they just play the fastest you've ever seen. Yep. They're like, uh, judge my opponent needs to take a game action. Oh god. I'm getting flashbacks to playing in legacy tournaments. I mean, I've definitely had those games Yay. against someone at, at Wige who spends so 40 long. minutes in the tank. Yeah. And then 
like spends the whole rest of the the match like with the. Did you uh, win, Cameron? I did. After many many turns. This is so not keepable, chat. No way. No way. That's much better. Yeah. I'll put back the probably the. Yeah, maybe the courier. Yeah, I think the courier. That's the least exciting card. All right, we're three and one on the draft for the day. Isn't Ooh. this nice? Actually, I should check my email. I don't think I played this game particularly well. But if I win, I think I played this game flawlessly. Hmm. cute and good at magic, pretty unfair. God, did your husband write that? <laughs> no, just my secret family. Oh. Mm. I'm secretly married to James as well. Really? It's, it's awkward. What did Ashley say about that? Well, she doesn't know. Oh, because it's a secret, obviously. Should we be talking about this on, on stream? It's fine because I got dirt on Ashley because I'm also secretly married to Ashley. Does James know? Well, now he does. Oh. I'm cool. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's cool. He knows she's in good hands, you know? Uh, I am 3-0 uh, you know, with this deck, 2-0 you know, maybe? That was only two games. 2 you know. Want to watch me make the world's worst block? Do I? I lived! Hell yeah! Sometimes they just want to see... I mean, they, there's things that... Well, they've only got one black mana up. Nice. There's the one black. Uh, they get... Death touch. Oh, what's this? Life link. Mm. Oh, that's bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's bad Whenever news for you. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control. <clears throat> oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this for me very much. I also hate missing a land drop there. That's not great. My wall! No! That ape really hated that wall. <clears throat> this is so bad. Well, this game might be over fairly quickly. Can't even do anything because this Gearbane orangutan has reach. <laughs> you can see the secret reach button down mm. there. Good monkey. It's a good monkey. She's mm -hmm. so mad. Mm -hmm. The flavor text. Where is? How do I read this flavor text? In her defense, thopters are very fun to smash. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's quite good. So I can double block. No. You probably have combat tricks. Oh, yeah. oh, and I get a detective? And oh my god, I'm so dead. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's no That's okay. <clears throat> That's okay. I'm st I'm st that was only my second loss. Double block and pray. I don't I don't I think they had combat tricks. I, I could have equipped a Crowbot Haunch next turn, but there's no way. Not without not with missing land and. That's pretty good. War leader's call is messed up. I think so. Y'all want to see a murder? 
Yeah. Because either I'm going to get killed. I should read this card. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> either I'm going to get killed or my opponent's going to get killed. Attack with these. They block like that. Delish. Okay, my opponent has had... That's their fourth piece of removal? Behold, the dog walker. So I what? get double... Neighborhood guardian <laughs> triggers. Yeah. It's not as good as I want it to be, because I can't kill off that. But I will make a very big dog walker and trade with their bird. Or not trade, eat their bird and they take three. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it was all right. In my head, it felt more dramatic than um, two draft chaff cards. Oh, they had the bumps. Wait, they're oh, not they're draft chaff cards. Oh, they're good in draft. They're not chaff. They're draft cards. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you queue into the same person? No, it's just they've every creature I've played. They've played removal. Oh, they played a horse. That's my thing. I play horses. A second dog walker has hit the table. <clears throat> dog walker seems like a very good card. Yeah. What's the difference between fam jam and fam jelly? Fam jelly don't shake like that. People love dogs with jobs, right? They do. All right. People love the little dog tokens. <clears throat> Is it Alana Danner who painted them? Oh, yes. They're uh, such Yes. Oh, you're attacking? Ooh, Doritos bold. Well, look at all the dogs with jobs now. Ooh. <laughs> Take a truckload, please. Oh, whoops. I forgot they were attacking with the tutu as well. Well, that was very foolish of me. I could have destroyed that. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Yeah, see, and a clue. That's why that card, that card is so funny. Just four mana, you're casting this card as you're like killing your opponent. But you might want to draw a card next turn. many clues. My opponent just made so many clues. That's fine. I feel like I'm in a good spot here. I can flip this next turn and bang in the air. I've got dogs and an inside source to block with if I need to. I can make this into a, a, a four.
Are there any flash creatures in the set? At like common? I want to say there are. Like, am I going to get blown out by, like, a Nefalia sea kite or whatever? Oh no, don't kill there my dog. There must be, right? Isn't there, like, a... Isn't the one for fairy? Um... The, there's the disguise one. Hmm. I don't think that has flash. Is your control your opponent's control get minus two minus zero? Rude. I guess I'll put it on the top. <laughs> Who did that Hanna-Barbera yawn? Was that you, James? Yeah, I'm the only one here, man. This is me. I'm sleepy. <laughs> that was like... The perfect yogi bear, <laughs> like yawn. It's pretty impressive. Oh. What are you casting, opponent? Two. Four Mark another one, James. Hey. Good job. Oh. Let's take four here. Love that wrench. Love that wrench. James, mark up another one, please. Courtesy of wrench. Mm, nice. I think we're about 16 points away here from uh, hitting our goal of 50. Wait, Wasn't our goal God. originally supposed to be 69? That's what I said, but I guess Paul went with 50, yeah. which is probably a better idea. But you got, you we got an cool. hour and a half. You got an hour and a half. Well, I'm playing very slowly, I though. believe in you. Yeah, this format's a little slower than others. We, we don't have Savadan and we and uh, the young Benjamin here to rack up super speed, mm -hmm. r only red draft wins. Like, I'm playing Boros, and I'm going fast, and I'm, I'm only on... 
game number four now, maybe five. Excuse me. Excuse me. No! Oh. Well. I'm sorry for your loss. That's okay. This might be my third loss, honestly. Well, I got still I got still got stuff to draw, but exiling that was a real problem. Oh my god, it's lightning healing. And a shock. I'm gonna do a shock. Uh is that right? No, I'm not gonna. Oof. I'm gonna just... Oh, I'm about to take a beating. Oh no! Uh oh. Okay, I am very close to dead. My opponent just played a Tulsimir. I'm sorry for your loss. This sucks. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, this sucks. Um... It will block the creature we can block. My opponent missed lethal. So much open mana. Well, the old three and three. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. It's average. Mid. As the kids say, it's mid. It's so so. If you're doing crosswords. Anything with a lot of vowels in it is a very popular crossword term. You know what the most common uh um, things that comes up as far as, uh, like, instruments goes. Um, like oboe? Yeah. Yeah. By a huge margin. Like, you never see tuba, even though that's got two vowels in it. Mm -hmm. But... Alright, running back another draft with my other draft token. Uh... Oh. Emily Pigeon says that oboe and Oreo. Yeah, Oreo is so common. Ooh, hey, it's Krenko, Baron of Tint Street in my draft. That Ooh. card seems good. Sacrifice an artifact for plus one, plus one counter on each goblin you control. CDH All Star? Yeah, but is it good in blue? But I also got World Souls Rage, deals X damage to a target, put X land cards from your hand <coughs> graveyard onto the battlefield, tapped. Uh, Krenko's got to be pretty good with clues. Yeah, just and like just go clues. I'm just so stepping red, away. blue clues. I'm just stepping away for just a half a second. I'm going to leave it on Kathleen in your draft. All right, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, we'll take Krenko and we'll look at clues. I think that World Souls Rage is interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's some goblins in this. All right. Yeah. Too stupid to live. Feeling smart. <laughs> oh, a galvanize. That seems pretty good. And a gadget technician. There's thopters. Okay. Let's take galvanize. I need to know when James gets 
back because I, I really, I feel, I'm gonna feel so justified by a play I'm about to make. Cranko's better than he looks if you, Cranko makes his own goblins. How? That's true, if I put an artifact in the graveyard. So I need clues, but I th I'm taking the galvanize just because removal seems good. Oh, get curious says, has anyone figured out why some cards aren't get different colors and spots? Like the clandestine dude last pack had red curtains there, but I've also seen with white ones. I assume because oh, there's, okay. I assume, oh gosh. Okay, meddling use and torch the witness. Meddling use is really good and it makes clues. Torch the witness. All right. I just want the record to show that I played Goblin War Chief, and then I proceeded to play a follow-up Goblin at a reduced cost. Nice. Ooh. Nice. That felt pretty good. Innocent Bystander is also a Goblin. That was the Goblin I played, actually. Well, I'm gonna take Meddling Use because they seem because they make clues <clears throat> for me to investigate. <clears throat> also, a four-five haste is, seems pretty good in a, like a red deck that wants to punch and. Get in there. Mm. Wheeler is a goblin. Innocent bystander. I uh, I submitted flavor text for innocent bystander that said uh, suddenly Blorbo, whatever the name was, uh, realized why the neighborhood watch was always recruiting. Dog walker doesn't make goblins, but it's so good. Leyline of the Guild Pact. No. Oh. I'm taking dog, the dog walker. walker. Oh yeah. Dog walker's so good. Oh my You'd God, want Dog like... Walker if you're in red anyhow. Oh, it's Lightning Helix. God, I love Lightning Helix. Oh, yeah. They have exiled my Goblin War Chief. Powerful. I'm trying to take Hustle and Bustle. Is that a split card? It is. Oh, it's a good name. Mm. Um, what else you got? Uh, I've got a person of interest. Oh, that card, I like that card quite a bit. Yeah. Not just because I just cast it, but I think that card's pretty good. I mean, it gives you two things. Yeah. Gadget technician, that's a goblin, and it makes thopters, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's take it. And we could flip it up for just red. <clears throat> It could be a mono red card, which we're looking at. I think these disguise morphs the the, the two ones. color ones might single handedly just convince me to, you know, actually make a run to mythic in this format. It's like so it's so good. Yeah, they're great. Bustle seems like a great thing for a go wide Boros Goblin deck. Yeah, but it's also like six mana. So I'm very wary of like, oh yeah, I'll totally have six mana up for this huge spell, right? Opponent, come on. I think people will look at these cards and say, oh, I'm not red blue. And they won't read the disguise cost down mm. at the bottom. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's two of them? Oh. Oh. All right. That's spicy, that's oh. spicy. Okay. Hybrid started in Ravnica, so it's also a natural fit. It is definitely, it has definitely got some wonderful throwbacks for traditional Ravnica. I like did, that. Did Hybrid Mana show? I thought it was originally Ravnica. Really? Yep. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Mm. Ooh, they hard cast a dog walker. Are you legally allowed to do that? Oh God! Flip for two red. All right. So I'm most mostly red. Whenever you sacrifice an artifact, and oh, she's nice. a goblin. goblin. Nice, uh, oh, nice. It's, it's all coming together. Oh yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Gobs, goblins, 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 goblins. Let's go, goblins. And I know that Crab Novelist is a lady goblin because I have read the art. Three. Ooh, my opponent didn't block and uh, block properly, so now they're taking a shock and a lightning helix to the <gasps> dome. <laughs> Why'd they do that? What'd they do know. that for? I don't know. Why'd you? Oh, interesting. Two unflipped morphs. I don't even know. What, that... what is that? Boner 10,000? Does this work? <laughs> if it did, whose money would it be? She's what? perfect with Cranko because, oh, yeah, she does give the mana that Cranko needs. 
I don't know if I'll run a season consultant, but that seems like a fine, a fine playable card. <clears throat> oh, that's so nice. I'm ha I'm very happy for your goblins oh. deck. Oh, Nagrina. Her name's Nagrina. 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 Nagrina Jantex with two X's. Oh, of course. I mean, that's not canon. That's just what I think her name would be. Mm. Ooh, a uh, shady informant. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't love it. But I could technically play it. Oh, this card's really good. This card's won me basically all three of my games. I won. Uh, that one though. Okay, this look is this this looks great. I've got a public thoroughfare. I've got meddling use, which make me a clue. I've got like four goblins already. All right, I have four cards. Treacherous Greed is my rare. That would have been really good in my last deck. We've got a felonious rage. Target creature you control gets plus two plus own gaze haste, and when it dies, make a detective. It's only one mana and suspicious detonation. Four damage to target creature. Ooh, wrench. It's an artifact. Oh, I will take, yeah. I think I'll take the wrench. Ooh, case of the burning masks. Goblin mask maker. Another dog walker. What do you do? Three damage to target creature. Three or more sources you control. Uh, that one's okay. Uh, uh, there's a hustle and bustle with six mana. I like that dog. I like the dog walker yeah. too, honestly. I think I'll just get a, get more dogs. Mm -hmm. Anne's Rags Rampage. Destroy all artifacts you don't control, then exile the top cards of your library. Never bad. You may put that card out. <clears throat> huh. That seems very powerful. <laughs> oh, a second wrench? Uh, do you, would you take two wrenches? Eh, they're, they replace themselves. I think zero mana, or one mana cards that replace themselves are pretty, like, you know. It's just such a low cost of inclusion. I suppose. I don't love anything else in this deck, actually. The Defenestrated Phantom is okay, but it's, ooh, but I will. Okay, there's a, de a Defender at large, which is kind of funny because she's a giant. Or there's a Binding, which honestly might be good gain a little life and to stop things from attacking me. <sighs> Yet another hustle and bustle. Dak really wants me to have this. Wait, no, you blocked that opponent. No, opponent. <laughs> ah, never mind. They're having fun. Wall? Uh, uh. I mean, there's the Night Watch that just makes a body. I don't hate that. I think, yeah, Boros make a bunch of bodies. Yeah, that's better than sit back with wall. I want to attack. Yeah. I want to kill, not sit back and like block behind the wall like I was doing last game or last draft. Oh my, all right, James, I really, I need you to, okay. Goblin War Chief. Please resolve, please resolve, please resolve. Another goblin that now has haste because of Goblin War Chief. No, you're Attack you for lethal. Please, 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 please. Oh, and that's another win. Nice. Very nice. That's also seven wins. Uh, more goblins. Yes. Somebody's saying that I want a war leader's call. Yes, I do want a war mm -hmm. leader's call, but I don't know if I'm going to get that. Do we get an extra point if we go 7-0? We do? Yep. You do. Hell I yeah. I'll Did you just go 7 0? Just went 7 0. Very nice. Dog walking. Dog walking. Good card. So getting two of them is good? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty all right. Oh. Aurelia the Law Above. Oh, huh? I'd, I'd settle for one of those too. It seems splashable. Yeah. Dog walker's not a goblin. They're, dog walker's a human citizen. Possibility storm from the list. <laughs> Uh, oh. No. Who are the avatars? Uh, Aurelia looking vigilant and splashable. <laughs> oh, they don't have avatars on the uh, mastery. No, they they've just got stuff. sleeves. I like the avatars. I'm taking a Hazda Vigilante just because he's big, and he puts a he 
puts a counter on small creatures, which seems good if I have all these baby goblins and these dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lightning helix! Oh, it's lightning helix. Get in my deck! Oh my god, that's so late! Ugh. Uh, now, now we don't really have much here. What a second Aurelia. What? <laughs> well, if it's good enough to splash one. Yeah, I mean, sure, why not? Why not? <laughs> why shouldn't I have a second Aurelia? I'm passing to someone named Auspicious. Queen of Carrot Flowers. <laughs> All right, now do I take this hustle and bustle? Tell her I love the album that was written about her. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you could hustle, you could bustle. I think I want that, but... Uh, now do I want a rage? Or a... I think I just want a rage, stay close to the ground. Defenestrated Phantom is... flies, but it's slow. Mm -hmm. Uh, this deck seems like it's coming together quite nicely! I don't think I want either of these cards. Lamplight Phoenix, hell yeah! 3-3 three, three Flyer. Uh, there's also another Gadget Technician, which I'm not too worried about, considering we got the first two, like, basically on the wheel. I think I just want the flying. And maybe I get to bring it back. Oh, there's zero. Well, I guess I could play this and flip it up for white, white. Mm -hmm. There's like nothing for me in, in this. Your deck looks pretty close to done. I know. Anyways. I mean, this is this is the second pick of pack three. Yeah, just cutting colors is probably. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not pivoting. Yeah. So as far as I'm concerned, unless it's red or white, <laughs> I'm not interested at this point. Buried in the garden would be good. But I'm not green, and I'm not interested in getting into green at this point. All right, there's a not on my watch to exile target attacking creature. That could be good. There's a make your move, destroy target artifact power creature. I think probably this one. I take that one. Two mana is pretty good. Yeah, keep keep curve low. I don't, no, I would not be splashing black for this. I'm flipping it for white, white. It's a white card. It's just mono white is how I see this. It's got to come face down. I also do have a public thoroughfare. So I guess that could be black if I needed to. I don't even think you need to play that hustle and bustle. Probably Your not. deck looks good enough. Okay, there's a Rift Burst Hellion, which could be a mono red card. There's a knife, which I don't like nearly as much as the wrench. I guess I'll take you. It played an angry noise. Knife is not great. Okay. Ooh. A third, third dog, dog walker? walker. Yeah, I'll take a third dog walker. Hell yeah. I don't think there's anything better in this pack than that. I'm glad I took this galvanize so early because there's not been much removal. I guess I did pass that enchantment, but... Somebody might overthink taking that dual land, but you just take that dog walker. You just walk those dogs. No, I'm not I'm not interested in making a sophisticated deck wheeler. Yep. I'm interested in winning! That's what I'm talking about. We're at 37 points. We can reach 50. A fourth dog walker? Oh my god, you're gaming. Whew. <laughs> okay, the bustle's starting to look a little better. Mm, I think they're going to be dead before you could bustle. What with all your dog walkers? <laughs> walkies! Who wants to go for yeah, walkies? Yeah, no, writes down, nobody in Boros in pod. Um. A fifth dog walker? No, un impossible. Oh, but I'll take this innocent bystander. Are you the goblin? <laughs> I love Innocent Bystander. He's like, whoa! Hey, yo. Hey, not my problem. So sorry. Boros 
is typically slept on in Ravnica drafts. I did very well when we did our remaster draft because I was the only Boros drafter and got thoroughly rewarded for being the only one in that lane. There's a card in the set called Slimy Dua Lipa. Or du <laughs> Dua Leech, excuse me. Slimy Dua Leech. All right, expose the cover for it. Turn target face down creature, exile number of face down creatures you control with disguise. And shuffle that pile. Oh! I could recycle my dog walker. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run any, any of this. A demand answers or a felonious rage. Probably demand answers just for the juice. Mm. Wisp drinker vampire is really good. These these cards are being slept on. These these multicolored flips. <clears throat> the split flips. Splips. Split flips. Ooh. Exposes give with a lot of disguise flip effects. It can also exile your own creatures to avoid removal. That's true, actually. Alright, well we gotta make some cuts here. So first get these islands and these swamps out of here. And this forest. Okay. I, hmm. But I, I need to add a lot more land. Part of this uh, game is when you move all of your morph creatures over to th the three slots so you can evaluate them. Mm -hmm. And then every time it refreshes, it's like, nope, 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 nope. We're actually moving them back. Yep. Um, all right, gotta make some cuts here. I don't know about Rift Burst Hellion. Like, it is a big dumb dude, but I feel like I'll kill them before I cast this. Get out of here, Shady Informant. Oh, you got the bird, too? Yeah, I got a lamp leg phoenix. Yeah. yeah, I don't think your deck really needs like top end. No, I don't think so. No, you're. This one's okay. These ones are good because they make a. They are hasty. Mm -hmm. I kind of like these as a top end, but I gotta make some more cuts here. Um. So this is the one the chat was talking about. Just turn any face down creature face up. No, you're St waving it off. Stinky. St too, too, <clears throat> too much work. Not enough payoff. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. I find a lot of cards where, like, the best case scenario is just you describing them with a sentence that starts with, it's really good if, mm -hmm. and then yes. blank, where it's like, why is Dog Walker good? Well, you don't have to say, like, it's really good if your opponent has no creatures, or if your opponent, like, mm. is at three or whatever, you know? Like, why is murder good? How's it's this like, you look? Don't need to craft a, a setup. So I'm. I'm at 41, but I have a lot of low drops. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Dog walker's good as you can guess it. Yeah, that's why I'm running. I'm not skimping on land. Looks clean. I'm happy with this. As I think you my should. My creatures that, my creatures that Hopefully, creatures die, but they leave behind other angrier creatures that can do damage to people. Well, this is not good, because I only have oh, red. Jesus, I picked the wrong eh. I could draw white. I draw white. This card's been, this hand's bananas. Look there at that. You go. <laughs> so now I, I guess I wrench. Mm. Would you have dog walkered? I think I dog walkered. I there. guess I've got three other dog walkers. Yeah, it's just like you have a curve. Like you mm -hmm. have three drops that you're going to be playing. That's true.
Island has two and a red up. No, 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 no. What happened? I'm... Mm. Mm. I did the thing. You know how, like, there were those, uh, the battles? Yeah. You know, the kind of thing where you'd be like, uh, you would transform it and flip it, and it would be like, do you want to cast it, or do you want to click on the button? Ah. Uh, that I kind see. of thing. Oh, that's what you're holding up. Okay. I had a wrath, and it was the one where you draw two cards and then discard two cards. Oh. And I selected the wrong two cards. And then in order to, like, unselect them, I hit decline, and it's like, cool. You get nothing. No. Oof. Okay. Oh. Cranko's been tapped down. I think that's fine for me. I'm not too worried about... Your opponent is also very behind on land. Yeah. <laughs> this is so rude. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now oh, I could attack. I could... Deta I could put the wrench on the dog and I could attack in and keep the pressure up. What's the dog doing? The dog would be attacking as a 2-2 with vigilance. It's not bad. I think that's good. And then next turn, Krenko untaps, flip this other dog walker. Oh. Right. Ward. Oh, I got got to ward too. Oh wait, oak cold can't be countered. Yes. Yay! Oh my god, please no. I have five cards in hand, chat. Wanna guess what they are? Mm, Aurelia, Aurelia. Mountain, mountain, island, scene of the crime, island. Why'd you do that, Cameron? Uh, because I'm bad at this game. Hey. Hey now. I'm an all-star. Get your game on. Let's play. Oh, Clade. Hey now, it's the whole Clade. Oh, sorry, opponent. I was hanging on next to blockers. I didn't see you. I was thinking about all-star lyrics. Ho, ho, ho! Uh, I will auto-pay, yes. Oh, wouldn't I have put a... Wait, wouldn't I have put a... What? Oh my god. <clears throat> no, I sacrificed the wrong thing! Oh, punt! I thought when it went to the graveyard, I would could a counter on Cranko. 
Yeah! Oh. Well, we've learned things now. At 8 4, that's not good. To grab a pepperon. A pepperon? I'm also going to use the washer uh, before I start this draft. A pisseron and a pepperon. I'm going to go <laughs> grab a pisseron. <laughs> Is that, isn't that what Pizza Hut calls a calzone? <laughs> the pisserono? Many years ago, the four zones lived in harmony. Arajna's friend. Am I just dead to Anne's rag because I punted so hard? <gasps> okay. Well, I'm not dead dead. Not great either. Combat turns with Anne's rig? That's disgusting. Ah. No. I saw what you were trying to do. Turn face up. These one. Now I trade two two. Whew. Anzrag digs and digs and digs until it breaks through. Yeah, I had to trade a lot of my board for that. Let's trade. Things a problem. A lightning helix would go really far right now because it would get that Crime Stopper sprite out, sprite out of the way. That's not a lightning helix. What do you do when you get? Uh, you give me a flying blocker. It's extremely important. This is stressful. Uh, Anzrag got three uh, attack turns and it really wrecked my ish. It wiped my board. Oh no, it really is Vindicator. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Why don't my mic on? There's some kind of pisseroni in my mic. Ah, I, can't, I can't turn my blocker up. I did check my phone when I was uh, away. Oof. And I noticed I had 
a bajillion notifications. And because I thought, oh my God, something bad happened. What happened? It was Rachel Weeks. Uh -huh. Rachel tagged me saying, hey Ben, the command zone staff has been building Canadian Highlander. <gasps> We're hooked. Very good news. Very, very cool to hear. The gospel is spreading. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the former. Which is why I'm aiming to become the first Game Knights Canadian Highlander champion. Oop. I feel like, I feel <clears throat> like... They can't have Commander N. Yeah, they can't have Highlander. We get Highlander, all right? <laughs> that's, our, that's our thing. It's Canadian. Back off, Josh, Jimmy. I swear to God. Yeah, really, I'm sure they're going to shut off that old money faucet of <laughs> Commander gameplay to start playing Highlander. It's a dying format. Yeah. <laughs> Commander? Yeah. Yeah, it'll never last. No, God, no. You it's can only play one of any card? It's almost had its 15 minutes. God, I wish. Yeah, that's so much That's so much worse than Highlander, where you can only play one of every card. Yeah, but you cast, like, enough Ponders and Brainstorms, you end up seeing all the cards anyways. I'd like to draw another land next turn. I'd like to draw my fourth land. I feel like I could do a lot of good stuff with four land. I think I like Kylox's Volt Strider. Ooh. Has it been casting spells? It has. Hell yeah. Getting another Galvanize out of it is nice. That rules. the things that you'd need to have in an EDH pre-con can go on the printy list. Yeah. They don't want to do that. I muted my mic, but right now this feels like this is the world's loudest pepperoni I'm chewing. I can't hear it at all. Oh, thank God. Okay. You have no idea how much anxiety that it just gets washed away with that statement. Mm. <clears throat> how are you? A concealed weapon. Slime Against Humanity is not a feasible meme deck in Canlander. Sorry, Gekki, were you? I mean, you could try it. Oh, if you want to Finding move... targets a creature. Mm -hmm. You want Dragon's Approach. That's a meme deck that can actually kill people. Wanted to. Why? <clears throat> okay, I 
I think I'm into this draft format. I think I'm down for it. You got 45 minutes to get 12 oh, points. I hate 12 this. points. I think we can do I it. I believe in you. My opponent just wrathed my board, James. I, I lost. I don't believe in Wheeler. Thank you. I lost 16. And then they cast Pick Your Poison on my clue. That's <laughs> actively a bad play, and I still got caught. Oh. Okay, well, this looks glamorous. Why are there rats? What do you mean? This isn't a rat. This is a detective token. What's up, Gaslight in our chat? Make me. Part of the joy of having a dedicated Twitch chat is being able to gaslight them. Insidious roots. Ugh. Ominous. Where'd the rats go? You said make me. Don't, James. Oh, you sure. you are going to get. You have to bring back rat you. Yeah, it, it's not it's not for me. It's for your sake. All right, let's uh, spice this up a bit. <laughs> 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 this is incredible. Oh my god, he's moving in X and Y. <laughs> is this Tokyo Drift Racing? <laughs> that is Ratthew's favorite film. There is now just a half or one or two frames where Rathu is four rats. Wow, this is like the modern day equivalent of watching the DVD logo light <laughs> up at the corner. <laughs> Don't have a kill spell. Oh, they have a kill spell. I think that would look like this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow. Finally, some good content. Please don't kill me. What is Rathew from? Morrowind? I don't know. I googled rotating rat, hmm. and uh, that was the first result. Magnificent. What does Barbed Servitor do? Menace indestructible can't block. Oh, it's fantastic. Deals damage to a player, you draw a card and lose one life. Whenever it's dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. Well, can't block. Sounds like a black card. Played my third gadget technician, and opponent gave me the confused Rowan. <laughs> Will. Will. The Billy Boy. No. I should have passed by more than that. I'm greedy. Uh, well, actually, that's fine. I didn't play around a rare. That's that's okay. I refuse to play around a rare. I also didn't play around a common here, but that's okay. Oh, 
Huh? What the hell is this? That's an airtight alibi. All right, well, now I know. Wait, is the rat from Deus Ex? There's just wow. no way. There's just no way. A classic. <laughs> Sometimes I like to think of cursed YouTube channels from the like early 2000s mm -hmm. or early 2010s era. And I just thought of uh, Deus Ex Machinima. It's just, just people making the Deus Ex, you know, Machina like. Yeah. Uh, with that era of humor. Oof. Nasty. Simply devastating. That jerky didn't go down well. Why did Airtight Alibi not untap? Oh, because it had a stun counter. Chalk up another one, James. Let's freaking go. Mark it seven, dude. No, don't mark it seven. <clears throat> well, this is terror bad. Is that double Aurelia? Nope. Double scene of the crime are my only lands. Oh. Oof. Well, going to five. All right, I just need to draw two land. You can do that, Dak. Well, there's there's one down. One more. One more, baby. One more. Come on. We can do this. Give it to me, my name. It's like we're even playing a game here. Go, Kathleen. Push that damage. Is the technician Tuda on more? Oh, my person of interest is going to die. <clears throat> yes, it is. That's pretty good. Well. Sure, why not? I can just take six from this Hellion. If it's feeling, if OP is feeling spicy. Okay. Int uh, I guess they didn't want to pay the ward? I guess they need to flip this thing up. Oh, shit. 
Oh. Oh. Hey! All right, that's one win on my first game, which went very long. Let's go. That was your first game with yeah, the deck. Holy! I know. Ten points <clears throat> left. My opponent resolved. Oh no! In was his it my own second game? game? Did I lose my first game very quickly? That might have been my second game. Yeah, I have a one-one. But the first game was over super fast. It was just like a chow got destroyed. Enters the battlefield or attacks. Oh, that That's seems great. Pretty bad. I guess I should. My graveyard. <clears throat> Three of a kind. Please, Aurelia, my second Aurelia, please just show up for work <clears throat> once in your life. Oh. Hey, this game sucks, Lamar. Hey. That sucks. G ball. No, please, you can't. You can't start saying J ball, Cameron. I'm in my 40s. Oh, no, come on! Come on! <clears throat> hmm, James is coming out here to beat your ass for using the term J-Ball. Wait, Look, he's... Just because it belongs to children. He's, re he's replacing the microphones. Nobody heard him say J-Ball. Oh, thank good. No yes. one heard Cameron clearly say, I am in my 40s and I can J-Ball when I want, where I want. We I are, pay bills. We are J-Ballin'. As the kids say. What is J-Ball? So, you know how baseball is named after uh, Bay, Beyonce? Uh, J-Ball is named after J-Z. <laughs> so accurate. So true, bestie. I think if you're gonna make an acronym for laughing, it has to be shorter or the same amount of characters as just saying ha ha. Lol, that's one syllable. Yeah, lol, lamau. Or no, it's not even J ball. They they say idge ball. What, really? I just burst out laughing. Oh. Is the acronym? That's the more popular really? one. Really? Yeah. Gene Ball? <laughs> God. I can't wait till Penelope says this kind of stuff to me. Did I tell you that I asked her to explain <clears throat> uh, Skibbity Toilet to me in an effort <laughs> to relate to the kids? And she just looked at me aghast and said, you remember that? Wait, remember it? You heard me. Takes a long drag off of the cigarette. Haven't heard about that toilet in a while. Really like that the noise the cats make in this game is that they're about to throw up. opponent plays something big here and then I just bind again. <clears throat> that also works. That's... Two tap bounce. 
small and unhelpful. It's hard to find good animal sound effects. Let me tell you what, chat. Sink your mana into it so I can find it, <sighs> opponent. I should have read this card. Uh, maybe later. Also very snoop. One on the board, please, James. Wow, Wheeler's doing his best to really get us there. We're at 41. I drafted a very slow deck and not a particularly strong deck either, so I don't... Apologies. We got half an hour. It's doable. very carefully manually selecting mana. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Seems like a great makeshift binding target, this cadaver that keeps coming back. <coughs> it's a pretty good card. What do the points do? What do you mean absolutely nothing? I thought we got something if we hit our total. Well then you should hit your total. Okay, well then I will. Flips up for three black. What? Jace, wielder of mysteries? What are you doing in here? <laughs> hey everybody, it's me. What is Jace doing in here? Uh, he's on the list.
Let's go. Mark another win, James. Please. Stop gaining life 42. opponent. Oh. So opponent has a Jace, wielder of mysteries. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to deal with that at some point, but it feels like it's not really a big problem for me right now. This. They are drawing extra cards. I don't love that. <clears throat> uh, don't hate killing Jace. They're at 17. I mean, they weren't at 17 a while ago. I can kill Jace right now if I put both of these wrenches on. If you're surprised your mom let me have two Aurelias, you should see what else she let me have. They do, oh! ah! they do give them vigilance. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. Sorry. <laughs> I just lost to the same common twice, the, the hexproof aura one. Oof. No more gaining life. Or no more drawing cards. That's a fairy snoop. All right, well, Jace will live another turn. Why do you think people are driven to try and like reply after that? Mm -hmm. Try and take hold, like get serve again. Oh. It just never works. I would just take the L and move on. Mm. Well played. put a lot of good stuff in their bin. Oh, another face down card. I don't know what any of these cards do. Oh, we'll never know. Where's that lightning helix? There's a lightning helix in the deck. Right there. I hope so. No, but that's not so bad. Do you have more removal? <coughs> Am I gonna lose to Jace? Oh my god. Well now you get more dogs. That I mean I was always gonna get more dogs anyhow. Mm. Opponent has seven cards in library. Oh yeah, you gotta kill that Jace. I well I'm trying to. <laughs> I've been I've been doing that multiple turns in a row now. Well now if you do kill the Jace, then they're kinda screwed too. Yeah. Which is kind of funny. <clears throat> Why did they give this thing can't block? Interesting. What are they gonna try to do here? Okay, they're at five. God, they've mailed off so much good stuff. Next turn, it's an alpha strike at Jace. You got a couple of wrenches too. You can like tap them. Down. I did, I did. I tapped down the one floor. Oh my God. This is not good. How do I make this happen? Where's that lightning helix?
I've got the planeswalker blindness. All I can see is the planeswalker. static. Ah. Well, I found out. That sucks. If you go full control, you can tap with wrench before blockers. That's true. I don't think he had the mana there. Though. I don't, I was Cost really three pinched to tap, on mana. And I think he had two there. Uh... Well, that sucks. deck is better than what I'm doing. Whoa. Oh, they went to the dome. Oh, so greedy. I love it. So dead. I mean, not technically dead, but you know. Soon to be very dead. Agency coroner should ex exile something from the graveyard. What does it actually do? Sacrifice the creature. Mm, it, yes, it should care that the creature's already dead. Yeah. This deck sucks. I refuse to answer. Wow, that was one in three? Jesus Christ. How much longer are we here for? Very few minutes. Oh. Uh. Does it have to be draft that I get wins in? Draft or sealed. What if I get wins in like Explorer type two? No. Just start playing Gladiator. <laughs> uh, who could tell the difference? That's an ill-timed explosion. Finally, the crime novelist. I've not seen this card once. and Chandelar should count and says Blind Pathfinder. Oh, that's, I mean, that's just too easy then. You can play so many games in Chandelar.
going to spending a long time thinking about my vlogs here. That's good. I feel like I want to snap off this felonious rage to make it so my thing. Yeah, just convert into something big. Now, do I save the dog? So, well, no, because it'll trade anyhow. Uh, James, uh, another one on the board, please. For you, Wheeler? Nice job. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah. I don't believe you. Oh, yeah. Take a look, dude. Says victory. Oh, over here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong board. No, dude. That's ex that's Sparky's only got one board, dude. All right. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't lie to me, so. Yeah, why would I lie to you? 43. Thank you. Now close your eyes really quickly. Sparky has a lot of boards, actually. Don't um, actually, my <laughs> stupid Sparky joke. Do you think Sparky gets bullied a lot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you bully Sparky? I mean, I try to. <clears throat> Four. Don't like to brag, but silver rank two. Oh, okay. I'm so bad at this game. Sparky, she, her. All right. Apologies. Sparky, we're sorry for misgendering you. That is not the way in which you are bullied. Mm. No. No. Imagine if every planeswalker had to talk to Sparky after their Spark Ignites. Jesus. Well, if that were the case, I'd hope my Spark would ignite like slow bad. As in it would ignite and then I'm immediately killed by a bunch of goblins. Mm. Slowbad was from Meriden, right? Yep. Yep. Hero of the of the novels. <clears throat> Gave yep. up his spark to restore everything and then uh crawled out of a hole and got beaten to death. For being too smart. Yeah. Winner of the Galactic Award for Extreme Cleverness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working very hard to make this 45. Same. I'll cheat every way I know how. Oh yeah, what what do you, what can I click on in this board? Oh. Wait, I see the wrench. Oh, a lead pipe. Wait. Can you click that pipe again? Pipe. Rope. There's all sorts of things to click on. But anyhow, uh, yeah. Sparky Jen. Sparky has their own Twitter account. Really? Oh, there's a, there's a... I don't think this is official. <laughs> there's the lead pipe here. There's the candlestick. There's the knife! What else am I missing? That's it. Demand answers. Well, that's good that opponent is not casting a creature. I feel like I'm... Pff, they're pretty dead this turn. Because I have a galvanize. Because that's just three damage. So if it's like a morph, I can even pay it. Well, isn't that convenient? Yes, I would like to target that with Galvanize. And I would like to pay the ward to remove blockers on their turn. Sparky's a cat sprite? What? 
That's what this says. Is that the official wiki? This is the MTG wiki. Wow. Hey, add 46 there. Nice. We were at 44. Now you're at 45. Oh, okay. Right, because Wheeler cheated. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just a bit. Hey, what I did. A hey, hey, hey. of cheat. He lied. Yeah. It's not <laughs> cheating. Well, kind of it is cheating because you're trying to change the game state to be in your favor. I don't even know what do we get. Who who wouldn't? Who do we? What do we get? I guess. Uh, I mean, I can't. Everybody in bylaw and order can have ice cream. Sad face. Oh yeah, this phoenix. I haven't seen that either. How's Cat playing Walker when? A 1-3 flyer actually kind of wrecks my day. Did Johnny die? What happened to him in the story? He, he got completed, but then he got fixed. Oh. And now he's still wandering the multiverse. Well, it's always good to fix your pets. Mm-hmm. He's just, so he, he got better? He, yeah, he got better. Uh, Nihiri did not get better. Good. She was kind of a jerk throughout the entire thing, wasn't she? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got Cranko, I've got Crime Novelist. Oh, Cranko got galvanized. Oh. Wait, you hear he is still alive? Yeah, but she lost her spark. I'll miss Nahiri and her little temper tantrum. She's still around. Franco? Oh dear. Oh, come on. I wanted to attack. There's multiple things here. Well, at least you have nothing you can do there. James, that's another W on the board. I'm very impressed. Thank you. I actually got a kill with poison, believe it or not. Really? Yeah.
Time for more batteries. So nobody heard my good joke? No, nobody heard the best joke you've ever made. No! But I can say that I listened to it, and I thought it was pretty okay. Thank you. I gave it four turtles out of five. I love four turtle. He's my favorite starter evolution. Am I just playing standard band? Um, oh, come on. Technically, it's got to be standard, right? If no, it's, uh, my draft use! Oh, fuck, I wanted to make a thing. All right, everything's going to be fine. We're fine. This is fine. I need to draw a lightning helix. Give me a lightning helix. I, it's, it's in the deck. It's never been drawn once. Lightning helix. Draw lightning helix. Sometimes you draft a really strong deck and it it's the just... old three and three. Yeah. That's two. Oh no, that was a two and three. That was even like better than my last deck. Sometimes Not a really bad play like opponent. Oh well. That was interesting. That was in, that was a good play opponent. Well, that was do. sick. Oh, they exiled the um, green detective. The uh, I forget what its oh, name is. Oh, the sharp-eyed rookie. Yeah, to try to put a um, counter on my morph creature mm -hmm. uh, because they had chalk outline in play. They oh. declined to pay the ward cost mm -hmm. and just got the um, uh, the detective. Spicy. Yeah. If I buy the set mastery, I get a mole. You get a mole? I get a mole friend to hang out on my board. Mark another one, James, please. Oh. Nice. Are we out? Yeah, that's 6 p.m. Oh. Wow. 46 out of 50. That's not bad. No. Man. We did our best. Yep. Well. All right. All right. Beach, I'm submitting my expenses. <laughs> I am still at, like, roughly revenue neutral. I mean, I'm down two draft tokens, but I'm... Not down any gems on the day. I'm still at 5,000 gems. I'm on the bubble. I'm I on just, the bubs. I just countered into Traxa. Nice. What? Yeah. Oh, wait, you're playing Gladiator. I'm pl uh, no, standard, much worse. Oh. Oh. Actually, it's you pretty know, good. I actually had a lot of fun playing standard with um, Ash when she was in town. Standard's pretty good. Yeah, standard's pretty good right now. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, I genuinely think it's all right. The worst part about it is that children cost a hundred dollars, but other than I mean, that, it's on pretty arena, good. yeah. You just well, on four. arena, you still might have to spend a hundred dollars to try to get the gems to find a children. Right. But can you just craft? You can. But then, look, the the economy on arena is, you know. It's right. interesting. Yeah. I just never craft anything, so I've got like hundreds of rares and mythics. Yeah. I have eight rare wild cards. You have. Oh. <laughs> and five mythic wild cards. And that's, that's a lot to me. Just buy wild cards? That's like $50 for like three wild cards. I have, uh, how many wild cards do I, I have? I made them cheaper. 34 rare, 40 mythic. Rare is the real pinch point. But I also just happened to have, through good opening, 
four shieldreds. Whoa! So I could put together any standard deck I wanted, there essentially. You go. Actually, no, I can't because I because the rare, the land. Yeah, you could probably build black red. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's fair. Do you want us to wrap this up, James? I mean, probably. Great. All right. Well, hey, thanks for supporting us at the Fam Jam. We enjoyed playing games. It was fun. The format seems fun. I don't know what any of the flippy cards do, but that's okay. I had a great time. Yeah. yeah. Jo- I liked when I won. <laughs> yeah. Joining me was Wheeler. Huh. Cameron. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And James was running tech. Thank you, James. Woo. Woo. Yay. All right, everybody. Uh, what did you think of the format? Leave your comments below. Bongle the dongle and feed the engagement gods. Bye, everybody. Bye.